<laughs> amazing. Fuck that tree. I've got another one that I couldn't con I, I was I couldn't figure out which one I wanted to use. <laughs> I'll send it to Limpy just to put it up. Uh, What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Uh, oh, hey shit. everybody. We made it back from Texas. We're alive. <laughs> I made it. Oh boy. Why is it playing over there? You got too many screens, don't you? What the fuck? I guess I'll do this. Oh, there I am, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit. What's going on, everybody? See y'all. See what's going on. What's going on? Yes, Brittany Lamont will be in here later. Throw the fours up. So, uh, Oh, long weekend. I'm oh, yeah. Still... He owes me five bucks. Forgot. Really? Yeah. He owes me five bucks. I forgot. What's he owe you five for? Because he said that he, he betted me five that I'd flag a race this weekend with my headlamp. <laughs> <laughs> well, it owes you five dollars, definitely. And then when he realized that, that it might not happen, then he tried to get me to flag a foot race for him. And I was like, nope. <laughs> Oh, so he was trying to hook that bet. He's he going to win trying, that one way or another. He was trying to hustle me, what he's trying to do. I'm in he's the middle of making pizza, James Glenn. Big country said, why was you fired? Why was I fired? I don't know. They wanted to use that, that contraption they got. Uh, I don't know if it was the contraption that kept screwing up. I don't know if it was the nut behind the wheel or just the nut <laughs> but I or the wheel. I think it was the nut behind the wheel. I think it was just the nut, to be honest with you. <laughs> yes. What's well, up? Well, well, sorry. Wadji well, is the Grinch who stole Columbus and the Carolinas. <laughs> sure did. What's up, Jared? That sign is amazing, Sarah. Uh, that's going to be great. Please send that to Corey. Or, Corey, you need to post that. She, she sent it to me on Snapchat, so she'd have to. Well, send that bitch. We can't post it because we happy might be watching it while he's still on the plane. The fuck he ain't. <laughs> uh, he ain't watching shit. But he's watching fucking eyelids. eyelids. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say he's probably fucking snoozing. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh yeah, that's a bad small block forward. He, how, I was straight up in the chat early. Who? What's going on? Australia. What happened? Australia. Man, it was cool as shit seeing them uh them Canucks drive in the gut on Thursday night. Oh, the dragon drive guy? Yeah. So yeah, he fun- rolled in from all drove all the way from Canada. Funny story. So he comes over and is talking to one of the guys that came with us. And uh he's got a transmission that needs to go back to tick performance. Oh, you know it. Well, Chris and uh Chris and uh, Keith, they live right near Tick Performance. So one of the transmissions for that car came back with us and is officially at Tick Performance. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm, I, ca- I came in completely uh, incognito to the gut this weekend. <clears throat> the tacos were good, Kel, but they had nothing on the quesadillas. The quesadillas were literally the greatest thing at that trailer. Everybody, everybody says tacos, but they, they I mean, there's a difference, but the, the quesadillas, hands down, winner. I mean, so three for 10 on tacos, two quesadillas for 10. Those quesadillas were about the size of four tacos, and they had melted cheese. Yep. So the, the taco lady definitely gets the approval. The barbecue truck had a really good quesadilla too. I like their quesadilla, their chicken quesadilla uh, too. Howls or was there just one barbecue? Howls. Okay, Big Howls, I think it was. Yeah. yeah. yeah it was yeah, good. I, I didn't know. If the, cause sometimes I got two there and they've got one guy that just does it uh, out of the back of his pickup. Yeah, dude, it was good. I didn't try the corn, but it smelled good. I've never, I didn't ha- like the corn in the cup. Yeah, I'm, I've never had that from anywhere. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> hmm. yeah. But Texas was. So, hey, 
What so. what do you think about them Texas streets? Ooh. <laughs> so do I need to send you the videos of how our how our first Texas street experience my well my first Texas street experience began? Okay. Hold up. So let's see. Yeah, they do like they uh Alex they they do uh rotate they they uh grill corn and then they shave it and then they put it in a bowl and shit and then they put they dress it. Yeah, I mean I was over there, I was listening like Dude, you could have got they were telling them all the different things you could put in the corn. It was like, what? Right. So when this video comes up, uh when you're about 30 minutes from your hotel and you realize the trailer keys are at the hotel. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <He's us. laughs> hey, children, this is why you never leave the trailer keys at the hotel. This is yeah, you know basically what, what it, what it really is. Really <laughs> Alex. We got that bitch off there, though. <laughs> but let me see. Where it is? And I'll send you the hit. But yes, Texas streets are our racetracks up here. So if you've never been on the racetracks. Texas streets. I ain't no racetracks. They're just streets. <laughs> The street. <laughs> it identifies as a racetrack. <laughs> that bitch was a racetrack. <laughs> he just got a little rubber down. I mean, I mean, not much, but you know, a little. And you know this, 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 and you know this road that we that you that y'all went to. We've been hitting that road since like 2006, 2005. Dude, I'd not on that end. Right not on that end. We used to go on the other end, and then we went down to the other end, and we hit on that, and then. All uh, the new houses, warehouses to the east of there. Mm -hmm. I guess that'd be north, or east, or northwest. We used to go to them back when they were making all them, and so we left that alone. But uh, the guy that uses that road all the time. That's his bread and butter spot. Yeah. But uh, uh see, but big shout out go. to Boost the GT for helping us out on that end. So yeah, that's where uh, we we rode in one time, and they got they got hot. But all right, we ready? Yes. Oh, they're dancing a little bit. Anything you wanted to throw at it in that rubber. Holy Dude, shit. it's an alien. <laughs> what in the hell? Hold on, what happened? This motherfucker's Dude, glowing right now. Dude, Let me turn, turn the background you. off here because obviously oh, what the is that you? Oh, you're behind um, that's why. Oh, you're, you're light, light the light. Window. Yeah, the, the lighting. Light. It looked like an alien in there. Yeah, you do. Bunch of alien was, shit going on. I was about to say, man, that breathing treatment doesn't hit too hard. When it when it first popped up, I straight looked like a an alien and yeah, it looked weird. It's like God coming out. <laughs> I've seen this shit before. I watched an episode of the X Files that started like this. <laughs> yeah, Richard. <laughs> oh, <mother laughs> oh. I'm, just, dick. <laughs> I'm just mad you didn't tell me them Texas streets were that good, Poland. That's Olympia. The, I, I'm not street. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> Oh, streets are dead, bro. <laughs> the J Jimmy Dale yelling in the back. Streets are dead. The streets <laughs> been dead, bro. Streets are dead. He's just still going. I'm <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna let these two argue now. <laughs> let me just shake his beer. head. <laughs> I tried to get Lindsay to go eat Mexican food instead of getting on the table, but he said nah. Yeah, we have like well, a appreciate... go ahead. I was I was mowing and I got I came in and then I seen I had uh, two missed calls, and I messaged him back, and I called you, but I didn't know y'all were together. I couldn't find you. Y'all, y'all were like, you know, no, uh, y'all, y'all should be proud. Look at that, Jesus Christ! What? That's all the merch orders that are going out today. Oh, finally! Well, Look at there. Got fucking three hundred to do. So, <laughs> yeah, I bet I, that dude uh, in Australia is going to be happy. He finally, gets his t-shirt. I have been. Uh, <laughs> Here all day helping this man package merch orders together. So 
Hopefully people will stop messaging me about Jimmy Dale's merch that I have nothing to do with. My favorite one is it's like fucking Saturday night, small tire gangsters, <laughs> Saturday night, small tire gangsters. And I'm getting messages on my phone. I'd really like to, uh, you know, uh, just cancel my order. You know, when will my merch be sent out? And I'm like, bro, what? What is wrong with you? Jeez. What's We're happening busy, during this big event? Yeah. If they they figured if they asked you during that big event, they would get an answer. I did have one guy come up and be like, hey, I ordered some merch. It's like, oh, hold you up, get hold it. Up. Nope. Hold up. I got y'all. I got y'all. <laughs> 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 email on the tape. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. That's amazing. I, I said, know. email Jimmy Dale at Nitrous Express. Is yeah, J- oh. yeah J- that's a valid oh, email. I tell you right now. Oh, oh you made it on with the sign. Yes. It, it did not get taken what like my that? chain. The acrylic uh, cutout of the small tire gangsters. Ooh. Lil Debo stole my chain on the ride back, but I get my sign. Um, yeah. Wait, you got a fucking chain? Uh, Not from know, y'all. Somebody's at, yeah, somebody had some random chains that they... they Eric, were, that helps... Uh, Eric ride. Unfred tried to knock off the small tire gangster chain, but he could never find the pendants or nothing to do it, so he ordered like these little Pokemon figure things. <laughs> Dude, That's he handed it to me. He was like, Eric, Eric Unfred. He's, this thing going to keep calling him Eric Unfred? I don't even know. Can he just be called Eric? I just call him Unfred. Unfred. <laughs> Un- Unfriend, Unfred, Un- whatever. Unsomething. I've still been trying to, I've still been trying to figure out his last name for like two years now. What's his last <laughs> name, Limpy? Uh, who are y'all talking about? Eric. That <laughs> <helps> <laughs> Limpy don't even know. Oh, He's going to look. Oh, um, um, what is it? Uh, Eric and Amber, uh, fuck yeah! Uh-huh. <laughs> I just know it's them. Hold on. Somebody send that guy a text and ask him what his last name is. I'm sure. Let me look at. Hey, look. Make the will be on the tree next year. Eric and. This Dude, I'll tell you, that's all I've ever known. Unfred. Oh, it's Lacure is her last as is her last name. Lacure is her last name. Yeah. Unfred. Un- Ro- uh, Rasta Unfred. Rasta. Oh, that's Rasta, his legit last name. Uh, I don't know. I, heard, I don't know. Her last name is uh, her last name is Lacure. Like Lacure. We have all this racing hey, cool talking about. We're trying to figure out Eric's name. Name. <laughs> Can can you put in there how hyphenate you know per syllable how we pronounce the eight this thing? You know there is an option for that in Facebook. They might have yeah. it. Yeah, Limpy's fixed. Limpy still how to, how to, Limpy got fucked up last night. Bad. Not last bad night? As fucking Jasper did, but but yeah. Uh, oh, well, Limpy got high as fuck this weekend. I, yeah, I'm literally. Every time I turned and looked at y'all, y'all had a new one started and it was just going in the circle. I Five like, minutes later, that was no new. bitch. <laughs> Mine didn't raise yeah. no bitch. Boy, that's how I, that's how we work. Yeah, dude, I walked over there to get a drink and I was like, "Damn, I messed up. <laughs> Not even hit the damn thing." Yeah. Now, well, I wanted to show Ed. Wow. <laughs> I wanted dude. to show Ed with E's and B's that, that I wasn't no bitch. <laughs> I went over there a couple times and it was like, dude, the. The gummies and the flour and this and that. There's the, the the mixing of combinations is like you know they say don't drink liquor all. and beer together. All kinds of cotton. <laughs> yeah, it, it's the same thing when it comes to marijuana. Don't mix all the gummies and everything together. It, it doesn't play out well. Wow, that's a party, man. That's a party. Yeah, Dude, I don't know I, if it's because just... I was tired or all the damn gummies y'all were feeding me. But Saturday night, as soon as they finished the winter circle pictures, my ass took off. I did, bro. I didn't take my shoes off. I crawled up in the camper. Didn't even lay in the bed. I just leaned over and fell straight asleep. Can you imagine roll, uh, Poland rolling to say that pretty good when you're high? Rolling, <laughs> Poland rolling, Poland rolling up to his truck and fucking passing out before he gets in that motherfucker and wakes up and he's still right next to his truck in his chair. <laughs> you ever done that? I have, unfortunately. <laughs> I, I, I passed out on the back porch before, woke up fucking soaking wet from humidity. Yep. No, I don't happens, remember where we were. 
I don't remember where we were, but I got real toasted. That was the first time I had, like, I don't know how else to explain it besides, you ever been drunk and you did the Texas two-step? Like, where you kind of start, take a step, then you take two steps backwards? Like, and it's just- Was this pre-wheelchair? Was yeah. this pre-wheelchair? Hey, imagine, that- imagine doing that, but in a wheelchair. You're trying to push yourself forward, and your body's going. Oh, like, shit. Like, back and it's, it's quite comical. And then, yeah, it's I like It's it, like- it's like you're riding on, you're walking on a, uh, on a, uh, travel trailer. You know how you're walking <laughs> and it takes back and yeah, forth. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. This also comes um, from the guy I, that every time I look was riding like wheelies on his wheelchair and shit all weekend. <laughs> just <sighs> Taco Casa is what I got here. Yeah. Taco Casa. Yeah. We're going to, where are we going? Taco Villa, La Villa Grande. La Villa Grande. We kind of invited Bless everybody you. that was associated as, with small tire gangs or helped with the event, we're going to do like an appreciation dinner. I was about to say, if y'all said on the board or just throw my invitation out the window. No, <laughs> well, luckily the, the old lady's working and she's not going to be home till like eight or so. So I'd be out Got anyway. You. <laughs> Got you. That was the one place yeah. I wanted to try a taco casa or a taco bueno. And we didn't get to do that in, but damn. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, we're going to take off and start driving down the road. I was just going to jump on here for a minute. Whenever uh, we get done at the, uh, what's it called, the Mexican restaurant, I'll jump on here on my way home or something and do a uh, do a recap with y'all. <laughs> and go ahead and take note before y'all come to Shady Side. I need about four or five bottles of that uh, Whataburger spicy ketchup. I can make it. <laughs> hey, we, we can actually sell it in a You bottle, can sell bro. it. They sell it in a bottle at HEB and Walmart in Texas. You Make can buy happen. a whole ketchup bottle. So I'll I'll bring you I'll some. I'll be on Amazon that shit. I think we should. Dude, was, you. Hold on. It's I'm, twenty dollars a bottle on Amazon. Sure. Let's oh, see, crap. Amazon. Some things are just worth it though. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about should... that, but then I was like, "Well, I know I've got people coming from Texas next month." So, well, hey, you could uh, you could have just not ate a, a brisket sandwich at Bucky's <laughs> and just bought a fucking deal. Of, of I didn't d- didn't eat breakfast. Oh, didn't eat Corey. Breakfast. Yo, just send send me your address. They got it on Amazon for you can get a three pack, three pack bottles for nine dollars and twenty cents. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, I'll mail you that. I'll send you that. Send me your address and I'll send you some. My man, hell yeah! I'm telling you that ketchup's life changing. It is. It really is. It, it'll spoil I don't you on ketchup. Just regular ketchup. I, I can't after that. Ketchup. It just don't taste the same. Oh, he's cut dead now. He's on the freeze. He moved out of God's light and moved into the darkness. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, not yet. Um, all right, y'all. Well, I'm going to get blasted out of here so I can, I'm not late, and uh, I'll jump back on here in a little bit. All right, bye. Later. See you. Okay. Later. Bye. Oh, but <clears throat> let me pull some stuff up. I, I don't know, some... but uh, they did They did have a free malfunction quite a few times didn't they that first that first pair was uh trying to i was trying to figure out what was going on and every time they had that they had tree my function i just got up <laughs> made a stroll to the start line <laughs> waved at everybody hey man i'm, I'm over here went back fucking smoked a blunt <laughs> smoke multiple multiple you gotta put in multiple <laughs> but uh, I got some videos put together, and we're gonna go to some videos for that. And then we also got some videos from King of the Colum- uh, the King of Columbus from Chris. So this was what really kicked off. Well, kicked off Saturday. The video highlights will have a mixture of days, but this kicked off Saturday, which was a little memorial for Nate. <laughs>
the manual. He's the one that actually owns the car. Yeah, Emmanuel actually the one that actually owns the car. He was driving it. That was a really cool thing. Awesome. I got some awesome pictures of it. They had the banner hanging up, everything. Really awesome way to send the Nate and the uh, pony down the gut. <coughs> yeah, so, that's cool. Emmanuel has, owns that, and he owns that, that remember that black Chevy 2 that uh, mm-hmm. Nate used to drive? He owns that too. Well. The blower the, car? The, the, yeah, the blower car and the... the I'm not sure if the truck was his or if the truck was Nate's. And uh, he, of course, they had uh, Anonymous as well. Really, really, Mama. really cool deal. But here's some, I got some highlights of some cars going down, some of the cooler passes of the weekend. So bring that up. <laughs> A little sketchy right there. First round on Friday night was crazy. And that blower car right there is ridiculous. Both of them. Yeah, man, it's not rocket. Shoot, boy. Dude, that thing blew my eardrum out on Saturday. Makazi and girl driving that. Was it that? Uh, no, there's a Camaro, Turbo Camaro that girl drives. There's John. What car, what car was that? Pulled the wheels. That thing's badass. That one right there. Just pulled the wheels. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's uh, Fifty Shades of Brown. Man, right, a 500 foot pass and got out of it. Bank robber. Dropping the chutes at like 550 foot and just rolling. This was one of the loudest things I've ever seen. Dude, I love it. It's really loud. It's really loud through that. guys standing in the middle are crazy. And then we move on to Saturday. I didn't see that. That's a hell of a good pass by you. He dumped it at like 500 some odd foot. This is Jeff. Index Jeff. Index Jeff. This is the index pack. <laughs> Index Jeff trying to hit it with like 2,000 worth of uh, nitrous. Oh, yeah. Man, Josh and Caleb. This up. No, oh, it's They just up. got that white car together at like midnight or 1 o'clock in the morning on Friday or Saturday morning. Just got it together, fired it up, and then drove straight there. But the one thing I can say, but, guys, is watch through this. This is a testament of their safety equipment. Out of the car, out of the car, no issues. And then they went up, hugged each other, you know. Man, Ryan Mitchell's just a bad, bad man. Man, man. watching that video, it's just, I, mean, I was even there. And, there you go. Like two top fuel dragsters making hits. <laughs> Uh, index draft back up the small tire. I thought it looked like he almost went around him there at the end. I thought he did. This was wild right here. The brick. Oh, Jonathan Horn over there, man, completely off to the side. That was a hell of a race. And that's a TRS car. Jeff said that that Mustang instead of a TRS car. Man, I thought he had it. Uh, I thought he was making a good lick. Black sheep guy. 
Ryan and Ryan Mitchell and pay for offer. Damn. Let me tell you, Ryan, uh, bank robbers got some percussion out of them zoomies too. Oh, here's Mikey. He won like 21 grand that weekend. <laughs> insane oh yeah here's your small tire finals can't do was giving it the beans hard on top oh, of yeah you. yeah he was he was riding it he was he was giving it this was a hell of a close race to little game Westmoreland was steamrolling everybody on top, and then here's Mikey's winning pass. Look at twenty thousand dollars. Courtesy of Forever Grudge. Fucking Barrett, take a shirt off. <laughs> Barrett. Wow. I messaged Lamont for that clip, and then I seen I seen Barrett hey shirt off. I said some things just cannot be unseen. <laughs> I he almost fucking rolled up to me and I was like, I'm fucking like, you know that, 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 that bad part of like, uh, what's the show where he has like, uh, oh, with Jennifer Anderson and she has like all the deals and he's like this clean freak and he's playing basketball and the dude jumps up and hits him and you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I was uh, chat, chatting though, but I had a vision of that fucking Barrett coming up, jumping on me and he fucking sweating and stuff and it's all like, Ugh. Oh man, no, nah, it wasn't split. Nah. They they split Friday night uh, because actually the ambulance drivers. I think the ambulance got uh, uh, they had to leave. Yeah, uh, but they didn't want to run. But uh, Happy yeah, guy in the middle was a cross cam. But you know, I don't know. I I could I would just do like a tire crack. I would hit it and then and go off. Happy should be on later. I think he was just getting near off of a plane. He still got to go through TSA people. Yeah. You know he likes yeah. them uh, cavity checks. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! So what do you? Um, so by judging off of uh, what you saw, what uh, what do you think those guys were going? Oh God! Fast. <laughs> Fast, fast. <laughs> Anything close to like what we talked about last week? I don't want to say a number, but I can say yeah. that it's fast. That's it. Along come Polly. That's the name of the movie. Like, yeah, like fast. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure they were they were running some numbers down there. Do that. The first half of that track, you could throw anything in the world at it. I swear it it took it. And it didn't it didn't have really no tacky or no gooey feel to it. It was a good rubber feel. So good bond for the tire. And like I think I only seen one pass that Casey Max was really he didn't hit it hard out the hole. And that was like that was the first round on Friday. And then after that, dude, if you didn't ha if you weren't in front of him at sixty foot, just it was over. It's done. Uh I do, I do, uh, uh, um, well, Thursday night, uh, we were high. <laughs> no, I did that on purpose. <laughs> what the hell is that? Recording. I got, I've got a weird deal here. I ain't never seen the recording before. All right. I can see it too. Had Alex a little has low storage there. space. Poland is not complete. Wait, what? Yeah, I know I, I have upload. I don't know. Yeah, I have less than five gigabytes of storage space. <laughs> oh, that's the first time I've seen that. And I was like, I've had I've had StreamYard for like three years now. Feds be watching. Yeah, that's that's probably that's that's happy. I wait for happy to get on. That's, 
Uh, I don't even remember what he he's look, talking about. He ain't sleeping right now. He's going to be home. He's going to be asleep again. He ain't coming home. Four uh, uh, 90s, I think, would be slow, but they weren't going threes. That it, but definitely was way faster than four nineties. <laughs> which, <laughs> which most of Ron's passes look fast, but if you actually get down and look at them, he wasn't making full passes. No, he was shut. Uh, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't need to. I mean, I mean, not to say that. Yeah, Megan. Well, I mean, uh, I mean, he wasn't making full passes. I mean, a full, you know. Which so like when he ran the crack and not to knock the cracking or anything, but. Uh, Ryan was off the gas probably at 500 feet. I think, well, from camera, and I could be wrong because I couldn't tell if it, like, if the front ever went down or not, anything, but I think when he ran, which Megan can probably give us a A or an A, when he ran the semis against the uh, Grand Dam, Bonneville, whatever it was, yeah, it sounded like he, he held that one hard out the back door. Well, that, that car is actually really fast. Uh, yeah. That car is really, really fast. Uh, I'll get you, James. Uh, that car is actually fast, but I think that's the first time it's been to the gut. <laughs> it's one uh, out there in New Mexico and uh, out there in, uh, oh, shit, the Odessa area. I mean, that car is pretty quick out there, and that's desert area, so <laughs> here he might have been a little faster coming here with with some good air. That was their fastest pass of the night. Yeah, I'm telling you, that thing was strolling hard, and I was like, that pass it's 60 hard, like everything. Yeah. Yeah. Bank robber and Ryan was a hell of a race. Hobbs and Odessa is the one that they. Both of those, uh, I appreciate them doing hearing checks on me at about a hundred foot out. So man, it was perfect. It was perfect. I was standing there and they were rolling up and Ryan did his burnout and I shit you not. New record hats flying off in there. I think I counted like 19 hats flying from the start line over into the spectator side. It was that was a new record. I I didn't get the full count, but it was more than uh Doc's. I think Doc did six one time as, as on start line on the street, but it was massive hats. It looked like a sea of hats in the air. They said when uh first round on Friday when Snot Rocket in Houston ran. When Snot Rocket did his uh, burnout and he knocked the hats over, then Houston started rolling fists. Houston ran over like two or three of them. They got hung on his tires or some shit. Yeah. Dude, it was... Oh, God. the per... I think now out of all of them, the hardest percussion uh, was a tie between the White Chevelle and Bank Robber. For some odd reason, those, when they came by, they hit twice as hard as anybody else. So I'm thinking their zoomies must not have as much upswept on the angle. They must be a little bit out. Yeah. Ted Shirts were blowing cigarettes, blowing out of people's mouths. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dude, that, tra- that, that track's fast. Like, I would almost. I know. I know. I know. I've seen some black sheep mafia draggies last year, and they were they were they were pretty fast. And I wouldn't be surprised if they were this just as fast this year because, or was it last year or two years ago? I can't remember. The last year, I think. But they were they were pretty quick. Pink robber slam tickle fits his camera door closed. <laughs> Dude. Oh, <it's- laughs> So a lot of big bellies. Right? Didn't see mine. Uh, Hold up, Megan. How much? How much music did y'all at least avoid? Because I had I to seen the video the- where the dude got his. Uh, I guess got the shoot caught in his car or whatever. Yeah, that was yeah. wow. I was like, damn. Uh, seen that real or is it the video that they posted? But damn. And Varney was rolling. Uh, uh, I like his new car. I like Varney's new car, the, the True Street car. That thing's pretty, pretty. The white car, pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was our first time. Oh, dude, I I dropped every bit. I, now there's a couple racing clips where you could faintly hear it, and I was like, "Come on, don't flag me, YouTube. Come on, don't flag me, YouTube." <laughs> I, you know what? I just got. I was live for most of the time, but then I just got tired of 
you know, everybody being in the way. So that's why I just people, if y'all got upset, that's that's why I just quit because I just, you know, it wasn't 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 worth it for me. You know, I mean, stand there and try to fight for some, you know, where you got you got Dude. forty mofos getting the same shot that you got. That's a fight. So, Which the so. uh, new Yolo Box Mini is here, so I'm not sure. Get it out. Oh the yeah, box. didn't you say you had a problem with the other one? Wouldn't hold charge. Quit charging. You already sent it back. Yep. And they already got another one. Yep. God dang. Amazon life on me. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I, I had that it. shit as soon as I seen that was happening. Oh, there it is. Eric. Eric. Eric, how do you pronounce your last name? Yeah. Uh, we need to know. Uh, we need to. <laughs> we were on a Quarry Minds want to know because <laughs> can you syllable it out for us? <laughs> so this guy logged into the chat earlier and he came in all glowing like an alien or Jesus. We couldn't figure out which one. <laughs> he didn't look like Alex, so it had to be an alien. <laughs> right. That's uh, yeah. But let me see. I got some more clips now. First, we're gonna go to the King of Columbus clips, and then we're gonna have a special uh, news report from Pat McCrotch. Oh, so How many crotches did Pat McCrotch Pat? Rosty Pat. and Fred. Rosty or Rosty? So that's your legit last name. Holy shit. I didn't realize that. <laughs> All right. So here we go from King of Columbus. Holy oh, shit. There, right? Oh, get it. Damn. That ain't. That ain't narrating. You've been quiet. I got all this new setup, and he's scared to talk now. Yes. So, this, so that was first pair. This is the second pair. That's Logan Duvall's new car. God, he made that look easy. And if I can tell you how fast the car went, you would be mind blown. Oh! Yeah. He's more car. He did a mork bump. <laughs> mork doing the side to side. It was slow. Oh, New York was there. New York came in hot. Well, I know. Uh, I know the New York. I know they won the second chance. Uh, I'm talking about a uh, uh, the Nova. Yep. Man, look at that Jeep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so this is second round. Mark versus Logan. Tabers were on seven cylinders the entire race, and they hit. They decided to spray it all nitrous they had. This is the uh, quarterfinal. <clears throat> oh, whoa. This is where Logan oh, almost whoa. wrecked. I've seen him dancing. That's the first time I've seen it. I don't know how he saved that car. No idea. Got Wadgie doing Wadgie things. Wadgie and Tony McKinney son. Wadgie sleeping. But drove right around him. <laughs> <laughs> Six shift finals. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Took the shit out of that foot. Neighbors versus Raggedy Ann. Uh, finals, second chance. Oh. They lost a tire. Nope. Unfortunately, Tommy couldn't make the call for finals, so Wadji went and made somewhat of a mask. 
but they did a pretty decent split, so it wasn't enough to justify run them running the car and hurting it. So uh, this is uh, True Street. And they have a little stage duel going on here. Yep, David was on seven cylinders. So Every time he made a pass, the thing was puking out of the the uh, puke tank. So New York Somebody sent me got two of the uh, Send me just pictures of a. Uh, oh shit! Did it go on there? Dude, Logan's car is looking nasty. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, he was. Uh, he showed up very late. He was the last one in small tire. Now everybody was like, and nobody didn't realize it until like when they drew pairs. Yeah, that car is uh, very fucking nice. Damn it. It used to be a down south car. Yep. That bitch, is, that bitch rides. I mean, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if you knew what that car went off the trailer, second pair, after looking at what happened that first pair that went down, you wouldn't fucking believe it. It's insane. If you if you think if you think the Prestons are a problem, that's going to be a problem. Oh, dude. Oh, Logan. So uh, Logan's car used has made a few trips to Shea Side before it went to Logan, and I've oh it it's and it's very well built. Everything's nasty about it, and they added their touch now. So, whew. yep, they one were... of my favorite cars. We've also got. I'd say, uh, I'd say they were a full second off from the entire field first pair down. Good God! We've also yeah. got this. So we can talk about too. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know. So I don't know. Have you guys heard the story of this? Oh yeah, I heard it last night on the live feed, or we Jasper and I uh, smoke show. Dude, I was 60 feet out and I had no idea it was happening until like I heard Joe go, the drill's spinning backwards. I was like, what? The yeah, drill? Had it on reverse. And then <laughs> Hey, it worked. It worked for you, one man. pass. <laughs> Them guys. There's no quit literally in those guys at all. No. That's Jasper's car. Uh the uh the cable ended up breaking <laughs> so they concocted some kind of uh deal where they hooked up the drill to the pump to actually pump the fuel and they had it pretty much running wide open for the pass and then something happened and they actually won one race and then something happened on the the second pass where it didn't something happen well, so the second pass, they had to, uh, it had so much fuel pressure in the rail that it was pushing through the injectors. So they tried to turn it down at the regulator, and I think it just like choked itself out. Yeah. I just want to know was it discussed? How do we make the drill spin slower while we're. <laughs> it literally, so they waited for the other guy to do a burnout, and then Phil was under the car, and he just went with the zip tie it just it was full blast the whole time but they tried it with an impact gun it didn't spin fast enough yeah well impact so guns and yeah. they said they said it uh he said that it uh actually it made it, made it like 30 it pounds made it, on the uh impact yeah it uh he he said the battery shit to bed at about the 700 foot mark <laughs> Wow. So the punt, so the the drill fucking stopped at 700 feet, which was good. So he coasted around, and and then I don't know if they had another battery, but they it screwed up the next round. I mean, that's just the ingenuity in that. I mean, pay for effort, no matter what. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah, it was it was hilarious. But let's see now, breaking news. For everybody that has never got to see Pat McCrotch in oh action. Gosh, man. We don't need to see this shit. So, <laughs> in the words of Pat McCrotch, action! <laughs> so, how many crotches did you pat? Oh, boy. Pat Luckily, coming to you live. <laughs> oh, <there you> <laughs> oh, my God. 
Index Jeff there. I didn't know my shirt was all fucked up like that. Yeah, I know. I know that here. So, I heard you were scared, and you are now Index Jeff. I don't even know what Index recently is. What's up? Have you ever seen one of the really nice digital dial boards? We're now coming out with a billet bracket that we call the Jeff. It's going to be, every bracket right here in the planet is going to be sided for you. And is, can you get Fake autographed news. versions of them? Yeah, we're actually gonna engrave a little, little uh, bit, like a, you know, like like a little bicep on it. You know? So actually, maybe the bicep <laughs> will hold the dial. <laughs> so what, what's your take on, on 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 the atmosphere compared to your your event? Which oh, I think right. I think we'll be flying in WMX Frida Mundo. will be bringing Pat McCrotch and uh, we're gonna fly him in. That's right. Oh, it's the guts awesome, man. Every, everything I experienced. Oh. Uh, 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 and it's true that we're going to change Jeff's name to Index Jeff. Yes. <laughs> oh, we got to go get a flag. We gotta go. Okay, go. go. And cut! <laughs> Live at the good. <laughs> and action! It's Pat McCross coming to you live from Yellow Belly, Street of Mundo, WMX. Call sign there. Gotta give it WMX. Time. We're here with the guy. They say that, that he, he, he doesn't fail. He's got everything figured out. He's a Jimmy Deller. Uh, that ain't saying much. But he took a job okay. from a guy that is loved in this community. Can we hear him? Yes. Yes. Loved. 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 <laughs> I was, I, he, uh, I, yeah. He took a job from this guy. So we're going to get his take on this. What do you think about this tonight? <laughs> this guy, he won't say nothing. He's gonna talk shit. And cut! Cut! He's talking about his interview on the tree. Did you ask it to blink for yes or blink for no? Nah, that motherfucker ain't gonna say shit. He's scared. He knows what's up. I mean, uh, that's what Pat said. That's what Pat said. I don't know. Oh, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, motherfucker. No, you got to tell them now the best part about your camera when we sat down. Well, I, I sat down and uh, I had Ed with me, and Ed was my, uh, he's, he's bent over. He's my cameraman. Uh, but it wasn't bent over's fault. <laughs> It was uh, the production uh, pre production uh, pre production who was I apparently put the GoPro on time lapse. So it fucking luckily the media go up there got the fucking got it. So uh, Dude, yeah, I would love was, to see a time lapse because it's probably oh it was like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, there you go. Come on, <laughs> let me tell you a story. Louisville. <laughs> oh, so, god. Mine was a... oh god! See, that's what's bad about GoPros, man. Sometimes they'll screw up, and you you don't think you put them in a mode, like you <coughs> thought you hit record, but you didn't hit it hard enough to record, and it changed it over just to a different mode. And that's why I was that's never what mine did. I well, mine's touch. Mine's the <coughs> touch the back of it. The touch. And, uh, uh, you know, you swap left or you swap right, uh, to change the modes. And I thought I just, I, I got it in camera mode and then I hit the, hit the record and apparently it, I swapped and it slid over to time lapse. So I just got to pay attention and not be so fucking high. Yeah. Let me tell you people, when he was setting it up, 
there was a fog that had developed in the corner right there at Yellow Belly. It was an early evening fog. And uh, if you walked into that fog, not only would you be, you couldn't see, but you'd walk out and go straight to the taco truck. So, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what, uh, that's what that. they do now. That's what 1320 does now. They just use cell phones. I guarantee they won't uh-huh. bend over the line like that again. <laughs> uh, Why? What happened? <laughs> I got vocal. <laughs> oh, I'm coughing, bud. I'm coughing. What's he smoking on? Let's hear it. I, I think this mic was a part, apparently must have been used where recreational drugs were uh, used. <laughs> so well, I, I, you also I, get a, I get a whiff here and there of uh, some stuff and things. Let the fan play. Let the well, fan play. That's here, probably man. why it was $125 on Marketplace, but fuck it. Here, let me show you what's you're, up. You're also like, you. every word you say, you get close to it. <laughs> well, all right. See if you can smell that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be good. Pat McCrock. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, geez. That's an internet breaking shit right there. But you know, you know, after it's all said and done, uh, I, th- I think I was going to interview the the Canadian. Uh, Pat McCross was going to interview the McC- the Canadian, and and if he did that, and then he would have got dicked, literally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to interview the dude, and it's still in fucking time lapse. Hey, smells like chicken nuggets. <laughs> oh, oh boy. <laughs> But other than that, I can say my first venture out to the Midwest, Texas is an awesome state. Arkansas, not so much. Uh, well, what happened Arkansas? That's some of the worst oh. roads, shittiest oh. places. No. There's nothing you, to even look at. All it is is a swamp and land. You haven't, heard, you haven't drove through Louisiana yet. Arkansas is bad. I'll it's take like, Arkansas over Louisiana any day. Like I, I wonder if the suicide rate's high in Arkansas. Not, not Louisiana. <laughs> it is for deer. <laughs> Dude, we saw hardly no roadkill. I think we counted two armadillo. That was it. Look, look have you guys ever thought why it's Arkansas and Kansas and it's not Arkansas? Arkansas? <laughs> That's all I can think about. That's the only thing Arkansas. they're known for is that they might be Arkansas. Look, look, let me tell you, if there's. There's got to be another way around Arkansas to get there. I will take it. There is. You just fly right over that motherfucker. <laughs> it, it's sounding good. But, oh, and then we made it back to Whiffle, and Houston's got a flat on the trailer. Oh, shit. And so he hurry and pumped it up so we can make, like, the last 40 minutes of the ride back to the to his garage. And he cracked another tire, another rim. So that's two oh, trailer crack, trailer wheels cracked. What, I was, like, was, like, was you going my, through? Was y'all my, going my, through uh, to North dude, Little Rock and Little Rock? I, 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 I'm, I'm going to tell you exactly the route because it was only three roads. Well, four, seventy-seven to eighty-one to forty to thirty. That's yeah, all okay. Y'all, the yeah, y'all, y'all went through right there. That is rough on like trailers to uh, North Little Rock there. Where they're doing all construction and shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's real rough through there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You should. You ever watch the Arkansas State Police on YouTube? They do uh-uh. the chases and stuff. Yeah. That's pretty. You'll be like, damn, there it was. There it was. You see me? You passed me right there. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, Jeff can make some money selling uh, long travel suspension to everybody yeah. in Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> on that road. <laughs> but uh, let's see. But no, I got to see a lot of cool new stuff. Finally, first time riding through Memphis. Made sure the Glock was ready to go just in case. The man, play. I'll play for that. Uh, <laughs> and then it, it got worse as you got to Arkansas. The one thing I'm disappointed in was when we crossed the Texas state border out of Arkansas. <clears throat> I was expecting to see like Chuck Norris on a sign or some shit. <laughs> Not Why? some little just dinky road sign said, Welcome to Texas. Well, they have a giant flag there, don't they? In Texas, not at you that, through Texarkana, 
dude. I, we, I never saw it. Oh yeah, yeah. You got it's it's through there because Texarkana is a dual state. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, because, um, uh, you got it's right there. It's really weird. Is uh, you're on one side and there's a crossover, and then as soon as you cross over, if you're not paying attention, there's the the welcome to Texas sign right there. Oh, because, dude, I almost missed it. Yeah, I mean it's not it's it's not, you know it's not huge and big, but it's just uh, it's just a road sign. I mean, just like you know any any road sign that you go to. I don't care if Chuck Norris is from Oklahoma; he's gonna be on the Texas sign. That's Walker, Texas Ranger. <laughs> 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 so Eidenberg Motorsports Park. Who is the fastest small tire in the United States? Prep or no prep? Backside or front side? I mean, right now, no prep, especially from the front side. Ryan Mitchell, I think, sitting on the crown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh from the backside? Man, it's it's mm-hmm. it's it's that's kind of a it's kind of a no and it's a it depends on the area you go to i guess because you know everybody's got their own little you know you got the denver guys that got the uh, east coast pretty much on lockdown they got a front side win this weekend at uh mooresville yeah and then you got you know you got the uh, north guys up there you know indy in that indiana guys and the kentucky guys uh you got the south guys you know midwest guys i mean it just depends on your area <laughs> Yeah, one Canadian guy. Yeah, and a Canadian mm-hmm. guy that's been on a fucking kill. You no. Know. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah he won in the North and the South, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, I would love to see him. I would have loved to have seen him race Tommy. I think it would actually been a pretty closer race than you think. It would have been close until there was like a probably a twenty mile an hour difference at the finish line, probably more. But I bet it would have been close till they got there. Yeah, I, 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 I would, been, I would, I would agree on the mile per hour. I think it'd been a good race, but it would have the back end would have been bad. Dude, that car, the back half on it's just insane. And I mean, after watching that video of what he did to the other two cars, just look how far out uh, McKinney's son was on him, and it was just like gone, yeah. slingshot engaged. What's, what's crazy is, is if you watch. Um, <laughs> SRC's new video it shows the in car of him and Logan and actually he was out on Logan by mm-hmm. a little okay. bit. We got some breaking news. Oh shit. So <laughs> uh just want to go out and say uh happy birthday to the Pizza King. Today is yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I, 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 player. Happy birthday, player. He is in Las Vegas right now. Oh, what the boy. fuck? Hell yeah. It says oh, Aventador <laughs> problems. Aventador problems. Damn rental overheating gone me in the middle of the desert. And you can tell he's a food guy because he didn't spell it desert like you would normal. He spelled it dessert. Hell yeah. That's my favorite. Right <laughs> I smoked that. Happy birthday, Alan. Well, that that's depressing. It sounds like I won't see him this weekend. Where are you going, Chris? Coming to Milan, buddy. Hell yeah. I um and I might be flagging Sunday at <laughs> Melton. I'm I'm right. I'm oh it's official now, people. Limpy can no longer give me shit for not coming to Texas. I've officially been to Texas for racing now. Finally, man. Shit. Finally, you got out you you made it past Shady Side. Shit, finally. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 I'll make it further than Shady Side. That's Ken you're thinking of in the airport. <laughs> uh, yeah, close enough. You know, you Shady Side, Ken, the airport. I mean, shit. It, fuck. Either Ken either goes to the airport or he goes to Maryland Raceway or wherever it's called up there. Uh, he was supposed to come to Columbus and uh, I didn't uh, I didn't hear from him. Oh, they so probably saying- had like some kind of a, a, a index race at uh, Maryland. And you had to go film there. Race. They but honestly, locked in the like, basement and couldn't get out. Could yeah, you're probably right. But uh, I was actually very surprised. I mean, there was 30 small tire cars um, good. Saturday. It was a, uh, it was a good scenario. Like I was a little worried just because of all the races, but there was a lot of races that um that canceled because of the wind 
and the weather. I think there was there was a lot of people that were supposed to come up to Ubley and they went down there instead just because yeah. of the weather. Yep. So Seven like at Ubley we had I think we had well, fifteen at Ubley. Got about uh I think about three weeks left, I think. Hopefully. What did anybody else see where Trump's starting his own TV network and then they're gonna have his own on his new own online network that's supposed to help out people that's getting shit on by other sites anyways. <coughs> no. It's not Rumble. It's something else. He's starting up. Huh. Huh. What was the wildest thing I seen in Texas? Our waiter at o, at a OTB Thursday night because that dude was drunk. <laughs> 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 that dude was drunk. What's OTB on the border? Oh shit! Y'all went to like y'all went. So, I told you the y'all story. Went to, y'all went the cheap. Y'all went the cheap Mexican food place while you were in Texas. Well, we went. We're, no, we were going to the Brazilian steakhouse that was right beside it. Oh okay. And it closed, I guess, at nine thirty. And then everything else in that area closed at 10, right around Arlington, around the stadium and shit. Like, I, if, it, if it had been up to me, like, <laughs> if we wouldn't knew how good it was, we probably would have had three meals at Whataburger. There's nothing wrong with that, though. No, no. I was very... The th- only thing that caught me off guard at Whataburger was the first time when we ate there, and they, they just put mustard on the burger only. I was like, whoa. I like mustard, but it's got me mixed. It got some mayonnaise or some ketchup on there, too. Now, the second time, perfect. Hmm. And then watching Houston Fangirl over seeing Michael Irvin in there. That was pretty funny. Yeah, I got uh, I got two, uh, what do they call them? Copyright strikes. I can't get a third or they delete your account. So Ooh. that's why uh, we haven't been doing nothing for about two months. They fall off after 90 days. Most of the t- Yeah, that blows my mind. Why does everything in that area close so early, Wimpy? It, I don't know where you're where but, you're talking about over there. We were in right by the stadium, AT&T Stadium, Six Flags, that whole area. That's where we stayed. Damn. I hey, fuck, you would figure everything I don't know. Well, were they restaurants or were they like just Yeah. Like all the restaurants, uh, most like, most rest, some restaurants close at like eleven. Chili's uh, was closed at ten. Uh, like yeah, all these places, that, I'm like, what no, the hell? The, on a Friday night or Saturday night? It was Thursday night. Thursday night, yeah, they close at ten on the during the week, I think, and then they're open to like I think eleven or twelve on the weekends. What's that? But, uh, just ask if you want mustard, and that means everything. Yeah. But shit, nah. we that hop at five, three or four o'clock in the morning. What the hell are y'all talking about? Dude, I'd rather you, go you, to you mm. knees and bees. Dude, I'd rather go to Whataburger than I hop. Well, I mean, I mean, yeah, but uh Thursday nights, Friday nights, and Saturday nights, uh if you drive try to drive through a Whataburger at that at two or three, four o'clock in the morning. Good luck. You ain't getting it. You're are you are you're gonna get it, but it's gonna take like 30 is it, minutes. Is it worse than cookout? Yes. Damn. Well, cookout has at least two deals. Well, I guess Waterburger does. Too. Oh, they have they have dual they have dual th- drive through drive-thrus now? Well, they have it's one, but it's <clears throat> you split off. You go in the different lanes. Oh, I haven't been, well, I mean, I haven't seen a Waterburger since 2017, so yeah. I'm sure it's upgraded. different now. We've but upgraded yeah, now. They're uh yeah it it was it was bad especially in Houston when we would go try to get food especially like after like the racing and stuff like that's over and it would be a fucking mess. Hey, Corey, y'all, so y'all know how bad the, the uh, oh shit the wrappers are or the ketchup deals? Did yeah. you have problems with it getting it open? Nah, not one. All right, my, my uh, shit was in Chris. Off. Chris, did you have problems? <laughs> I mean, they've been the same forever. I've I I never used it. Here you, you go. So catch up. Everybody right. can understand what we're talking so, about. So, so, uh, uh, I sent you a visual. So, everybody, ha- can happy, happy was so high that this is when he smokes. He got so high that he couldn't open. I ate a whole must, a whole breakfast on a bun before he got that fucking water burger deal open. 
Oh shit. Uh, yeah. And I mean, this is Chris. You're gonna laugh when you see this because you've opened Mc, like McNugget sauce from McDonald's, right? Yeah, it's basically the same thing. It's, yeah, it's I've, same never eaten, I've never eaten a a McNugget from McDonald's, so no. Come well, on. Like, yeah. Damn. He's he's one oh, of them. Oh, also, yeah, so, it just pull, so it just pulls from the top. Okay. That, oh, what's so fucking hard about that? Well, it fucking whipped Happy's <laughs> ass like a motherfucker. <laughs> was Kenzie with y'all? Yes. Did Kenzie not help him open it? No, she was. We were both just like, I'm like eating and I'm like, this is really happening. Hey, can I get that son of a bitch open? <laughs> oh. He is still trying to get that son of a bitch open. Yeah. That's crazy. And I look at Kenzie and she's like, just like, it was funny. Didn't hey, realize, hey. Uh, hush your yeah. mouth. Yeah, hush your mouth. Didn't realize Bucky's actually has breakfast. Oh, yeah. yeah. So when we pulled in there, I was expecting at 4 o'clock in the morning, I was just happy. I was going to get like a sandwich, something, some of those chips be good to go. Well, they had breakfast. Bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit was on point. Bacon, egg, and cheese burrito, which they call a taco. I don't understand that, but okay. On point. Fajita. Taco on point. Tater tots. It's on point. That's why I was so knocked out in those videos, I do believe, at that point. Yeah, good meeting you too, Doug. That was a awesome weekend, man. I got to meet a lot of new people. Man. And that, that was the coolest part about this That's weekend. What happens was, when you know when you go outside past Shady Side, you know, you get to meet new people. <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm gonna tell you, it's just like seeing new cars. I think it's like I told somebody, I said, I really have only seen maybe 10 of these cars that's on property in my whole life. Everybody else is all fresh. Did did the did the Nova from uh from Arizona, did he do the big wheelie Thursday night or was that uh Friday? Yeah, Thursday night. Okay. We were watching that on your on yours or Tickle Fitz's live while we were eating. Yeah, I couldn't remember, but yeah. Cause y'all know how that because they people they they prep on Thursday nights. They they prep the track. But this is me and uh, Ed, E's and B's. We're probably, I don't know, probably six, or seven cones in. Uh, and they're out, you know, we're six or seven cones a piece in. Not a piece, but between both of us. And they're pulling out the, the spray deal. And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I keep, I, I totally forgot it was Thursday nights because they, they, they kind of prep on Thursday nights. So they they prep the sixty foot and the the sprayer, their little concoction the sprayer that they got screws up. So I shit you not, dude. This is what they did, and God bless them. I I probably would have did the same thing, but they they put the sprayers where they were sticking up in the air, and it was like turn it on, and it was like just like you know, like as a water fountain, you know, like just spraying everywhere. So. <laughs> I noticed when I was walking over there and I was like, why does this shit feel glued down on my edges? Even uh, even on the fucking where everybody was standing, it was because they had that fucking sprayer. It was like, it was just spraying everywhere. You know, you know, like uh, you go to like the water parks where they got like the little thing that pop up and they're spraying everywhere. And yeah. Pop, yeah. That's basically what they're fucking prep with. They prep all the way to 300 foot and turn around and, and ah, on the way back. Wow. That's I'll tell you, Mandy, I was about to literally tell them to stop using a dot of silicone and use half the tube or something to keep that damn cone glued to the ground. <laughs> Y'all missed a Thursday night, I swear. I think I think they Ed, what do we think? What do we say? It was like sixteen times that they had to go uh uh fix the cones. If the blend of the car coming by knocks the cone over, you did not use enough silicone. Yeah, I, and they, and, you know, a couple of times they actually got hit. They actually did get hit. Yeah, but yeah, Doug, like a water sprinkler, like a yard. People sprinkler. use but, silicone uh, to glue those down. We use, uh, we use, um, um. If you say stripper glitter, I'm gonna laugh. No. Um, <laughs> fuck am i thinking here um it's the it's got the fuzzy on one end and it velcro oh, oh velcro, uh, velcro. We, velcro, we velcro strips the the sensors at mag 
Well, honestly, it's not a bad idea. It works. <laughs> How does it? I mean, you got to clean the surface, I guess, the, on the, the ground part, I guess. Uh, no. Yeah, 3M. <laughs> three, <laughs> we we just three stick M, them on there. And 3M spray? I didn't think glitter. about that. I didn't think about the 3M spray. I watched Thursday night and I lost Gorilla count tape, yeah. <laughs> Gorilla tape. Double-sided uh, airplane tape. Yeah. That shit six to anything. That's guaranteed 300 miles an hour. Glue the fuzzy side to the track. Well, see, I don't like you need to use that shit that I use on the RC cars, that extreme. It doesn't have no, it's oh, not yeah. fuzzy. It's the locking shit. That's yeah, they, I forgot they did have the sprayer out on the other side with the, the pump sprayer. They had to make it even. They had to make them even. <laughs> Flex seal. Y'all love Flex. outlaw tracks, guys. <laughs> So what y'all what do you really think about how loud it was when cars were making passes down there? So uh when it I kind of echoes like yeah, it's it, it, when two blower cars went down, it sounded like a top fuel, two top fuel cars going. No shit, like loud, loud. So when I went to get food Saturday night and change out batteries at the trailer and i came back i stopped at the taco lady's truck i sat at the edge of the canopy and ate like just hearing the echoing of normal cars going through there there's no way you could pay me to be in there when two blower cars are going down it has to sound like all hell is breaking loose like try try standing in between them <laughs> I, I don't think that would be as bad because it sounded like the sound literally gets trapped up in that canopy and it just bounces up and down. Uh, when two blower worse. cars go by you, they, 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 it knocks the breath out of you. I, if it they hit you right, it, it'll knock it'll knock the breath out of you. It was loud on your life feed. I can I can only imagine what it was like in person. Dude, and I had that toned down hard through the... I had the the only audio y'all were getting on the live feed was a mic I hooked into the Olo box. So it just kind of... It was pointing back so I could talk to y'all. I had it turned down like minus 10 decibels just so it wouldn't blow y'all's ears out. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I was under the cover when Ryan and Bank Robber went down. Good Lord. I'm. Uh, there's probably financial compensation for your hearing loss on that one, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see that in 20 I know years. I know that the tree was having, I don't know if it was user area user error or well, or some kind of error so something i saw and so they run accutime that's the same thing we run at shady side they had the same thing on the tree there's a light in the middle and when that light is blinking that means that the tree is activated so that's when you know when to stage mm -hmm. i don't think nobody was paying attention to that half the time and if you pull in and double bulb that shit and get it going before it's activated that tree ain't gonna drop yeah well so, i i know i've done the ones at at uh wrp wichita and uh once they make a hit they're pretty much uh after they do their burnout and they back back up it don't take that tree but that long to be ready to go mm -hmm. and like, i don't know what that problem is i think because people stand in the beams or they walk yes. by the beams and, yes. it, and it screws it up but it will you know, not let it reset you know I could see that. I mean, literally, like, running that timing system and shit from the tower, because I don't think there was nobody on the line flicking a switch. It was all from the tower. Operator. No, no, yeah. It's all, it's, it's just, I think it's all from it's, the tower. Yeah. It's just hitting the enter button, resetting it, enter. Eason was on the button all night. Oh, so they were on the button. Speaking of people needing Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, I thought he was going to uh, long come Polly me when he, the dude jumps up in the air and he's all like, yeah, and he hits me in the face. And he's all sweating and stuff. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> but yeah, Mikey, Mikey went home with a stacks. He big old fucking stack. And homeboy can't count to seven. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there, yeah, there was some. Yeah, like, there were several people they were talking about. They were on the break for four, uh, 12 seconds and 14 seconds. Now, one thing I will say, there was a race. Me and Julie were over there talking about it. And so when I have driver's meetings or anything, 
just by sanction rules. Like if I tell people, look, if you're if you're staged up, you wait for green. You don't leave until you see green or anything like that. And what was the one where they never dropped the tree? It was like they were on there for 10 to 15 seconds. Yes, I did get my hats. Thank you, Barrett Green. <laughs> uh, and the one dude finally left. I said, well, if that would have been my race and my driver's meeting, there wouldn't be no rerun. It was uh, when uh, I think it was the Kraken and the other car. Because I said, I literally say, it doesn't matter what happens. If you leave before the green, if you leave before the trees activate your green, you're out. You're done. And that dude took off. I knew he'd been sitting on the brake for a while. And that's probably just why he let go. But at my race, that would have been a disqualification. There would have been no rerun. Yeah. I know they had several that was, it was screwed up. Uh, but, you know, uh, then they, then they, they back it up after they get on the brake and they've been on the brake for 10 seconds. And then they back up, they get, they do it again. And then they do it again. And then it screws up. So then, I mean, can you imagine that, that trans temp? Uh, transmission God. temps and and then and they you, send it down and then you know what you're taking of you're taking a chance for both them <laughs> getting to bed and screwing up the whole race because you know they ain't got no cleaning equipment out there i mean i literally like chris and them was told when houston came up there make sure nobody's in the beams they like to stand around near the beams on the beams and stuff clear everybody out you can Cause that shit will screw up. I seen a lot of times like the beams will be flickering constantly as people are trying to stage. And I'm just like, tell these people to get the fuck back. <laughs> I mean, it's just, I hate that was, I think that was the only downside. It got so crowded on that starting line that it turns into that, which I know they'll probably they'll address that and fix it. So yeah. 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 But that's just one of those. I was like, Wow. But oh, did you it, notice also they didn't give them once they they were in that they weren't they were pretty much gone the 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 tree was already it was like boom boom and then the green light it wasn't no boom boom and way to say it and he wasn't he didn't switch it up Harley either it was pretty much especially if it took one guy about three or four seconds to get up to get bumped in while the other guy's been on. <laughs> The tree was automatically coming on as soon as he lit the other beams. And I didn't notice that. I know with, uh, like when we do Instagram stuff, the randomization is it can randomize anywhere from four tenths of uh, four. Yeah. Four tenths of a second to a full second. It, it's yeah. always different. So. <laughs> I've used that saying so many times this weekend. This math don't math. <laughs> like but, a, like a, like a, like like one of those flyers you sent uh yeah. Sunday. Yeah, that math didn't math at all. <laughs> but so how did y'all race do, uh Alex? It looked pretty good up there. Uh for a uh spring first race of the year like it was 15 cars which i mean it was all right especially for what, where it was like it's up in the thumb of michigan so it's really like middle of nowhere michigan oh shit at least y'all had some uh, drama good. though with the with the with the drill uh drill bit taylor <laughs> i think what what his name was last night or something like that <laughs> He's, yeah, that he's, was, if you uh, know, you know. I'm like, holy shit! It was <laughs> it was something. Uh, ben from Pro Tree actually filmed it all. So when his video drops like Friday or whatever, I'm I'm excited to hear. Uh, like I know he talked to Phil, uh, Jasper Screw Guy. I know he talked to him in between rounds, and Phil is pretty eclectic. So it's probably a good interview. Yeah. Sure. I like watching pro pro tree stuff when I was reacting to it because you know he doesn't he doesn't cry and moan like some of these other people if you react to their videos. Mm -hmm. Did uh, uh did I see some uh some flagger drama too? Well, the only thing I think they were talking about is I don't like I mean I couldn't really tell where I was because I was like you know sixty to hundred feet out so I'm standing behind Chuck. I can't see. There was there was people saying they couldn't see the light, but he had. He, I think he got one from you, Limpy. So he's got like a headband style now, which. But he wear he still wears a hat over it, right? 
Uh, he's wearing his hood, so like it was, okay. it was in the shade. Yeah, Chuck, like, if you're I listening, can, can I've I've it. learned to uh, if you wear a flat bill, uh, and the, when the sun's out, it helps. Uh, I used to wear one of them big fucking, them big hats. Just wear you a flat bill straight, and man, it works. Can Alex put a hat on? The glare is killing me. <laughs> wow, hold on. There I can wow. I can yeah, he just got dicked, man. <laughs> Alex looks like he's uh wanting to know where the party's at tonight now. <laughs> <laughs> party in the back. Yeah, no, business so, in the business in the front. Business in the front, party in the back. Alex so looks- yeah, there was it was either like they couldn't see the light or there was one I saw about someone being on the break for a while, but I, like I, I don't know, I I wasn't paying that much attention. When the video comes out, I'm sure we'll see it. But yeah, somebody I, said they were on the break for like 14 seconds or something like that. Some but well, 14, but if everyone gets up to seven seconds, like that's how long it could end up being. Yeah, I mean, if you're at the track, so I mean, same thing. Like I don't know if Chuck does five or seven. I think he does seven though. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm and I know I'm, he knows how. To, I know he knows how to count. So his math, maths. Oh yeah, his maths. <laughs> I mean, now, yeah. now y'all being flaggers, correct me if I'm wrong, but if you've got two turbo cars coming up, wouldn't you look, have one lane like whoever's going in second till the first lane? Go ahead and start getting up as the second. I usually one, do lock and then lock. Yeah, so, I usually so do. do I, I'll, so I'll like, look at. I'll look if I'm over here. I'm looking at him, and then once I can tell he's getting close, I'll look at him and. You know, especially one for guy like, is usually a lot faster. Yeah, for the people like the people I get often that I know spool slow, like Mike Corley, I'll like hold the light over my head and he's over here and the other guy's over here. And I'll be like, he ain't lying. And then I'll start bringing the other guy in, and then I'll go to Mike and bring him in. But yeah. I mean, like Chris and Limpy, you guys get it. Nothing drives me crazier than a turbo guy that waits on you to start spooling and then his shit takes forever it's like dude why I'll, like, I'll, I'll, I'll why would you out. start at the same time and i i always say it in the meeting like if you're slow to school like start spooling when i'm bringing the other guy in start spooling yeah. early i kind of give you like a you good you good start uh, then because then i'll i will fix to get it <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, mike mike starts spooling well, mike rolls in like a round diesel. Or die. <laughs> yeah, right. he's spooling on the, oh, he's spooling on the backing up getting his tracks <laughs> yeah, he, he rolls up like a diesel foot brake and it goes till right. it gets to the line. Maxwell looks at him, Dad. You know they make this thing called a better converter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I like mean, the way the way that I normally do it is, um, you know, I start observing, especially if cars are going rounds, and uh, I'll know if that if there's nobody that decides either going first or second, I usually will always put that guy first, no matter what, just because it takes time. Um, but usually when I go back to hit the light, I'll kind of shake my head, and then those guys will start getting on, start getting on boost, basically <laughs> like, "Hey, get ready! Like it's gonna, race. it's it's gonna happen." <laughs> yeah, I, I give dudes thumbs up. Like I'm giving thumbs up. It's, like, start schooling, dude. What's <laughs> <laughs> dying about? that comment (laughs) oh shit (laughs) shit that motherfucker he better target what he needs and then he better fucking do it well i was in the pits uh what was it friday or saturday and uh it's fucked up Brent Alberry, he was having a hard time getting his car spooled up, and they finally just screamed over there, just spray the nitrous. <laughs> <laughs> and he did, and that shit came up instant. I was like, oh shit, there we go. <clears throat> fucking, I don't know if y'all have seen the show last night with Jasper and I, but uh fucking uh uh I think Jasper almost died at the end trying to get that blinker. Really? Fuck them blinkers. Fuck that fuck them blinkers. But yeah, Jasper. He, we after we ended the show and we're talking, you know, like we do, like we do usually. Yeah. He was, he was just like chill. He was like, man, he goes, I think I'm fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Duncan, I get to see you this weekend too. Don't, don't forget me. Hey, Duncan, you can forget me. I don't get to see you. So, <laughs> yeah, fuck Corey. 
I'm, I'm staying <laughs> local. <-ish. laughs> Corey, you'll never come up here anyway. Who are you fooling? Yeah, no, I mean, I've went one direction. It's one a year, one a year. I went, I You're went supposed to hit this back. thing until it blinks. And then once you blink, that's like, it's like the shit. This mother don't blink. I've done tried like five times and I ain't fucking blinkers. <laughs> I'm fucking going to die. If anybody has any uh, video of uh, Limpy trying to suck it so hard it blinks, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> Yeah, you can find that video at uh, Pornhub.com forward slash Limpy Reacts. Oh, what's local, Michael McCoy? Uh, Elk Creek's this weekend. So Killer Street is this weekend. So we're all headed there. Oh, There's a lot of cars going that way. I'm about to do a blinker for some. <laughs> we're watching the weather for hours. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be live tomorrow night. I pray on my channel. Uh, with the with the guy putting the race on uh, at uh, at uh, Arkansas Newport, so so we'll, we'll figure There's it out. A lot of races this weekend. A lot of races, but you know we're watching the weather because weather's. Yeah. But hopefully, I mean, it's it's gotten better. So uh, you know. I seen everything in Texas is canceled pretty much. Ah, uh, yeah, it's pretty much. Uh, I think it's gonna be a gonna be wet, <laughs> but you know, I haven't even looked at ours. Yeah, I just checked the weather a second ago, and um, we have no rain the entire weekend. Hmm. So I think uh, Friday possibly may go to Muncie. And uh, since the banger got canceled, uh, what was that, last week? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're talking about doing it this Friday. So I don't yeah, so I think, I think so far at this point right now, I'm going to go to the banger Friday, if that <laughs> works. I'm going to go to Milan Saturday. And I possibly might be flagging Meltone this weekend on Sunday. Hmm? Mentone? Mentone. Whatever, however you call it. Oh, shit. Well, I was sure if there's another one called Meltone. I just wanted to make sure. Men is, it men is it Mentos <laughs> the fresh maker? That's what I think it is. That's the only thing that compares it. So, uh, yeah, Michael McCoy, it's a small tire, 570 and 670 this weekend. Plus, well, they got the bracket program too. Uh, let's see what else we got. Lots in Texas. Yeah, lots in Texas is just canceled this weekend. So three days, three races, three different races. Yeah, Saturday looks like it's going to be 50 degrees and sunny. So that's I'm gonna, good. I'm just hating my life over here, making my <coughs> life worse. <clears throat> Folks, I can tell you one thing. Even if there's rain there, there's not a shortage of no prep races in the country because every state at least has 67 going on. <laughs> yeah. Canada yeah. three. <laughs> yeah, soon. Uh May eighteenth is the first one up here. Oh, May eighteenth. May eighteenth. Oh, I, I think there's another one in Toronto area, but I don't fuck with those guys. Oh, is that those guys that uh Waji called slow? Oh uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> Dude, he's the only fast guy in Canada for front side for sure. There ain't no one no one can mess with Waji on the front side up here. Unless you add prep into the equation, then you know we got guys like Agostino. So, I mean, he could he could be chowing down on a, a big wiener at the at the airport. You never know. <laughs> he could be, you know, trying to see how to fly that plane. You never know. <laughs> he might be riding that joystick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just waiting on emergency plane landing in Louisville after man wakes up from dead sleep and realizes he shit his pants Louisville. and runs in the cockpit. Louisville. Louisville. <laughs> Louisville. Louisville. You got you got mouth you gotta say it with your mouth closed. Louisville. 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 What's going on, Elton? What's up? Elton, I'll uh, see you next month because I seen there's no reschedule for Big Dog till May 2nd. So that'll be the next one I go to. Yeah, I think uh yeah, I think Sam, I just saw you ask that question. Yeah, I think Katie's doing a Midnight Madness this weekend, I think. Mm. There's a lot of races stacked on top of each other this weekend. Well, the, the one thing I can say about uh, the one I'm going to, down at Elk Creek, it'll probably we'll probably get 2025 20, and small tire, but with it being like a light prep deal, it you know, it has a different crowd. I know Ryan and them, I think they're bringing both their cars up, so I'm gonna get my eardrums blown out again by Shelby and her uh, pro charge Hemi. <laughs> can't 
I'm telling you, right? I, I give it within the next year, well, three quarters of the small tire field will be Hemi. Well, not well. I'm not gonna say Hemi's, but they're gonna be pro charge cars because those sons of bitches are just rolling out. Huh? Yeah, that's what I still say. <laughs> Happy is muling Mexican wieners into the USA TSA club snap. <laughs> oh Jesus. boy, how many can he fit in there? Unless I do dual, unless I do dual body cavity search, then they're... <laughs> Happy gets on the plane. Uh, Mr. Happy, uh, we've heard your comments on the table about the IRS. <laughs> <laughs> That might be what that recording is. Look, and see if it's still there. Oh, it's still there. Look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did hear. Happy did say on uh, my live feed the other night, he did shit himself on vacation. Oh, my no. God. Come on. Yes. Yes, he did. Oh, fucking man. Well, I he probably drank the water, too. So, no. he. Uh, so what was it? He sent the message. I've tried to drink water, but they keep handing me tequila. <laughs> And then he said, "What? I forgot <laughs> what day it was." He said, "I think it might have been Friday evening." He was twenty margaritas deep. Poor guy. Well, you, did dude. you see him dancing on the bed? Yeah. Jesus oh. Christ. Where's that picture at? You need to show oh, that. Oh I shit! Think. No, we're not. I don't think. I look. I don't think we can show that. I'm just. Yeah, put the little smiley face <laughs> over the the dragon in the back, you know. Yeah, I'm on it. <laughs> yes. Oh shit! I didn't Who realize they weren't it? flying. Uh, Sarah, um, I believe. Sarah did. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> no, I don't wear earplugs, Don Breed. I'm I'm tough. I already I know I'm going deaf, and I can't. I, I got that selective hearing. What my wife says. So. so Hey, I don't when that happens. I don't do earplugs at all because sometimes you need to be able to hear that shit a little bit coming at you. Yep. Yeah, I, I don't. I never do. Do you know which? Uh, do you know which car? Uh, I can't remember which car it was, but one of them, one of them uh, hit uh, the fuel. Even got me. Uh, I oh. Can't yeah, it, it was got me in. It was the Chevelle Snot Rocket. They were on some mean yeah. methanol. Like One of them got, got me in. You know, I could take some shit. You know, I'm usually got my mouth open when they fucking roll by, but one of them hit me and hit me in the face. I was like, God dang. Yeah, dude, it was Will it was Hammer. Snot Rocket or the or the white car. Both of those were brutal. Yeah, I fucking usually uh uh Corey down here, uh uh he's got a small block Ford. Uh, uh, turbo single man. He's on math, and he's his car usually gets me bad for for some reason. Um, but that car, that one of them cars, I get got me this weekend, and I'm like, God dang! Oh boy! Oh, and then you have my stupid ass that forgot Houston's cars on methanol, so he starts it in the trailer, and he's got it kind of just running going before he backs it out at the spot. And I walk right up to the edge of the door. And, hey, what? God dang! Mm -hmm. Oh boy! <laughs> you know, we're 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 fixing to get fucking. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck it. <laughs> oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> fucking smiling shit. You know what have been better? You know what have been better if you had took Sarah's face and put it on there instead of his. Oh, good lord! Oh, I don't got pictures of her saved on my phone. Well, no, take that picture of of the of the screenshot of her in the corner. Uh, I guess. I, I and then, oh, you could have did. You could have swapped the faces. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit! Uh, <laughs> damn. Oh, yeah, I did almost get taken out by an El Camino this weekend. Uh, I watched a kid almost get taken out by Snot Rocket in the burnout box, which in turn led to Snot Rocket drifting Back. completely over towards the media people. So mm -hmm. big shout out to that idiot in the water box for not paying attention. Not the driver, the kid that walked in front of him. Uh, that's exactly what I said I was thinking. <laughs> 
<laughs> What's he talking about? Did I, did I miss it? What? Yeah, Alex said he didn't have pictures of Sarah saved in his phone. Oh, I do not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't want to. Be, she might post a status about me if I did. So, yeah. I, last time we got banned in what, like eight hundred and something countries, and there's only two hundred <laughs> resistance. What converter? One of the converter washers slung up. Oh yeah, one that... of the one of the was it was funny as shit because uh, you know Rank was there this weekend, but he didn't you know he didn't oh. he want to drive or anything. But one of them converter boats uh, flew off and hit Rank's leg and kind of slashed his leg open. Ooh, so Damn. uh, uh, he was uh, walking very. Well. I was sitting there talking. We talked for a little bit while they're uh, doing Nate's deal. Uh, you know, people were taking pictures and stuff. And we were just sitting there talking and stuff, and and he told me that he got hit with a deal, and I, I said, "Where at?" And he goes, "On my leg." And he fucking he fucking lifted his fucking pants leg up, and he had the bandage running around his leg and stuff. You know, but it was it was only like this big. I said, "Come on, dude, your dick ain't that big." He's like, "Well," I said, "You fucking need a fucking holster for your fucking dick." Come on now. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Te- Texas- yeah. Oh yeah, here. Oh, yeah. Chris is popping back in into the chat. Damn. Oh, damn. oh shit! What the hell's that? Good. What is that? That's the converter. The converter bolt hit uh, uh, rank uh, this past weekend. Ouch! And yeah, uh, and uh, I seen. I was sitting there. We were sitting up there just shooting the shit, and. Uh, and he showed me that, and I was like, "Dude, your fucking dick ain't that big. You don't need a fucking holster for that motherfucker. Come on, now." Wow, dude, I'm telling you, the dude, the kid, like, literally walks. You can watch in the in the full version of my video. Walks behind Snot Rocket, completely up the side of it. Like, there's no way you don't realize that. Like, this kid has not a clue in the world what's going on, and then just proceeds to walk in front of the car. As it's getting ready, you can hit, see the burnout starting. He's getting ready to walk dead center of the car. And then I guess the zoomies finally made him realize life. And he's like, oh, I guess I better move over here. Like, dude. I did not sell my car yet, but it is for sale. Just posted it on Turbo Bullet uh, Parts, the Facebook page here, like a couple hours ago. Turbo had a Facebook page? I'm banned mm-hmm. from it. Oh shit! I didn't know that. Is it yeah, is it is it as good as it with the forums, or is it just is it shit? There's twenty thousand people on it. I mean, it's. Well, no, it, I, don't know, I mean, there's you know. quite there's stuff. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on there for sale. Usually every day. It's pretty good. Now, do they still have the actual Turbo Bullet page, or is it just the parts page now? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's just the. I think it's just seen him this page. weekend, and uh, he was down in uh, this past weekend. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. He was met him this weekend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, what was it? Uh, I think he was over there. It was me, him, and Tickle Fitz and uh, Hidalgo Films. We we're all talking. He was asking some questions about some live stuff. I threw it up for. Uh, um, I threw it up for forty nine, or a best offer. Forty nine grand, shit! Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> dude. I'm it's telling roller, you, right? and the roller it's, too. It's, it's a fox body, so it's you know it's worth it's, its weight in gold. Yeah, it's a roller too. Come on, people! Y'all, y'all know y'all can get to get that car cheap. Offering twenty five hundred and a case of bread. <laughs> <laughs> Texas toast. Texas toast and mellow yellow. Leave the money at home. He don't need it. Oh shit. I was really disappointed that when I got into uh, Texas, they still called things Texas Toast and Texas Roadhouse. I'm like, shouldn't it just be Roadhouse or just Toast? <laughs> <laughs> hey, me and Trevor, me, Trevor, and Ben went to Texas Roadhouse, and the <laughs> the girl, the girl said bread to us. Just for the record, I literally got limpy with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my yeah. god. Listen, we went the girl called the girl called the rules bread. So they do that. 
I've had that happen. Would you like some more bread? Yes. I would like some bread. I said, what? And then recorded Trevor's reaction of him saying she said bread. I did see that. There I were, sent it to Limpy earlier. What, there were all oh, yeah. Texas Grill, Texas. What else was the other one? Well, we got down there and then people were talking, and I was like, all right, I'll go back. I'll come back. And then I forgot. Oh, no, you're good, dude. I was just wondering, like, is that like people were calling everything like I seen Texas uh cheeseburgers, uh Texas, Texas double board. I'm like Texas double, Texas triple. <laughs> What? <laughs> Everything's bigger in Texas. Gar, gotta remind you, you're in Texas now, boys. <laughs> God, it's looking so good just right. sitting there. Hey, Trevor, what did she just call this? This is bread. She called it bread. <laughs> hey, Trevor, <laughs> you see his call face? This. He said this that was so much bread. bread. She called it bread. Oh, he's so excited. I mean, no yeah, shit, like honestly. Bread all time. It's better. It ain't rolls though, or buns. Think, it ain't buns. Yeah, it's not buns. The acceptable way of saying it, by standards of the table, are rolls, bread, and then way down somewhere here is buns. <laughs> right, dude. I seen um, this deal the other day. It was a. Uh, they get the uh, Hawaiian, uh, Hawaiian the uh, rolls. King's Hawaiian rolls. Yeah, and they dig out the center. And then they put some cheese, and then they put some marinara, and they put meatballs. Oh, and God, that they, sounds uh, good. And then they put all the stuff, and then they uh, cheese it, and then they bake it in the oven, and then they come out. Oh, man, they look pretty fucking good. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. That fucking shit look good. It's... I'm going to send uh, a message and see where he's at. Oh, I forgot. I got to, Lippy, I got to send you the videos of what happened local here <laughs> uh, in right. Windsor on the oh, weekend. Yeah. Oh, that boy. I was on the I I talked to like I was on the news tonight about oh it. shit did you fuck her in a pussy right in a pussy no no oh, not man. yet uh, T Bone it does have a cage in it and I know that David asked something about why I was selling it so I have to replace my daily it is uh not doing too good so I got to buy a new car is it That's just being an Audi now um don't know oh, yeah. Figure. I was going to ask you, did they figure out anything about your, your uh, ride yet? Mm-mm. No. Can't figure it out. Uh, oh, shit. Two? We got both of them? Yeah. Hold on. Fuck. So we have the spot we hang out uh, Saturdays, like the car community, and it's just it's turned into a sideshow. And it's it's like I feel bad because I go there and watch it. So like essentially I'm Corey, lift your mic up. We can hear you peeing. (laughs) (laughs) I know better that mic was up. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, so this turned into a sideshow and we're like, well, something bad's gonna happen eventually. It did on Saturday. Is this one to where they row right through? (laughs) Oh yeah, right there. Oh, wait till you see the angle of the other one. If it was a half oh, a second, oh, not oh, that. <laughs> if it was a half a second later, this guy oh. filming probably would have been dead. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I remember seeing this. Oh. oh, shit. oh shit. Arcade, bro. Yeah, they thought it was on fire because of the turn signals. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's on fire. It's on fire, dude. Oh, it was bad. Yo, it's on fire. It's on fire. Hop out, hop out, hop out. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stupid idiots. The yeah, so fire, the, news, the, fire. The, the news had a, uh, they were doing a story about it. So they called me as a local car enthusiast. And I tried to give them the like, we're they, not they, all they, bad. It's just. Hold on, these, man. They called you? Yeah, yeah, they got my information. Got a Where, hold of me. Where's that at? Where's that at? How can we get the to interview? Oh. Uh, it's on, I posted it on my Facebook. Oh, okay. I'll send you a link. Let me look. Sorry about that. Had Does anybody day. want to know how famous Alex is? The news calls him. Yeah, dude, I live in a small town. 
Oh, someone gave him oh, my yeah. someone gave him my information. <laughs> Can you, and they got I, a hold of me. Oh boy. As a, as a local like, drag racing enthusiast. Damn. So Stephanie what happened again? What happened Tony. again? Oh shit. Uh all right. We'll oh, go we back. have a local car meet that's turned We'll into do it. We'll do it. We'll go back. It, we'll, there was an accident we'll and it made the news. Right, when they we'll, got out of the car, did the guy look at you and see you and be like, oh my gosh, Jesus. No, dude, they got out of the car and they were trying to exchange right. insurance information. They were fighting about exchanging insurance. Oh, 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 oh
uh he's a dweeb that guy he's a loser uh, like not, what's the karen but what's that the guy dude? looks like he's trying out for he's like Wonka. he's like a ken his, na- ken, I his name almost is it's kieran it pretty much is karen oh and then you know, the other the, guy the, the, the dude that has a i've smoked a 10 packs of cigarettes a day voice he's also a city counselor what about the dude that looks like uh chris when he goes to work <laughs> I yeah, used to look like that when I worked for Hot Shots. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh boy, I bet you did. <laughs> yeah, it, it, they should have called it a takeover, but they call it a car rally here because I, I don't know. <laughs> what do they call car? racing when you are racing? Uh, they don't. Catch, they don't. They don't catch us. But my problem with is, my problem with it is that's a good race spot. You I mean, that looks that looked like a good road right there. It's it's not really long, but oh, like okay. you know. Can't really race eighth mile there, but like it's a good test spot, let's say. And uh, they're there just tearing it up. And I'm like, get out of here. This is mine. Oh, damn, Ray. Damn, that's all right. Damn. Damn. Right, this, uh... Do you go by and see your uh, in laws on the way home, Corey? Wrong direction, sir. Wrong direction. No, no, it's not. I bet you're closer to them than I am. Mm, give or take a minute or two. Oh, hold up. Okay. Nah, we came from the south. We didn't go north. I'll be going that way in two weeks, three weeks, something like that. I just want to. I just want to know the whole situation of uh, is Happy off the plane yet? Like, did he did he legally make it back into the country safely? <laughs> <laughs> that must be for you. Yeah, I think he won this weekend, didn't he? Or was that yeah. like last weekend? Yeah. Yes, he did. So my weeks are getting coming flowing together already a texas minute <laughs> what is a texas minute that's a while isn't it it ain't no bullshit there ain't wrong shit <laughs> ain't nothing like a kentucky 20 no it ain't it ain't <laughs> kentucky around the corner next door <laughs> i'm pulling in right now yeah <laughs> <clears throat> I did learn that uh, when traffic comes to a stop right outside of Memphis, you're stuck. There ain't nothing in between for people. To, that's another. Between Memphis and Nashville is pretty damn boring. Nothing. Would you, yeah. Do you like going across Mississippi? Yeah, I mean, just like going over another river. I was just making sure there weren't no barges or anything underneath it. <laughs> that was my next question. <laughs> <laughs> You were about to see me like leap from the truck and try to land on the side of the pyramid. <laughs> uh, He's still in uh, customs. Stop statue. Okay, so we're live out here at an undisclosed location, not in the city of Windsor, not at FedEx. A uh, TT Audi hit a. <laughs> now they are exchanging insurance, as you can see here. They're actually asking for each other's shirt. The one guy has it in his hand. Live on the scene, we have reporter Mike G. Listen. (laughs) If you're doing fucking donuts and you're fucking unplated at three, and then another guy's fucking drag racing in his dad's Audi, probably not a good idea to get into each other's insurance. Just saying. You heard it here first at Tatana Shot News. Damn Canadians! Yeah, like I hate I hate what it is, but I love it at the same time because it's good entertainment. And honestly, there's nothing else to do in the city. You should have should have Pat McCross there. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, we uh, we always had the idea we were gonna take like Mike's Regal and go out there because like they'll do like 300 foot races in their like Audis and like bunch of slow shit. 
we had the idea we're going to take Mike's Regal, go out there and do a wheelie and just be like, what, bitch, and just leave. But that probably won't happen now because they destroyed it. Get on the chip. Which, cross the which on uh, Friday night or Friday when I picked up, well, <laughs> Thursday when I picked up Ed, uh, uh, my uh, my cord on my phone was messing up, so it was resetting. And every time it wanted to reset, it kept sending me back to his hotel. So I kept it kept driving me. I was like, "What the hell is this? Somebody's fucking sending me." And then I finally looked, and I was like, "Fuck this!" I unplugged my phone. I was like, "I don't know where I'm going." Uh, on Saturday, on uh, Friday, um, I'm I'm going. I'm leaving the house. I leave the house. Uh, and I would I made sure I was gonna make sure that we didn't have the problem that we did on Thursday night because we expected Chuck to get there with more pre rows and we were gonna be good. That's why we only brought like twelve. So Chuck had truck problems and he didn't get there, so we pretty much ran out, but you know, the great the great people of the of Yellow Belly came through. And uh so the next night I or the next day i was making sure the next night i was making sure that we didn't we weren't gonna run out so i leave the house and i'm like oh shit i forgot my i need to get my grinder all right i get my grinder i go back get my grinder uh and then i was like oh and i'm leaving i'm backing out driveway look i was like oh shit i need to get my because he has a cart my pen so i pull back in and then uh, so i was like all right i get on the highway and i'm like <laughs> oh, <hell. laughs> I'm watching this. Oh, dude, I gotta show this. Hang on, I'm dude. He's, this he's doing that to you, Limpy. Just letting you know. <laughs> oh boy. But I get on the highway. I forget my weed. Oh boy. Is there audio? <laughs> oh hell yeah! Why I gotta take the volume off? Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe no audio is okay unless yeah. it's needed. There's no, there, it's not. It was just music. Well, he's fixing to make him go to sleep. Like you're about ready to get to get rowdy here in a second. I'm about to say he's fixed to go to sleep. Homeboy's got hair like me. He's like, "Yep, I'm out." This guy's like, "No, you're gonna fight me." Oh yeah, he's going for the sucker punch. I can see it. Yeah, coming. I can already tell you. <laughs> yeah, here it comes. Hmm. Interesting. I, I, got and I forgot my weed. So, all right. Go back to the house. So, I've already <laughs> four times. And I ain't even smoked yet. I didn't even get to wake and bake or anything, you know. So I go pick up. I get about four miles or five miles from uh, uh, Ed's hotel, and my low tire light came on. Jesus, <laughs> kidding me? So I go pick him up, and luckily there's a Walmart. I got I got, I got the road hazards. Uh, so uh, and there's a screw in my tire. So we go over there. Uh, I said, I got road hazard, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I need you to you know, fix it. All right. They get it fixed, and they come out, well, you owe uh, $58. And I'm like, the fuck? what the fuck do I owe $58 for? Well, we had to put a new tire on it. And we had gauged the uh, tread width and blah, 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 and how much you used. And I'm like, so you couldn't put a patch on it? Hmm. I'm glad I had fucking fifty eight dollars to fucking put a tire on there, but they didn't ask me nothing or do anything. They just put a fucking tire on it. Wow. I'm like shit. Hold up, I got something perfect for that. I think my mom said he'd be here eight. Yeah, Walmart Dick to Y'all's time. Oh shit. Oh, we forgot to send uh, Lamont. No, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah, I sent it earlier. Oh, you did? 
Yeah, I checked in with him because uh, I thought I told him seven at y'all's time. He said, how about eight? I was like, okay. Oh, okay. I, that's what I forgot. I was like, God dang. I looked. I just looked down. I thought you said you're going to send him an invite at seven, our time. And I looked down at eight, our time. I'm like, oh, shit. I got this. I got this. So we're just waiting on him and haven't heard no update on Happy yet. So. <clears throat> Let's see, just waiting, guys. But good wrap up from the weekends and stuff. Everything, like I said, we got some more racing going on this weekend, even though Texas sounds like it's going to be underwater. Milan sounds like it's going to probably have a crowd. Like, I've seen a lot of post people going to Milan. Oh, I'm going to let Limpy get the ding. Oh, my God. It's I can't shred. stay. I can't stay long. I just come on to say what's up. Yeah. Uh, did you bring? Did you, did you get some bread? <laughs> we got bread. That bread was good, dude. That was good bread. That was good bread. We uh, we we've reached like a mutual agreement that it's bread now. It's not rolls. It's not buns. It's just bread. Oh, they're all cool with it being bread. Yeah. All right. So yeah, we're yeah, all right. good. We're all good. As long okay. as you don't call it buns, we win. <laughs> Agreed. <coughs> no, I've, I've heard them call it bread. I've heard them call it uh, rolls, buns. What's up, Limpy? What's going on? Not much, man. Working uh, like a dog. Uh, that sounds about <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, isn't it tax day? Yeah, I got all my shit sent in. No, it was yeah, wh what's what's that? I'm two years behind. Yesterday, that was yesterday. You know, you know, something that just dawned on me. So, Happy doesn't have a valid driver's license. How the fuck does he get on a plane? Passport? He got passport. He's got a passport. Oh yeah, that's true. You can't go. You can't go to other countries without a passport. That's true. I forgot about that. Unless, unless you have a Nexus. A what? Yeah, but I don't think Nexus works in like Cancun. Yeah, it's Canada, U.S., Mexico. Oh really? Well, I yeah. guess I'm wrong. What's the next? Fine. What about the what? like a fast, like a fast pass, like a pre-clearance card? It's like pre-check, but it's uh like it's like on steroids, basically. Yeah, I'll show you mine next time I'm down there. Mine says female on it for some reason. It's made right. my life so easy crossing the border. They look at it. They look at it. They one they look at it. 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 I don't get him. I don't. I don't ain't getting planes. Need an ID. I. I don't. I don't. I don't mind planes. I really don't. I don't. I don't. I mind. hate planes. Well, I, I, I hate the process of getting on the plane. Is the problem? Is what I on hate. and off, and I hate that every fucking time that I get on there, there's someone idiot that there's some idiot that's sick, or they got freaking three kids on there that don't stop fucking crying. Mm -hmm. I hate planes. <laughs> I don't Fuck think I'm allowed. In, I'm like lying. Wait, I don't wait. think I'm allowed in so, Canada anyway. What do you mean sick? Like they show up and they're wearing a gas mask? Because I saw no. They're on the there freaking thing. hacking their lungs out and sneezing and fucking so, blowing their nose. They're yeah. like fucking. This shit's gross. Get away from yeah, me. I was I was in the grocery store on like Thursday and I saw some lady wearing literally like a painter's mask. So it had like the glass shield and the big things. Oh, well, at least that's I better than a fucking face walking. diaper. I saw her walking in, and my I just ear. burst out my laughing. My ear. You're yeah. in here. you inside. you inside. Hey, can hear me? You're inside. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. No, wait a minute. He's in the car. He outside. Hey. He's still outside. He I'm still outside. Yeah, we inside. <laughs> I'm inside right now. <laughs> Hey, well, we got some people in here, boy. Cool, you told me to be in here, seven forty-five. You know I'm black, man. I was, I was actually on time this time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was on time. Hey, <laughs> hey I, we big wheel, we big wheel race a lot. I know that is fucking <laughs> truth right there. Hey. Look, Koi said, be there is, I think he said seven thirty, seven forty-five, or something like that. I was there at seven twenty. 
I'm never on time. I was like, man, let me go and go be on time for this show, man. <laughs> I hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Uh, do, you, do you think you got something for me? Oh, I got a cash up you $5. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to pay taxes on that motherfucker. I don't pay taxes on that motherfucker. Well, you're going to have to see. Well, see me. I'll pay you when I'm dead, man. Yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pay you when I'm dead. How about that? He yeah, trying to get me to flag him in your state. He tried uh-huh. to get me to flag a flag a race foot race for him this weekend. I'll go get your lot, man. No. <laughs> hey, Limpy, everybody was scared. Everybody was mad, man. You weren't flagging. I don't know. It, you know. Funky Town. I did a whole video with you in Funky Town. I know. I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I'm on the table, yeah. man. Hold on. Let's see how to work this thing. Well, that you started. You started. Yeah. Whoa, you how the hell did you do that? You flipped yeah. the phone. You got to flip it. There Whoa. you go. Hey. 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 Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come out. We figuring it out. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> <laughs> You huh? did something. <laughs> the mod done broke. Hey, you got man. it. You're back. Yeah. Man, don't do that again, man. Don't do yeah, that don't again. Don't do that. I ain't even. I ain't do nothing. You might have hit it. You might have. You might have did hit it with your mind. You don't know. You might have been thinking about doing that. Oh, what the hell did you do? Oh, oh. dude, come on. <laughs> Y'all, y'all, no, y'all should have been there when we were talking to Lamont about coming onto the table. And uh, what's his name? Uh, Chuck's got him all worked up. They're going to ask you some questions. Man, I, man, he, he had me. Shoot, man, what the hell kind of questions they going to ask? Can we cuss on here? My fault. I don't know if this is. Y'all, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it. This, this shit is definitely labeled as not for, ch- not for children. Okay, we good then. Edward I'm said, over here smoking dope, man. What the fuck are you thinking? <laughs> fuck, I should probably eat an edible right now. Oh, yeah, get after it. <laughs> Say what? What? Huh? Uh, edibles, man. I'll drink a beer or some liquor or something, but I can't do no edibles. No, sir. You can't take 50 milligram edibles. You got to take the small ones first. Nah, <laughs> fuck them small ones, man. <laughs> man, you should see how much work I get done when I take a fiber. Or a oh, ten. Yeah. See, me, I I'm, get so much work done. Man, I take an edible while I'm filming. I'm gonna have that camera upside down. <laughs> well, if you take a if you take a fifty or a hundred, you'll definitely be on a different planet. I guarantee you that. Dude, if you take <laughs> a fifty, you're gonna end up full screen again. <laughs> <laughs> Lamont takes a fifty, guys. I don't know if I'm outside or not. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's outside, but he's not. He's not on ground level. I ain't functional right now. I ain't functional. That's what it is. Uh, all right. So hey, that big old boy could uh, could fucking move. Just Pat. What was that? Friday night? Yeah. You know, Friday or Thursday or something like that. Yeah, I think it was Thursday. Thursday. Was it Thursday night? That yeah, that big old tall dude boy. He he got some legs on him. Yeah, man. I ain't want to mess with them, man. I when he told me, see, I ain't never played sports, yeah. but I'm. Just like, I guess I'm just naturally fast, but the dude was like, "Man, I ovation. I, I used to play for this team and that team." I said, "No, sir. I don't want no smoke with you." Yeah. You said you can run. Uh, you play sports, anything like that? Nah, I ain't messing with you, man. Oh, Trevor, don't y'all got some? Don't y'all got some lined up? Trevor and Big Stank, ain't it? At War in the Woods. Is it Big Stank? <clears throat> I've been practicing too. I'm almost back in shape. Oh boy. You got a girl race on feet? Girl race, girl race. Uh-oh. Yeah. You got a girl race on foot? <laughs> yes, sir. How much y'all gambling? I can't remember. <laughs> I think it's 100, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably 100. Oh, snap. How much you weigh? Me? 225. How much he weigh? Oh, he's big boy. He's a big boy. Yep. <laughs> big stank, yeah. How, how big are you, stank? How big are you? Oh, he's big yep. boy from the videos that I've seen of him standing next to weed plants. He's big boy. Well, Are we doing this? So I got I got to get out on him, otherwise he's just gonna get me. Oh, it's now you better have your sixty foot ready. I ain't jumping. 
Hey, did you see that? That uh, uh, oh, he's going to bet on the gap. Damn. Oh, shit. Ooh. I've been run. I've been running. I'm ready for you. By the time we hit War in the Woods, my legs are going to be 16 years old again. Oh, we uh. Oh. And when I was 16, I was fast as fuck. It's <laughs> Thursday night. On the table. Uh, all right, we got we got to drop the questions on Lamont. We got to get this. Ah, uh, okay. get, get one on there. Get, yeah, we got to get this. All right, no, let's start with just one. Just start start with one. We'll start with the first one. The first one. All right, all right. It's the first question for you, Lamont. Here we go. Ah, oh, man, let me let me take my glasses off. How do you eat your grilled <laughs> cheese? All right, when you eat a grilled cheese. On the outside of the bread, the part that you cook in the pan, do you put butter on it or mayonnaise? I don't put mayonnaise on nothing. First off, nah, I put butter. I don't put mayonnaise on nothing. Nah, nah, nah. I, I, nah, I put the butter. I'm put the butter in there and just cook the grilled cheese. <laughs> that's, the, that's the correct answer. <laughs> no, like you're not no. doing it. You're not doing it right, Corey. You got to say how. What do you do, and then have you tried it the other way? <laughs> yeah. No, you don't put mayo on nothing. No, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but it's it's really hard to answer how it is until you really try both, because both of them will screw you up. Like, you don't taste the mayo, but the way the bread is toasted is very different. Look what Frunction said. Um, I can't see nothing. I'm on my phone. <laughs> Yeah, how y'all see these comments? <laughs> <laughs> As a black man, if you put a man, <laughs> 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 I gotta go to these comments. See, I can't. Do I gotta go to. My it's hard. Phone. It's hard to see on your phone. Yeah, yeah that's why I use my other phone. But if, if you do, if if yeah. sir, if you if you read the comments, don't hit back because it'll fucking it'll x you out of the fucking deal, and then you got to come back in. At least that's Android life. You do. I, I think uh, that that's good, but I think the second question is going to be the best answer. All right, yeah. we'll a good one. All right, the second question, Lamont. What but is a, your worst hotel story? Oh, I got one too, boy. Ooh. Oh, got one. So, man, I forgot what, what race was it. I think it was off to a good start. It's a race. No, no, it was yeah, cause I don't yeah, cause <laughs> oh, I I caught that. Um, I forgot what race it was. <laughs> I guess they didn't clean the sheets. Yes, I don't know what was going on, but I think it was in Memphis when I went to a Trick or Treat Grudge Fest. And um, uh, man, I walked in, checked What's in, the like? what they checked in, blase blase, and I pulled back the sheets. And it was a big, not a big blood stain, but like it was like a little, like a little blood stain. Oh shit! What the fuck going on, like, a, like, like, like a little. Uh... Oh little shit! Drippy, drippy. Like, like, yeah, 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 yeah. As a Canadian man, even I know you don't stay in hotels in Memphis. <laughs> you go outside of Memphis. Look, but no, not crazy. Yeah. Like every year down there, and I never experienced this. I usually a one. I've I I I've always had the best experiences, but but that that one experience, yeah, it was over with. And I think it was another one when I went to. I think it, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't really that bad as that 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 blood stain, but it was another one I went to in Houston, where um you know it was a, it was a roach. I seen a roach, but other than that, that wasn't that bad as that blood stain though. What did about a condom it? though? Did you yeah. have you ever stepped on a loaded condom? <laughs> Nah, fully loaded, nah. fully loaded. See, this one I ain't really just have money. I would just stand. I don't know, like in some just a hotel. I just needed to get content. You were you were probably in like prostitute alley. Hey man, I ain't care. I just need this. <laughs> I just need Wi Fi. I just need to get content, upload, get the hell out. <laughs> <laughs> I need I needed someone just so I can film and upload, or not film, but just upload and download. <laughs> No, but we, we have a normal member on here, Mike. Uh, yeah. He once was staying at a, he said it was a nice hotel, and he went and stepped out of his bed. And when he did, he stepped on a fully loaded condom, and it got all squishy between his toes and all that. Wait. Yeah. This, and he stayed there? Yeah. 
He, yeah, he stepped on that motherfucker, and it was like mayonnaise. In a, yeah, in a he condom. already stepped on it. Yeah, it's already got, too late. He got to the hotel, and he went right to bed. He didn't look. He, he just jumped into bed and went to sleep. When oh. he woke up is when he found it. He woke up, and it was stuck to his toe. And it was like... No, <laughs> no. Nah, nah, no, nah, nah, when I go to a hotel, out of town, anyway. Yeah, I look around. I walk around. It looked like he had thumb, you know, as a little thumb. He had like he was slinging that, and it was flopping back and forth with his toes. <laughs> he was trying to sling it off. Shut up, Wimpy! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Come on, oh, I'm, I'm doing not this with off, a recommendation from none of y'all. <laughs> I know, but it really it backfired on him because it slung back and ran all over him. <laughs> uh, hey, so hold on. What was y'all worst doing? Ah. Uh, no, oh, we'll be here for a while. <laughs> I'm talking about like get a hotel, y'all experience. <laughs> like the don't worst stay one. at a red roof. Don't ever stay at a red roof. Nah. Oh no. shit, that's where that, that shit happened to me at at uh that at Ohio when I had to shit on my fucking hood of my car. <laughs> <laughs> and don't stay at anything that has a mass. It's it's master suites in Maryland. No, yeah. If it's got a number in it, don't stay there unless the number's spelled out like F O U R. But if it's just a four, don't stay there. Oh, so I appreciate it, brother. This ain't we didn't stay there or nothing, but we pulled into a gas station on our way down to Texas this past weekend. And yeah. like Houston, it's you can either go left to this one gas station or right to this one. So Houston goes right and pulls in this one. And right beside it, the hotel has a big sign that says $20 a night or hourly rates. Yeah. And I, let me tell you, it was I yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> They did a uh, they did a little mon- montage, I guess. Is it montage? Would it be montage? Montage compilation. Uh, yeah, it's called this right here. I don't know if y'all remember this. Oh God! Uh, be getting but, naked at butt naked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Dude, I love uh, yeah. 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 I will be getting naked at butt naked. Yeah. I will be. <laughs> hey, Lippy, I got a video of you. I was just editing it. I got a video of you when that car alarm went off, and you was like, eh, eh, and the, when it went off, you was like humping the air or trying to like, do something. Yeah, I was. I, know, I was. I was twerking, wasn't I? You were doing that's when I, was, when I was twerking. <laughs> I was making was that twerking. booty clap. I was making that booty clap, you know. Now I did. I did a lot of weird shit Lamont. this weekend. That uh, I scared was... the hell out of Lamont this weekend. I snuck up behind him, had the camera. He just turned. Oh, what, what? Yeah, because look, man, I didn't, I didn't bend the tracks with videographers take their job so serious. They about to fight because somebody get in their way. So I'm like, Coy, I don't want no smoke, bitch, dog. Yeah, you want, you can get the angle. I'm sitting over there just trying to do one of them. I'm getting a picture of your cell phone and everything's blurred out. That's got all the footage going on it. Yeah. And dude, poor man, I, I thought I, I was like, dude, it's all right. I know, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I seen I seen that one picture you posted. It was pretty dope. I just I just been editing, man. I ain't really just uh, go on I Facebook. I wrapped all that shit up yesterday evening and i was like on to the next Ooh, we they take me a couple days man i don't know how y'all do it so i got well by the time i got back home i was still half awake and i was just knocking shit out yeah do what you enjoyed your first experience in texas yeah dude i love texas actually i like that state I just make sure he was he 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 actually made it you know further than south and shady side. Oh yeah, I, I've been further south than shady side. Lamont seen me at Darlington. Oh, that's yeah. so true. <laughs> I, I think that's I think that's what we met, Corey. Yeah, at Woo Stop. Yeah, no, 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 no. It wasn't Woo Stop. You, you sure it wasn't Woo Stop? Nah, I never been to Woo Stop. I think it was um Big Jake's Big Jake race. Okay. Yeah, Big Jake's win uh, the summer race, wasn't it? When they had the G body deal. I think you know. Yeah, you know, they've got a they've got a drinking game uh, that I, I was I was privileged to learn about. I can't remember somewhere I was at somewhere, 
Uh, but uh, every time they say if you're drinking, uh, every time Corey says shady side, you got to take a drink. Shady side, shady side, shady side, shady mm-hmm. side. Shady they said <laughs> that, that was the that was the fun, that was a running joke. Every time Corey said shady side, you had to take a drink. So I was like, take a hit. Is that? <laughs> hey, you got hey Lamont. Now is this your first time on the show? When hit, Lippy says hit for hit, you got to either take a drink or a hit. Boy, we, I ain't he don't do nothing. <laughs> Lamont, Lamont, straight uh, straight arrow, Gennaro, man. He don't do nothing. Man, I, I don't, I don't, man. I stopped smoking. I don't smoke no more. I stopped smoking like years ago, and um, yeah. I drink a beer or something. Other than that, nah, I drink a beer or some hit, hit, what's, a, what's your flavor? Huh? What's your flavor? Uh talk about beer or whiskey or yeah. what? Beer? Yeah, whatever, whatever I, you prefer. Uh, what, what 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 you like, what you go to. See, I used to like Bud Light. But uh shout out to my guy Tempo Racing and uh King Cartoon, all of them, they put me on Ultra, so I'm an ultra drinking now. Oh yeah. Like so the, you, like so you water. Water. Yeah, so you went from water to even more water. I mean, I, I like Ultra, man. I just can't drink them. I got to get them real cold, though. And I'm a lightweight, too. So if I, all I need is about two or three beers, and I'm light, and I can like I can actually like interview people a little better and stuff like that. Because I already got like a little stuttering problem. So I drink a couple beers and stuff. I'm, I'm, That's what this is for. Not, hey. I got a little stuttering problem, too. So yeah, right. You barely talk when you're high. Huh? <laughs> hey, hey, I meant to ask you, did you get caught up in that fog over there beside by Limpy and Edward and all them? <laughs> Wait, what happened? I, I walked over there once, dude, and the fog was so thick beside Edward and Limpy. I walked through it, and as soon as I got done to get to my filming spot, I had to instantly go get some tacos. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you like the tacos, bro? How you like the tacos? All right, so the like the tacos were okay, yeah, but the quesadillas are way better. That's were they were they as good as uh, more in the woods? Uh dude, the taco lady got some fire quesadillas, dude. Yeah, bro. See, that's what I was eating before, when I first moved down here, Corey. I was eating the tacos, and I was like, I had lost a bet with Funky Town, Limpy. Now I had won a bet. I had won a bet with Funky Town. I was like, man, let me try something new, and uh, Funky Town came up there. Like, man, what you want, Fev? And I was like, man, let me try these quesadillas. And it was hidden, man. It was way better than the other ones, than the regular tacos. Shoot, that lady's high tech. You go up there and order. You ain't got to stand in line. She hands you a patron and says when it beeps and goes off, but come get your food. He just got like that, though. He usually give you a little slip, like a little paper slip. Yeah. That's something new. That got to be something new. Shit, that was, that's the best way to do it. Walk off, go over there, watch the race, and then your shit goes off, go get your food. Yeah. They usually call out numbers. They give you a little piece of paper and just call out a number. Dude, you can't. I, I learned, I've been to some tracks that are like that. When you got that caliber of blower cars going down the track, give that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> you seen me when, uh, was it Casey? <laughs> that, 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 who was it? That Chevelle? Yeah. yeah. I went on the other side. <laughs> I was hiding behind everybody trying to get some footage. I like footage. Yeah, man. It's like I said, the white Chevelle and bank robber. Dude, the percussion out of their zoomies was twice as hard as anybody else's. Yeah, it was crazy. Like, I've been beside Bumblebee and all those guys, and, like, nowhere near as bad as that. Man, um, what was I about to say? Man, bank robber came a long way. I'm so proud of them, dude. Um... When he had nitrous, he was struggling, dude. He was struggling. And he came a long way. So he he doing the thing now. Man, he, he's got the Lord's power adder on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you send it, uh, Jacob? Oh, uh, dude, Taco Lady. I mean, it was good food. The big house, the barbecue the truck was good, too. He had good quesadilla. But the problem was, you could get two quesadillas for the same price as his one quesadilla at the Taco Ladies. Mm. I ain't never go. <laughs> What's going on, Chris Woods? I see you got another W this weekend, buddy. That's right, Big Stank, the Lord's Power Adder, Pro Charger Zoomies. Mm-hmm. So, Coy, what's up with this dude, man? He want to lock in on your race? Or what we doing? <sighs> Speaking of that, let me message him. 
Ah, you had two days of messages, dude. Man, I'm on. I'm, I'm on your time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm late. Oh man, you try to. Where's that, Brandon? This weekend. That's where I'll be. That's where Chris will be. Trevor, I won't be there. Well, shit. On that terrible disappointment, I'm out for the night. I got a entire shit. Yeah, I'm tired of shit too. See you, Alex. I'll Good see night. You we'll see you on I, gotta, I gotta go take the car next week to go get fixed, so I oh, won't be yeah. there. Yeah. All right. Hey, what type right. of what, what, type, of, what type of money are you looking for, Lamont, on foot racing? All right. Have a good night, boys. See you, see you Saturday, Alex. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna already be out a lot of money for traveling. We can just do some shoot. Some quesadillas. Nah, I need to at least get my traveling money, but I'm gonna take that chance, man. I don't know, like 200, 200 to five hundred. Who are you racing? I, they said they had somebody up there they want to race me. Dude, and there's I, like two I, or three guys that foot race pretty hardcore at Shady Side. <clears throat> Shoot, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just pick my poison when I just line them all up and let me see who looks slower. Let me see what <laughs> I'm never, never judge a book by its cover. Yeah, but <laughs> hold up, he's answering back. Let me see. Uh, is he on the show? He no watching. Uh, hold up, I want to tell him come on the show. Is this guy called Little Tink Tink? Don't be throwing it back to Little Tink Tink. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck around with Tink Tink. Yeah, yeah, man. All right, I'm telling him to get on the tape. I'm gonna tell him to get in the comments. All right. All right, did y'all see the? Oh, somebody sent me this. Did y'all see the? Uh, where that that dude got carjacked? And the dude apparently. Yeah, everybody's seen that. But what? That's crazy. Uh, I don't know where it was. Memphis, wasn't it? I thought yeah. they said Carolina. Oh, uh, it might oh, have been. No, no, it was, yeah, it was uh, North Carolina. Let me let me show. The it. other one I shared was Memphis with all those cops. Uh, is it on there? Yeah. I'm confused. Uh, like, what exactly happened here? So, was he like on the road? Yeah, he char he carjacked uh, Lumberton, North uh, Carolina. Yeah, he Zinford, Eric. Why y'all speak a little crazy? He car he carjacked the uh, work truck. See, with a gun. See the dude. The dude's firing at him. How the fuck did he miss him? He probably <laughs> didn't. He probably got shot. Did he not get shot? I don't know. Watch this shit. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. It was... It yeah. was at this point right here. It was at this point right here that he knew he'd fucked up. And the other one did Oh my god. Good lord. Oh dude. my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So the dude carjacked him and then ran over him? Yeah, he died. Yeah. What? The Oh my God! Oh, women man. drive me fucking crazy. Shut the fuck up and just deal with the situation. But he does. Yeah. Damn. Oh yeah. Damn. He got four kids and shit too, and a wife. Holy yep. shit! I hope old wow. dude in the truck gets what's coming to him on that end. Uh, absolutely. Did they, him? Did they ever catch him? Oh yeah, he's in jail. Okay, good deal. Good deal. Huh. I mean, what, what was there to gain in that whole situation? Well, we got to understand that we only see like 20 seconds of a video, so who knows what the fuck happened. Yeah. But either way, it's still not right. You know what I mean? Like, it sucks. But was he provoked or what was going on before that? Like, why all of a sudden the cameras come out? You know? Yeah. Uh. 
Oh yeah. Dang, I feel bad for left. Yeah. Just a heads up, Lamont. That's on the complete other side of the state, of North Carolina. You ain't got them issues at Shady Side. You could. Not, not it's called here. Shady Side for a reason. There's no one. It ain't because they're shade. Trust me. <laughs> no, it's because the people are shady. <laughs> hey, hey, you know, you know what I be telling um my mom. <clears throat> I be traveling. I say, look, if I die doing something I love, I'm cool with it. Facts. I'm Facts. cool. Facts. With it. I'm cool with it. That's just that was just God. That's what God had planned for me. I, I I literally had that talk with my parents and my brother and all that stuff. I said, listen, if something happens, yeah. I said I don't want you guys being all sour about me. Take my shit. You keep my car. You know what I mean? Like you do all this stuff and don't just let it go. Yeah. Just hey, I'm on the way to doing something I love, or in the process of doing something I love, and I just passed away. Hey, hey, I'm hey, it is, it is. I mean, I'm cool with. It. I'm not cool with it, but you know, I, I'm gonna tell you, there was a couple. There was at least two passes at the uh, gut this weekend that I was like, "Yep, these were the. This is it." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, supercharged cars. Dude, that People damn, were talking yeah. about that that dude with the vest uh, shooting at him when he blah blah. And I think that the uh, castle castle law uh, covers that, don't it? Maybe I don't know. I, I thought this. Wait, what happened? I thought that castle law is when somebody come in your I mean, house. Or well, I know, but you're it's you're it's protect your property. And yeah, who gives a fuck what he was doing? The other guy was in the wrong. So yeah, your vehicle is your fuck. property as well. It's time. It's time people start doing shit like that, so people stop fucking doing shit like that. That facts. Yeah. You yeah. know, when you, if people fucking uh, it, like overseas, if fucking you get caught stealing, they cut your hand off. They cut a hand off. You know, it, you think twice about you know doing. Uh, it again. Go, go to go to Dubai and try and throw some garbage out on the road and see what happens. Somebody trying to FaceTime me, man. Come on now. What's y'all doing? What's up? What's up? Put them on. Put them on. Put them on with us. <laughs> castle doctrine. Your vehicle is also your castle. Yep. Damn Don't right. matter. The other guy was still in the wrong. Oh wait, I thought the castle doctrine. I thought that was just when somebody come in your house. No, you, it's it's you, it's a, your vehicle is also your castle. Oh, it's too. It's too bad the other guy didn't get shot in the head. Yeah, that's a fact. That's why it's how it's bad, it's bad that that dude missed that many shots. I, do I feel like young Dolph playing right now? Hundred shots. Well, I, just, a whole hundred I mean, shots. I guess I guess we all haven't been in that situation, really, right? Like your adrenaline's fucking flowing. You don't know what's going on. You know, they say they do say that like a lot of people miss point blank. That even guys that are good shooters, just because. Shit's happening real fast. So, oh yeah, I was gonna say I was I when I had my well when you could actually get your CCW, which is the stupidest fucking thing in the world that they took away. You were like the my instructor actually taught us outside in like a in certain situations, <laughs> uh, like a situation like that to where if you come under where you're provoked or you're attacked or anything like that, you know your your instincts basically of like what to do, how to properly do it, you know. But everywhere's different. Yeah. And like, I don't know. I didn't really see the window break or nothing when he was shooting through it either. So, like, did he yeah, have like, blanks in the gun by accident or what? Like, yeah, I wouldn't think the thing had bulletproof glass. You wouldn't think, would it? No. Like, it, the, the glass didn't break. There, I didn't see any holes. Like, I watched it on the oh, computer it and, like, yeah, it didn't in, shatter in good quality. I didn't see any holes go in the door. I didn't see the window break. No. Like when he shot, I didn't see like a flag come out to bang. So, well, no, definitely not. <laughs> but, dude, that's, I, I don't know. Something that's like, I watched it on a bigger screen too, and I was just, just like, starter pistol. <laughs> <laughs> he, had Barty five. He, he had Barty five. He had one fucking bullet in him. I mean, like, he was trying to do what was right, and he got yeah. fucked up. That sucks. Yep. Yeah. 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 The whole time I was in Texas, I was waiting on somebody to like roll up with the Yosemite Sam, like seventeen inch long barrel. <laughs> Shit, roll up and they and they got they got like rifles in the back window on gun racks. 
Man, right, West Virginia. Big Jake race a couple weeks ago. It wasn't in his race, but my home went down for Big Jake race. They went to Walmart. He got his truck stolen. What? Oh, shit. Yeah. It was crazy. Dude, how in the hell is it? Explain this to me. Like, we put we type in GPS to find a Walmart so we can grab some drinks and stuff for the cooler for the track uh, the next day. Literally, Walmart is the next parking lot over from AT&T Stadium. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well, that's in Arlington. Arlington. Yeah. Yeah, I just moved to Texas, so, yeah. Mm. yeah it's right there. Yeah. I was like, how many people really be uh, tailgating in the Walmart parking lot on a Cowboys game day? <laughs> Dude, that whole area, I love that area. It was yeah. now I will say if, if you miss your exit, you're screwed. Boy, look, man. When I first moved to Texas, uh, I think I it said the the time of arrival was like 1240. I missed one exit, time of arrival, one o'clock. I'm like, dang, like 15 minutes off one exit is crazy. And then if you travel like between like four and five, five thirty-six, oh man, the traffic is horrible. If it ain't on the service road, just don't even get on the highway. Nah, man, bro. It's crazy. All right. We got a viewer question for you. Lamont, if you could start no prep racing with an unlimited budget, what car and what setup? I don't know. Uh, I definitely want like a four-eyed Mustang. I want a street car, though. I want a street car. Like like something like, look out here. Let me know. Like, look out here. I was in love with his Mustang, man. No, I was because he, he'll drive it to the track, race, and gamble, and just drive it home. Like I wish I can pull up a video right now, man. I did a whole interview on him, man. It was it was hilarious, and um, it's definitely a Mustang. I love Mustangs. Uh, wait a minute, we're up in the corner we're watching Limpy, Limpy Limpy's talking to the warden. Hey, that's you. What's up, boss lady? What up with it? She ain't pulled no knife or no uh <laughs> no Yosemite Sam Derringer on him yet. <laughs> she she just got home from working. Hey, uh, uh, he, she he disappeared times at the track. Yeah, I, was I gotta I gotta I gotta be I gotta be straight Earl Gennaro now. <laughs> <laughs> He's home. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But no, nah, I, I like that man. That's how my that's how my last uh couple words. Just street cars, drive there, either change tires or drive on the drag rails. You in, make your passes, have fun, then drive home. Yeah, man, I love you. I, love you. <clears throat> I got spoiled though. Uh, the car I drove to the track had AC and heated seats and uh. <laughs> Yeah. Hello, or nice interior satellite radio. Like that's my type of race car. What happens if you don't like AC? Fuck that AC. I love AC. Like I see all these AC being a requirement. What happens if you don't like AC? Uh, what was it we did with uh, Whitey? Like the AC's gone, but it still blows. So the rules is always as oh, long you as got a blower blows. motor. Yeah, some still blows yeah. out. Okay. I still like I still have that in my car, but I wouldn't put AC in my car if I you know, you know you're you're if you're cruising, you want to fucking roll down with your the window, window listen to the fucking engine. Yeah, like I, mean, I still yeah. have a radio, but you you do you want to hear the shit? You know, you want to hear the sound yeah. of the cars, you want to hear the I band. guess the reason why I don't like AC, um, especially here, like you come inside and then all of a sudden you get all cool yeah. and then you go outside and it just makes it worse. So I would rather just either be hot all damn day or just cold all damn day, one or the other. I'm telling you, don't have AC, but the AC seats are life changing because you yeah. go from swamp ass to dry within five. Well, minutes. no, you still feel like you're pissing yourself, but <laughs> oh, shit. now, Lamont, Lamont, you've had some AC seats. I know this. Wait, am I doing this right? Can y'all see them comments come up on the screen? Yeah, yeah. We're okay. putting them up on the screen. Yeah. Oh, wait. What about on my end? Wait. Uh, oh, boy. It's my first time. <laughs> it's my first time working with What you are guys. you doing? Can you see that? Oh, shoot. Yeah, I can see that. Has, right. has 
one, been the war in the woods. Man, I I I wanted to go this year, man, because uh, it's at the end of the month or uh, end of May. But uh, no, beginning of May, right? It's beginning of May, right? No, it's end of May, first of first of June. <laughs> yeah, and um, my boys ten four race, and they having a grudge event, so I'm gonna go out there and support them. <laughs> you fired. <laughs> Okay, okay, I can see him now. Okay, okay. Man, this guy's got some Dahmer glasses for sure. Man, you know, this person that said that. Man, I'm gonna get Fucking glasses, Lamont, dog. Lamont Dahmer <laughs> over here. <laughs> Bro, you like the fifth person that said that. I, <laughs> I gotta get some new ones now, man. <laughs> Why? People be scared of you now. You just walk down the street, you won't get it. Man, I don't want people to be scared of me. I Come on, man. He's black. There ain't no black serial killers. Come on, man. Let you know that. <laughs> Besides, you know, the, the one that killed the most the most prolific serial killer ever in the world was black. Who was that? Uh god dang, what's his name? He got he got he got busted in Louisville. He got busted in Louisville, but he went all over the world. Uh, God dang, what's his name? Sam, hmm. Sam something, Sam, Sam something. Let me see. I'm going to type in black serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> Samuel Hunt, Samuel, uh, Sam something. Samuel Hunt's a singer, is it not? Sam, <laughs> Sam something. Sam, Sam Little. Little. Yeah, Sam Little. Sam Little. Uh, he yeah, killed look, mostly. I, he killed mostly prostitutes. I I typed in black serial killer and look who popped up. Sam, you? Sam Little. Yeah, yeah, that's the most prolific serial killer in 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 the history of. Imagine you type something into fucking Google that's just super random, and then all of a sudden it's just a picture of you. Man, the internet. Now, he killed mostly prostitutes because you know he goes mostly women don't don't miss won't miss them. You know, back in yeah. the day because he started like in the seventies. I think he got busted in like 2010 or something like that. That's how long he did it. Dang. Jeez. It's like uh, 50 or 60 years worth. No. All yeah, right. Well, look at Limpy coming off with this crazy information. Man, I thought, I, 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 you, know, you're, you're, you know, you know everything about being flat earth. I know everything about being serial killer. I don't know everything about flat earth. <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, Lamont, do you believe the Earth is flat or round? Uh, I, I, man, I'm gonna have to. Stay oh with boy, the, nah, I'm going with the round. But man, I, man, I don't know what to believe nowadays. I'm be, but I'm gonna, <laughs> just stick with the round, man. I think it's round. <laughs> do you believe they they made it to the? Do you do you believe that they made it on on the moon? Nah, I don't believe it. I like this guy. I don't believe that. I, I think because when I look at them pictures, like, so. Fake as fuck. Y'all remember, like, when y'all was in elementary and kindergarten and first, second grade, they have that picture with the flag on the moon. And I it looked too modern. It looked too, you know what I'm saying? It, it looked like a picture where it should be in today's time or something like that. I don't know. I can't explain it. But, no, nah, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I think the world, I think America just wanted to be like, oh, we were the first people on the moon, you know? Yeah. And then they had the flag, too, so nah, I don't. Look, at, Chris is really trying to keep his mouth shut up there. Wait, so Why? You believe no, I don't believe it. Yeah, I watched I, that, I watched, I watched that, that documentary you sent me, remember? Oh, that, yeah, I forgot about that one, yeah. Yeah, oh, hell yeah. That, like that it, was actually that, a pretty good documentary, wasn't it? Fuck yeah. yeah, it was. I, I, yeah. dude, that, that, that was some shit. That I thought. I mean, it's that, not, it's not one of those ones that goes, oh, this, this, this. They just go, here you go. Here's the pictures. Here's the videos. Make your own assumption. Yeah, I mean, they, uh, they, um, they definitely, uh, they definitely debunked a lot of shit, and like, it makes sense. It's absolutely crazy that ninety percent of people don't understand that NASA is being sued by a lot of people. Yeah, I, I just which, don't. Man, which, I, which, I, which they show you in that in that documentary of of you know some court cases. Damn, no, I gotta see it. Damn, what happened? Did I get? 
I got kicked off of a. I just get kicked off of a. Say the moon's not real, and now they're trying to censor us. Fuck. Uh, I, I got kicked <laughs> off of a. I think I got kicked off of YouTube. <laughs> no man, it's I, 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 it out. I, like my I, whole everything just froze up on mine. Holy fuck! The FBI's at my door. Oh no! Oh fuck! Here we go. <laughs> Oh fuck! Well, it was fun. It was nice knowing y'all. Yeah. Am I good? Hey, I'll see you. I'll see you in prison. All right. <laughs> hey, man. No, no, no we got we got st we got storms rolling through. So, oh y'all do? Yeah, oh, a storm of fucking yeah. army police. Is it? Is it? Oh, oh it's storming at your up, house. I got this. I got this. Yeah. Don't worry about that, people. We outside. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> man, it's crazy. I, I ain't trying to brag, but man, I literally like I think I screenshot it off my live. I think I went live at SRP. And um I think why am I on here? Can y'all put it to where everybody on here? No, you keep <laughs> touching buttons. Something's I, not, Did you see that? The uh viewer number just dropped by like two hundred people. Is it Dude, we're still live on everything? Yeah, it says there's only 31 people now watching. Oh, we're getting shadowed! Fuck we're you! Down, we're down to 28. Oh, down. I'm down to only two on YouTube. Oh, bro, they're coming. They're coming. We better end this. Hey, just because we talked about the damn moon. God, <laughs> hey! I don't know what happened there. I know oh, exactly yeah. what fucking happened there. We started talking about some shit, and now we're friggin'. Limpy, you still live on YouTube? I don't know. I... Fuck. It I says mean, I got two. That's why I don't get involved with politics right there. Stuff like this happens. I got, I said I got, oh, yeah. Limpy, you have yeah. only three people watching on YouTube right now. Yeah. yeah. But you're live. <laughs> hey, really said the happen. moment. Oh. Yeah, I hear dogs barking outside. I might be getting arrested. Oh boy! What in the what? Why the fuck did it do that? You know exactly why, Chris. I know. Hey, they said, "Hey, look, they said the Forever Grudge never coming back home." <laughs> 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 they said, hey, look, they said I mean, it, I'm still live. Yeah, they we just got shadow banned. That's all. It's all good. No. That was, it's, that crazy was weird. The, so, it's crazy because the viewership's not going back up at me, all. Like it's only up by like five people. It's because I mentioned as soon as I said the NAS and the fucking uh being in court and being sued, it literally dropped. I hate to say it, but he's right. <laughs> I was like, I know it froze up hard as hell. Like, I was like. Damn, we you're, you're the only one that froze. Everybody else is fine. Not all y'all were froze on my end bad. Yeah, but it, I think it was just your connection. But literally, as soon as I said that, instantly, two seconds later, Chris was like, Where did all the fucking people go? Right when I looked up, I looked up. We've seen it at the same time, but I was like, the hell yeah. happened? That is very odd. <laughs> Holy shit. Fuck the government. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> it's, a, it's a two on Facebook. It says six on. Oh, uh, yeah. See, this shit is real. I fucking believe it now 100%. You ain't going to steer me wrong. Shit's real. Shit is fucking real. The one night, happy ain't on. Everything goes on. I mean, usually, usually I'm at like almost 200 or so on YouTube. I mean, it's building. How many watching right now? Six. It's 39 total on everybody's platform. So if everybody oh God, missed really what's going know. on, we'll wait till we get another 200 and I'll try it again and we'll see what happens. <laughs> well, well, usually I got about 200 just on YouTube and then, you know, whatever. Yeah. But, oh shit. I'm sitting there talking. The government is watching. The algorithms are watching. The all that shit three. that they say happens and you think it doesn't, it does. Was 176 on YouTube is what Tommy Cook says. Now it says I've got three. Yeah, it's saying three on yours right now from what I'm seeing. <laughs> this is amazing. This is crazy. Uh, we literally watching this shit in real time. That was, it literally, I was like, unless it's a, 
the number ain't right. Yeah, three put people. it down my lady. Nah, come on. We can make we can make all the excuses in the world. We know exactly what happened. It says four on mine right now. Now I'm at 14. Oh, it's going back up then. Shit, boys. Check your bank accounts. Make sure the government didn't seize them. I ain't got You're... Where, yeah, I ain't got nothing in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, no shit. I ain't got nothing. They can keep that little 15, 14 hours I got. <laughs> I thought everything was bigger in Texas. I'm from Mississippi. We po, so I, <laughs> <laughs> not my bank account. My bank account. Hey, I'm from Canada. They probably already seized my bank account. Hey, do you know a dude named Jordan uh, Lazart? Lazar? Lazar? I think this is last. Oh, you see that? Uh, he drive um Gober racing car. It's like yeah, a mine just says the same thing. Damn, I'm sorry, boys. I didn't mean to bring that shit I've up. I've been exhausted. E.G. check quota. I try. Um, I try not to bring the conspiracy stuff into this, but now we're on. We're on to something. We're on to something. Hey, Edward said Lamar looked up serial killers and the FBI got us. That might be it too. I did. Look it up. might be this right here. <laughs> hey, hey, who did? <laughs> <laughs> man, no way y'all did. Uh, let me see. That now, picture looks way too clear for the time we live in. That that's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. Somebody just sent it. Hey, somebody just sent me a message on Instagram or oh, that picture. Sorry, Dave. Sorry, Dave. Something went wrong. When I, I just pro- I just proved to you guys that the shit that I talk about, some of it is definitely true. Oh boy. I mean, okay, Chris, now- Chris, like, are you actually thinking about that right now? That's crazy, isn't it? I mean, it, 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 uh, it, the, the timing couldn't have been any better. That's all I'm gonna say. Hey, somebody said me, where are you? on Instagram and said, Tell Cord, that's only one watching. Yeah, I mean, that's why I'm looking on mine. I'm like, Fuck, it's moments like these I wish I had an underground bunker to hide in. Like, I can't put there, mine on YouTube. What the hell? There, start. What city are you right. from? Mississippi. Oh, uh, man. I, I, I was, bro, I be telling folks like Rankin County, Hines County, Kapai County because I moved so much. So I started off in like the Pearl Brandon area. And then did we you say, moved. did you say, Paca! County? Nah, Kapaya. Kapaya. Oh. Oh, so, I, I, like, so I'm I, I I was born in Pearl and then we moved to Flowood, then we moved to Byron, then we moved, then I lived in Hattiesburg to, for school, then Jackson, and then Crystal Springs, then I moved to Texas. So I, I'm not moving out of Texas no time soon. So I just tell people like Kapaya County, Hines County, Rankin County. So hey, it's say it's say five people watching now. Sorry, Corey, I didn't mean to ruin your whole show here. I'm just seeing what's going on. Like it's like I can't even get it on, on my TV. Like I can't pull up mine or Olympies. Corey's show looking like a sad puppy. It's okay, Corey. No, I'm just sitting there trying to figure shit out. <laughs> it's one of those yeah. I'm like, what? Yeah, it is. So, yeah, now I got four. I don't know. Fuck it. Okay. Yeah, I'm watching. I'm actually watching your stream right now, Lempy, on YouTube. It's working. Yeah, it's yeah, working. I, mean, I, I said I've got, I said I got four broke viewers. broke my shit. Got four viewers. Them I got 100 conspiracy people. people. Ed said I had 186 on it on it before, and now I've got two. That's all good. <laughs> yeah, I keep in, yeah, I can't go to Corey's YouTube. Something went wrong. Try again. It say it say that somebody said James said there's still a bunch of us in the chat though. So I bet yeah, I bet you I bet you they I got uh. I think everybody's hat. still on here. I just I think it's just. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, now I'm on Corey's. I'm on Corey's channel and on the video. Okay. 
He I mean, says, I can't pull it up says, on this my. Says, so so I was trying on, to pull it up on my Roku app. It's <laughs> on my. It's on my um, computer. It just says I'm the only one that's watching. Uh, let me see. Fuck is going on? Flip it on yours. It say six people. Coy on yours. It say five. I got five on Facebook and zero on YouTube. Man, we should have had this thing on. We should have transferred this. Yeah, I got six. Or six on there. Hmm. Let's Crazy. wait till we get to 100 and then I'll say it again and see what happens. <laughs> Shit. Mufasa. You'd be hearing bang, bang, bang on the door oh, and I'll be like, yep, we out. <laughs> oh. So Lamont, what's the what's the biggest grudge race you filmed? Uh, or the most hyped one that, that you can think of. Oh, the most hype. I can Oh man. I mean, I mean sure the them, you know, them hundred thousand dollar races were fucking legit though, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, no, no, they definitely be legit. Definitely be legit. Let me see. Uh Ah, uh, the most hype grudge race. Ooh, that's a hard one. That had the most hype behind it. Let me go back and see. That's a good question. Ooh. What's up, John? This is a conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we were just joking but around. I, I, yeah. I get um last year, <laughs> one of the most hyped grudge races was Salty B and Josie Wells. That was a that was a highly anticipated grudge race. Everybody, uh, Josie Wells ended up winning. No, you didn't. There ain't no fucking way. <laughs> Hey, Chris, did you see all the new ones he's come out with? No, actually. Is there, is there some new ones? Yeah, he's got a whole bunch of good ones. I'll have to go look at that tonight. I haven't watched any, but I'm going to I'm gonna try and start watching. I've been, I've been off the whole thing for a while. Like I listened to so much shit at one point that I had to stop. I'm wondering if they might be updating servers or something because... Like, uh, I go on my app, like on my Roku TV, and I can't get to know my subscriptions or anything. Well, it did that to me originally when I tried to click on your, um, on your page on YouTube, but mm -hmm. then I hit it again and it went. So. <sighs> uh, yeah, the one. The one Chris found on YouTube, but the other ones, I don't know if they're on YouTube. Might have to do some digging. Like I said, I've, I've taken a break from all that shit for a while. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's something. It has to be something hmm? YouTube because it just did it. So yeah. I went to somebody else's yeah, subscription so. and the same thing happened. Yeah, my page comes up now. So, Yo. So okay. NASA be NASA being sued for wrongful doing or whatever they're doing had nothing to do with it. <laughs> All I'm saying is, if y'all want to make it up to me for screwing up whatever y'all just did on the table, uh, I'll take the rest of them. Uh, what we I, do, I don't want to make it up to you. No, no, I'm talking about whoever screwed it up through YouTube. Just send me like another forty three thousand subscribers so I get my play button. <laughs> <laughs> But I want it so bad, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I ain't want. I ain't never want crap in life. But I want that freaking plate. Yeah, that's that's the one thing. It's just like that'd be cool, man. I'm it, just it, looking at the numbers, man. That's weird because it got like Limpy is usually the one that's kicking ass on YouTube, and he's got one. Yeah. <laughs> People who are watching, leave a comment right now. If you can see this, if, if you can, if you can see or hear us, type in the comments. We outside. Blink twice for once, or for yes. Blink once for no. It's just crazy how fluctuation, how 
how fluctuating it it's going. Yeah, see, see, everybody coming. So uh, that's weird. God dang, we all, yeah, see, everybody's coming. I mean, who's, that's just who's weird. YouTuber are you on? Who's YouTuber are you on? Mom, me? me? No, I'm oh. asking the chat, the chat. Who's YouTuber are you all coming? It's probably yours. Them? Well, I mean, Corey, you're live on YouTube, right? Yeah, I mean. He's got none. Zero. Yeah. Y'all got a hell of a fan base. Everybody's saying we outside. Yes, yeah, like, I've got. No, it's know. definitely like I'm seeing a like I should be able to see. I think the it comments that would come one. up on mine would only be the comments that's on the people watching it on my Facebook, and I've got a ton of comments. No, no, no. You see everybody's comments. No, oh, even if, oh, okay. Yeah, you see everybody's comments. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, I see your comments. You see my comments. Uh, no, I'm talking about yeah. like when I pull it up on my phone and actually go under. Oh, media. when you're on your. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, sorry. there's a ton of comments phone, yeah. and people on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah you'll still see all the comments and stuff because it's mm-hmm. it's still you're watching it on the show, though, right? Yeah, I'm watching it on the show that's being broadcasted on my link. Yeah. yeah. So you're still going to see all the comments. I don't Somewhere know. I says 190 viewers. I've got two watching on YouTube, is what it says, and 19 on Facebook. I'd back out and then come back in to see if it reset, but I'm scared to touch anything now. I don't worry about it. Uh, All right, everybody that just said we outside, make sure you share this as well on your feeds. (laughs) Yeah, I can't do, uh, Paul, I can't do Twitch. Uh, You're only allowed to uh, on my end. Uh, You're live on Twitch, too? I'm live on Twitch. Yeah, Corey's live on Twitch. I usually I usually live on Twitch, but not on this one. And Rumble. Damn, I'm trying to figure out what happened. Hey, can you um can you get monetized on Rumble? Yeah, you're already monetized, but uh it don't it don't. It's Who has like, a two dollar American bill? Uh I got no, one. I've got several. I think the this got Canadians several. got one. Yeah, yeah. I my old lady's got several. She collects. She used to collect mm-hmm. them. Yeah, me too. Fucking crisp too. I just made it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I didn't make it. But <laughs> so when you when you get on Rumble, so you automatically like monetize already. Yeah, but you don't get you don't get the views. Okay, I I, I and I, and if they want you to do kind of like they want to do. You can do it like you'll make more if you like make it. Oh, we're you're only exclusive on Rumble, blah blah. blah. We'll pay you more, but you know, but you can do Rumble and that, and it won't pay as much. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, can you post content, <laughs> post content on Rumble? Can't you? Yeah, yeah. I've got a Rumble account. Uh, I I was doing reactions and stuff over there because I got two copyright strikes on my reaction page, so I had to calm the fuck down. Apparently no, people I, don't like you watching their videos and reacting to it. No, I had to take, I had to quit running it through my, per, I had to quit running the table through my personal uh, Facebook because that's what come to find out. Like my monetization restriction got lifted this weekend on the way to Texas. And that was why they were pulling shit from uh, the table and saying it was uh, unoriginal content. Mm, that's a bunch of fucking losers. I think I'm I'll... Original competition with one another out on social media platforms and they just yeah. another if your shit is on the internet it's free game in my opinion uh, no for sure but like you gotta think like it's 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 all competition bro mm-hmm. facebook want to be want to have a higher rate than instagram instagram when i want to have when i have a higher rate than tiktok oh it's it's just competition i see it. i i can tell you i can i think youtube's changing something because you know, I yeah, put, I do. Dying breed. The videos I put up the past two days have got really good traction. The mm-hmm. video I put up today, and this is usually a good day for me. Dude, yeah. no traction at all. See, yeah. see, I boy, I upload, I upload every day on YouTube at six o'clock. <laughs> I, like, I couldn't like, I had to figure out like my algorithm and everything. So I noticed when I post like six o'clock, crap. But if I put it at six, I feel like everybody y'all work. 
They ain't got nothing to do. They were just <laughs> just chill. You know what I'm saying? So I, I try to post every day. Yes. Yeah, mine was showing. I think my best viewers now come in between five thirty and six thirty, and that's why I've been setting my premieres at five thirty. So it just starts the roll in process then. Yeah, sounds like, like Lamar's in a UFO or something. You hear that? The ooh, 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 ooh on his end. You not hear that? I can hear a woo. Yeah, sounds like a plane. Wait, on whose? On yours. Oh, no. I guess crazy shit happens in Texas. <laughs> no. Wait, no, I got twelve close, days. Are you close to this, the Skinwalker Ranch or whatever it's called. The what now? Yeah, he lives, he lives over by me. He hey, hey, E's and B's is having the same issue now. It says he has no subscriptions. That's exactly what mine's saying. Lamont, go on yours and see if you can get to your subscriptions and see if any videos come up. There's people wanting to know about who that's who uh yeah. mine's on mine's uh, reaction up. channel. PIC? No, no, check your subscriptions, like the stuff you subscribe to, see if it pulls up. Oh. It doesn't. It oh, fill your subscription. Okay, it must. Yeah, be. dude, it's everybody. I think. It's, I think. Facebook, I I think YouTube is updating. It got to be an update or something. Dang. Yeah, it's not. It's not pulling up on mine. Sorry, Dang, my bad. The the night you get on here, shit goes out of hell. Oh uh, no, nah, you're good, bro. I'm, I was honored to come on here, bro. You know, I ain't never been on no podcast, man. <laughs> hey, so I got a question for y'all. I got a question for y'all because all right, I'm usually not the one that's getting in. <laughs> Lamont got us in some shit, man. I ain't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so look, I got a question for y'all. Like, all right. I, I'm finna start a podcast. Hmm? Like, what's like, what's y'all best advice on like starting the podcast? Because I want to start one, and I'm usually not in front of the camera. I'm usually behind the camera. So, what's y'all? What's advice that y'all got? Consistency. Like yeah. For sure. For sure. For sure. Consistency. That's honestly like even mine. I had really good traction for a while. And I haven't done one in about a month, um, and it's basically dropped right off. And I don't know; it's very hard to you have to you have to have a schedule. I think you got to have it pre-planned a couple weeks in advance. You got to keep everybody, you know, on schedule. Do it, and it's got to be like between. It can't be like the table when it's seven hours long. It's got to be between like half hour. And maybe tops two hours, maybe tops two hours. Right. right. And then, because I find all my videos that are like, or uh, all my podcasts are an hour to an hour and 20 minutes are all the ones that are watched the most. Okay. I don't know. I like that one you did with uh, uh, Always Send It because that thing got me almost to the whole thing. In the city. Yeah. Uh, but, Lamont, you know, I talked to you this past weekend. I told you how hard it was. Like, I'm not an interviewer. I'm not nothing. How much it took for me just to get to do this. And I haven't really, seen that easy of ease. One right. thing I'll tell you is just just be yourself on it and be yeah. just chill. Have a good time with it, honestly. Never stop talking. I find, <laughs> I find if you just are relaxed and you shoot the shit over something that's scripted the whole time, I think you get a better viewing. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm just saying. Every time Chris, you talking to that mic, you're like you're normal, and then you're like, make sure you do it correctly. <laughs> you know, I've been, I've been doing them. Yet. I, I've been doing them a long time, uh, either podcast or or anything. But I think it, you got to let them talk too. You know, if you ask them a question, let them talk. Uh, and just sit back and let them. You know, that's that, that's they're on the show. They're the show. So you let them talk. Uh, our off subject guys, our numbers are climbing back up now. I know. I just I just saw that in the comments. It's now one sixty six. Now it's crazy. We Bad. back outside, people. <laughs> <laughs> Throw them fours up. Fours, <laughs> boy, it's both. 
<laughs> oh, that UFO left is what Andy um, P said. <laughs> for, for real, because um, when I be doing my deep and racing segments with people, I tell people I'm gonna let y'all talk eighty percent, and I'm gonna just talk the other twenty percent. The other twenty percent is just like asking questions or elaborating on the question or elaborating on the answers that they give me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, it, I've watched your stuff. Right? You'll do good. Oh. You, you got, oh. you got it. Oh, especially if you wear those glasses. If you oh. wear the glasses every podcast, people will tune in for sure. <laughs> Hell no, nah, ain't wearing no different. <laughs> oh, oh man, what's the what's the weird show, dude? Epstein oh. or what? No, no, Epstein. No, uh, the, no, the 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 dude. That... Oh, uh, uh, fuck. Uh, I know who you're talking about. The guy in the wheelchair, Stephen Hawking. Don't, don't he have some glasses like Lamont too? Nah, oh. he's got little. He's got little glasses, but he's got the cock neck. Oh damn! Oh boy! Hey, cool. hey Cole, what'd you say, Poland? Did you say Poland? Yes, yeah, Poland. <laughs> hey. fuck, fuck Poland. Hey, hey, but did y'all see that post Poland made of me? I don't uh-uh. know. What hey, oh, you still in the banners? Yeah. Oh, uh, he ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> you still oh, the banners? Poland ran over my toes about five times this weekend and kept going like. He- Oh, you! Hey, it's fucking yeah, ruthless. I swear, man. Like they didn't see it, but I saw it firsthand. I told Paul, and I was like, "Man, Lamont's over there. Some wire clippers when you're getting their banners." Hey, hey, did he ran over? He ran over your, your your shoes and shit, man. You had some nice kicks on too, man. My, nah, them things were man. Them basketball shoes. I'm just some I shoes. Know, you, you look pretty nice. You, you, you take care of them at least. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna t- I'm gonna tell you if y'all tuned into the live feed on saturday for forever grudge i mean he had special guest commentary i was over there for a little while talking. Oh, yeah yeah <laughs> and i didn't realize like uh it happened to me twice and it happened to me while i was on one of your uh when i was talking with you on your live feed i got my lights confused at yellow belly because i forgot red me was yeah. the right lane and that because that shit's Backwards to me, anyways. Just hit some damn W's or put the light on the side of the wall. That'd be better. The, the green is for the uh, left lane. The red is on uh, the right lane. Yeah. yeah. Like, like take take them off the string and just put them on the wall. Make life so much right. easier. No, that this that 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 takes. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that takes, I know where you're effort. going with that. Smoke Limpy. another one, Limpy. That takes effort. <laughs> That takes effort on their part. Effort, yeah. Because, <laughs> well, I was looking at my videos, and depending on what side of the track you're standing on, if you're on the right side of the track, the red beam is kind of like two thirds of the way into the left lane. And if you're standing on the left side of the track, it almost looks like the red beam somehow is completely hugging the wall by the fence. Man, yeah. I just man, what I used, to, I used to just wait till they go down the track, and whichever lane that was celebrated when it won. <laughs> I don't know, but you seen grudge racing. Some of them guys be celebrating too early anymore. Oh boy, I got so many videos of that boy. I, I you could have caught me this weekend celebrating early when I got them lights confused and I thought Houston won. <laughs> <laughs> I was standing right there and I'm like, "What the fuck's he doing?" Yeah. <laughs> no, he didn't win. They're like, "What?" I was like, but, "No, the lights hanging over his lane." No, that's right lane. Then why is it over his lane? <laughs> Man. <it's- laughs> Funny, it'd be a bit pot and grudge race and be a bit pot, and you'll see people go after the car like they're facing it, and the other lane come on, and they got a they're like, same bet. <laughs> Boy, it's funny, man. It's Dude, like Trey, you like when Trey runs and something happens. Yeah, so I, you know anything, Steph Cody, man, just like God dang, dude, it's like he ran over their dog. It's like God, <laughs> you know that's how tight they are too, you know. Yeah, they they the they the real deal. Steph Cook and Tune, man, he was good tune. Trey Trey this weekend. Ooh. So, was that when when you pulled into the gate? It was like five or seven cars. He was tuning every single one of those cars. Yeah, mm, all Mustangs. Damn. Uh, he tuned up. Is it LTD? I think he tuned that LTD yeah. too. That's his yeah, car. That's uh, that's uh. Well, they have they have uh. Fisher bought one too. Fisher drive dr- drove it out there from his house. Fisher Fisher drive a fair amount. I think the other cars. Are yeah, I know, but I, they, they look the same. They, yeah. they got the LTD, and then they got uh, well, they got Creeper, and then they got uh, 
Fisher. uh, Fisher's car. And, and it's crazy because hell, everything on a Mustang can go on a Fairmont. I think. Well, yeah. Hell, it's basically a Mustang. Yeah, if you ever look at all Stefan's car, they're pretty much they all set pretty much the same. Yeah, yeah they're they yeah. slam. They're low. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a good tuner, man. He's a good tuner too. He's he's got he's got everything figured out from tuning to suspension. To yeah, he everything. just part two. He just did some some a garage racer down here. He did some. A specific, I remember when that kid was. I remember when he was like eighteen years old. <laughs> All right, hey Lamont. Now you're gonna agree with me on this. I guarantee oh. you will. Oh hell! Yeah. Next time at that race, they need somebody come out there like they do at Ducks Race with like the the, the sign and holds up. It actually has the class name on it, so we know what class. Man, I know, I know for sure. I just posted that little gangster class. I know I had Cheap Street, True Street, all in that in that little gangster class. I didn't know which class was which. That's why I was telling somebody they asked me what class. I, I, like, I got it. I got it. I got it, man. I've got it right here. This should make lots of money for small tire gangsters. Poland, uh, Tom, if you're listening, you have a ring girl that, you know, since you can't have the twerk contest, you have a ring girl in between rounds that walks back with a little sign of what, what, what class it is. So much truth go. in that statement right there. right there. God dang. I'm a fucking brilliant. I'm brilliant. Motherfucking God. I mean, that was my only thing. Cause there were so many double tri- triple entries. I was like, I have no idea what class we're in. Uh, I'll let you double enter. Yeah. Like I, Supposedly. like that was the big thing. The only time I knew small tires up. Cause when you hear a pro charger car start, uh, there was no pro charger car in any other class. Cause that was the first video I put up. Cause I was like, Oh, I can go and put this out. Cause I know the cars, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. the they finna be on the bat burner. I don't know which one is which. By the way, big props to Forever Grudge. Uh, Lamont helping me out with the finals pass and Little Gangsters, that video we dropped tonight. Oh, yeah. I appreciate that, son, buddy. I am out. All right, buddy. See you later, everybody. Hold up, hold up. Hey, 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 wait a minute. You got to throw up the the foes before you go. What is that? You got to throw it up. You got to throw them up. Forever Grudge, man. You got to throw the foes up. (laughs) <laughs> and it's foes. 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 Yeah, I'm All right. Have a good night, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Later. Bye. I had Lamont all tour up because he was like, You got to throw them up. You got to throw them up. And I was like, One, two, three. Uh, 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 uh. You done broke the feed again. What did I do? Hold up, Happy sent me a message. Let me see. The old dude sent you a message. Oh, he said Happy said he going to sleep. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'm oh, here yeah, too. Yeah, I stayed on here long ago. He he said he been on plane since seven o'clock this morning. Damn. Where you coming from? Cancun. Jeez. Want to take me a trip? Want to take me a trip? You know what I came from? Yellow belly this weekend. That's where I came from. Me too. We already, we already at the house. Look at that. Y'all going to Milan, Milan this weekend? I'm Chris not. I'm, hot. I'm going to Arkansas if, uh, if the weather holds out, but we'll find out. Man, tomorrow. I ain't none in Texas looking good. Even Radio Round, though. That's why I was supposed yeah. to be. Yeah, everything's canceled, dude. Oh, all right. So I got a Texas question for you. We'll see which way you go with this one. I've been here for two years now. So that's, that's, more, that's longer than I've been there. All right. <laughs> all right, Whataburger or In and Out? Oh, Whataburger all day. Water I haven't burger. tried In and Out yet, but man, it's going to. I don't think it's going to top a uh, Whataburger. Whataburger man, for the win. In and Out is too basic. They only got a couple burgers on the menu and them weak ass shakes or whatever it's called. But man, Whataburger got chicken fingers. Uh, not mm. chicken. Chicken, chicken tenders. Uh, you got the uh, chin, chicken finger uh, sandwich too. The honey barbecue, yeah. honey, honey barbecue sandwich, sandwich. Man, they got all type of stuff. They got burger. They got they got a lot of stuff, man. So nah, water burger. It, it's versatile. So yeah, yeah. I'm so, going. I'm going with water burger. See, I only ordered. I ordered the same burger both times. I, just a bacon double cheeseburger, no lettuce or tomato, uh, mayonnaise on it, mustard on it, and uh, onion. Nah, you got to get that uh, sweet and I think it's that sweet and so, sweet and spicy bacon burger. I seen that, but the problem is, and I'll tell you why I didn't get that. 
I had my gallbladder removed, and oh, after yeah. seeing the cleanliness of the bathrooms, I'm kind of. Mm. <laughs> nah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, but um, I'm. The fries are good too because fries are actually fresh. So you got, and then they got that ranch sauce. So um, I got, I got the spicy ketchup. I know about, and I know about the deal, but I still, it's still water burger. I know about the secret menu. And now it's not good. Like, I had that in Arizona when we went out there for that race last year, and I was not impressed by any means. Like, right, I, think I'd rather, I think I'd rather eat fucking McDonald's, honestly. I'd, I'd, I'd rather fucking starve than McDonald's. I, 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 ain't, I ain't going to I, McDonald's. Let's say breakfast time. In it, I don't even like their breakfast, though. They don't even have good breakfast. They got, me. like, two or three things that I like on and that, that's yeah. it. That's the There's going sausage, for. gravy, and biscuit. Fire. Yeah. Just sausage, no. sausage biscuit with some grape jelly. I don't even like that sausage. It, it tastes too, tastes too right. frozen. Yeah. Tastes too frozen. Now, uh, when you go in Bucky's, what do you get? I can't afford a damn thing in Bucky's. <laughs> <That's what> I, <laughs> he's all he's all Bucky this, but he said he's like hey, I said fuck Bucky's. You what, keep going in there, you be going broke. You know what? I thought I thought Bucky's was overrated. When I first moved down here, I was like, man, it's the buggies they talk about. Let me go ahead and see what's going on. Man, these people had a cooking machine. They had a souvenir department. They, they had all type of stuff, dude. I think the first time I've been to buggies, I spent like a hundred and some dollars. Just all food and necklaces. I had got necklaces. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Did you, right. Hey, do you have the small tire gangster's chain, but it's got the buggies? Let's <laughs> look <laughs> bling, bling. I, I had the um what is it's that cinnamon what is it called it's it's the it's the little it's the um the pecans the pecans uh, with yeah, the, yeah with the cinnamon with it they they good they the, the bake like the baked cinnamon pecans yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um so I just get a lot of food I got I get they um they they put, put to, um, man, I got a lot of stuff, man. And I was like, man, I'm not finna go back in no more. That's it. Now I'm, I can tell you, I tried their breakfast when we left. We left Yellow Belly. Yeah, we went to the hotel, got our stuff, and then hit the road. And we pulled into the one right there. I think it's Rose something, Rosa something, Texas. Uh, uh, uh Royce City. Royce City. There you go. And uh, the one that's by dude, by Redline. Dude, the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, and all that shit. Dude, it was good. Like it was on point. The burrito was good. Yeah, they got some good stuff. I just I'm not up there. No more. Yeah, I, what's that? The track that's right up by there. That place looks nice as hell. Yeah, it closed down. Uh, they had some people. Yeah, they, they've, it's open and closed like three times. So. Damn, that place is nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. perfect location too. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, about about half a mile from there is where they got them them uh them. 60 mile an hour uh go karts that you mm. ride around and do it like uh the RL shit, mm. you know. Man, have yeah. y'all have y'all had limp well I don't know. I like golf somewhat. I like mini golf, but uh I think Tiger Woods just opened up like a little mini golf, like a little putt putt golf place in Dallas, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. y'all you don't want that smoke. Yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta go there, man. Me, and, me and a couple of homies down here. We were supposed to go, but we never chance to. I'm gonna try to check it out. If, dude, if, huh, dude? That's what I'm saying. Like at our hotel, there was all kinds of shit. Like you made one right turn, and there was Six Flags, AT and T Stadium, Texas Rangers Stadium. Oh, yeah, over there, yeah. I stay, yeah, he stayed I, in Arlington. I stay. I stay about 12, 13 minutes away from Six Flags. Six Flags. Oh, that's I'm awesome. about thirty-five. I'm about 30, 35 minutes. Mm. I was about to say, take me over to Six Flags. I'm I'm good. Let's go. Man, I don't buy no roller coasters. Oh, dude, that'd be the perfect man. You take somebody Six Flags and do reaction videos. Have do an interview on a roller coaster. Come on. See, see, I got. Hey, what's crazy is, bro? I got a whole another YouTube channel. Like I got like three YouTube channels, but I'm only serious. Like on the Forever Grudge one, I want to get my other one popping to like I just go because I'm new to the area in Texas. I thought about just vlogging, like like writing down a lot of places and vlogging about it. 
And mm -hmm. I, I just ain't got the guts to do it, bro. Dude, vlog's tough. I tried doing I got six episodes into my vlog channel and I stopped. Yeah, yeah. Why you stop though, man? Was it not it's just it's it was just I don't it didn't feel natural. It didn't feel oh. like I was actually it felt like I was forcing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. But I, I man, if I drink a beer or something, I'll look I talk to myself anyways. So I'm like, man. I've, I've talked to myself all the time. See, I see I talk to myself. So if I put this on camera and I put some Oh boy, beer, I don't know about beer, that. <laughs> I'm really surprised y'all didn't see me like talking to myself like because when i'm shooting video i'm so used to being like down track by myself and shit i'm sitting there thinking in my mind already editing the video as i'm shooting it i'm the same way bro like if you look at me sometimes i'll be doing this with my fingers on the starting line like mm -hmm. editing like editing so yeah now nah, i'm the same way bro i'm the same as that way it's crazy all right uh so you're in texas and you've been you filmed some street racing in texas right yeah, man. You, I'm so, yeah. so you film street racing back in some other places too. Now, who's got the best roads? See, when I was in Mississippi, see, we didn't do no shootouts in Mississippi. Like we did, we get on these back lines, we talk shit, and we go to the street race and grudge race for some money, mm. load my stuff, and go. See, that's what I don't know. I, I kind of miss those days of just setting up some just legit, just grudge race, one and man. done, knock them out. Yeah, man. Well, I, I, I take them over anything, man. Cause I know. See, I'm gonna tell you why I love grudge racing. <laughs> it's a Sorry. story behind everyone, bro. Not saying story. It's not saying it's not a story. Cause y'all stop putting me on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Behind a grudge racing, yeah. I'm awake. There's um, like a to grudge race that, like, I see what you're saying. Because even like when we we're at the track, there's always a story behind when JR Gray and Mario uh, and them would pop it off, or Salty and somebody. There's a story behind it, there's more than just the race, story, dude. And, and then it's like bragging rights, like, damn, did yeah. I? Even when I be interviewing the people, I don't already beat his ass. I don't want to talk to him no more. I don't want to talk about him no more. I already beat his ass. Like, stuff like that. <laughs> uh, Look at old Chris. <laughs> Sorry. I, I do have a grudge race for you to film. What's up? When Limpy, whenever he gets his scooter fixed, I'm going to gap his ass. Oh, Limpy shit. The foot race. Do, I know that? do what? Limpy beat me in a foot race. Limpy bit you in a foot race. Yeah, you don't remember that Limpy? No. We oh yeah, we was uh, we was on uh, we was out there on the streets. What did I get? Trees. Yeah, and I and I and I needed to hit and and twenty feet. I'm going like thirty. And, and 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 no no and I needed twenty feet and we only ran thirty feet. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I was trying to get that this weekend from you for Chris, like the race against Chris, little Brock Lesnar looking dude. I said, we just need the hit, and we're going to start about 58 foot, and we're racing to 60. Nah. <laughs> I said, I said, look, you got that, but give me two seconds to leave. And I tried. After they bang the light, I got two seconds. Like, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. You count whenever I have time of going, and after two seconds, you can go. Hey, here, we're going to end up doing this at Shady Side. We're going to we're gonna figure a race to where I get a rolling start on the scooter, mm -hmm. and then you leave when I get beside you. No, you still don't want that smoke. Um, trust me. Trust uh, me. You still don't want that smoke. It depends. It depends. I was even going downhill, and, then, and he still fucking did the drive-by on me. Limpy, you be messing up my hustle. <laughs> 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 you did that at Yellow Belly on um, this past weekend too, dude. I, mean, I like I do like that you when you knew that Limpy wasn't gonna end up flagging no races. You're like you put some thought into that. All right, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this money. Oh, hey, go get your flashlight. Flag his <laughs> man. I man, see the thing with live streaming, bro. I try to make it entertaining, dude, because like I'm still kind of new to the live streaming thing. And I stay live for so long. So when it's downtime, I'm like, man, let me try to entertain my viewers, man. Let me try to entertain them. Because 
when it's downtime, don't nothing be going on. And I I, hmm. I, I already do my interviews and everything. So I'm like, All right, I got there early, do my interviews. So let me just, you know, call out somebody, you know, start some stuff, make it entertaining, you know. What the fuck? So, uh, hey, how'd you like that CMO this weekend? Did it stay, how long was your battery life and all that shit with it? Oh, um, I think I ran through like, shoot, my camera, I ran through all my batteries. I think I ran through like six batteries because I was live for like an hour. Yeah. And, and <clears throat> that CMO, yeah, I like that CMO though. It's legit, man. Like I don't have no like. It's it's simple too. I'm a simple dude. Like, <laughs> see, that's I've got that scene. I've got one, and that's why I was asking because you know I've got that and I got the mini yellow box, which the mini yellow box was doing work. It's just it it was weird because it was like it was holding a charge, it was holding a charge, and then it stopped, and I was like, and it just started dropping, dropping. So yeah. that's when I was like, all right, after the truck's in, I'm going to go back here to the trailer. I'm going to see if I can figure this out. Plus, I needed some batteries from my other camera. Yeah. And dude, I went there, and, like, it still wouldn't hold a charge. And then I went to restart it, and it never came back. Man, you should have told me, because I bought one, and I ain't never used it. Like, I used it two times, I think, bro. And I would have used it that day or whatever. <laughs> the more I'm reading, because I start, like, I'm the type of person, after that happens, like, I'm stuck. I'm trying to figure, troubleshoot everything. Yeah. The mi- yellow box mini has the most issues out of all the yellow boxes. Mm. Yeah, I think because I think Stone Vet, uh, I think, yeah, um, I, I, he was having, uh, he used to have issues out of his, but his wife had emailed the company and they had like to reset the whole box. And I think they actually sent them a new one too. And yeah, I, I've never had any problems out of mine. I mean, don't bet with you that type of issue that it is, man. Yeah, I, I, I've never, I've never had you know some of the issues that people talk about. I've luckily, I just, I don't use it enough now, but uh, I've never had the charging issues or, or I did, I did have the charging issue, but it was also fucking cold as fuck. The yeah. only thing I can think of is they've tried to put so much into that yellow box mini because they pretty much say it's a yellow box pro just shoved in the mini. They've put so much into it, it's too much. See, I like using that because I don't need no Wi-Fi connection. Like I can just mm-hmm. hook my stuff up and get the rolling because that in mm-hmm. else, dude. Um I I that, that, that was like my fourth time using it. Fourth, fourth week, fourth weekend using it, and man, it, it works good, dude. I, I can tell y'all one thing: I had zero percent drop going just using the yellow off of my uh, T-Mobile box down there. I was like, "Holy shit, that's that's amazing!" Yeah, dude, mm-hmm. I like it. I, that, that, what was that I thing like called it. that you said you had last night that you put the the Sony batteries in? The CMO. Uh, CMO. AC eight, yeah, they they it's just the same thing that we have the wireless mm-hmm. uh HDMI deals, right? Yeah, I got same one around over yeah. here somewhere. And you, like just, a- and you just and you just and you go through the Sling Studio with that, right, or whatever. Uh, Switcher Studio, Switcher Studio, Switcher Studio. I think yeah. it can work with Streamyard too. Oh, can it? Uh, I don't know. Oh, uh, so I was just YouTube and some stuff, man, and. Uh, Cause I had the Switcher Studio app. I think I paid like forty or fifty dollars for it. Uh, and it showed me that little that little device that adds some schema you can get. And I was like, oh shit, one hundred fifty dollars. Appreciate it, more far. Let me try it. Hold up, let's see. I got a box of shit everywhere, dude. Hey, what? Libby, how many channels you got? You got more, than one channel, don't you? I just got two. Okay. Well, two YouTube's. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, uh, two Instagrams. Oh, shit, two. right. So what you on your other on uh, YouTube? Actions? Yeah, reactions. CMO, is that what it's called? Yeah. Dude, I mean, it's cool as shit. It's nifty. And you can use that with the cell phone through uh, StreamYard? Or has it got to be an iPhone? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it through StreamYard tomorrow. I mean, that's does literally it be an it iPhone? Yeah. yeah, but does it got to yeah. be an iPhone? Yeah. I think oh. I think it's like an iOS device for iOS yeah. devices. So, yeah. Well, the, well, see, you can do the same thing with just a video card through an Android with OBS on Android. 
shit. I got hell. I got a video card back there for that's set up just for that shit. Dude, I got so much shit. Like, if I actually compiled and seen what I actually have, I'd probably be like, "Why have I bought this shit two, three times?" I'm, well, I'm the same I, fucking way, dude. <laughs> see, I bought it as soon as Simo off you, cause man, I don't have no luck. That thing probably. I'm wow. gonna see. I'm gonna plug it up tomorrow, cause like I've got nothing to do in the next couple of days since we're just running local, and I'm gonna see if it works through uh, Streamyard, and if it does, I might attempt it and see what happens, cause I've got a bunch of Sony camera batteries. Yeah, it's legit, dude. Yeah, I've got a bunch of Sony batteries too, so that's why I was wondering, but. You know, and dude, you gotta have a fucking iPhone. Then. What was it? They're like 180 bucks for these. I think it was like 150, 160. Huh? Amazon. Yeah, mm, that's why I got mine. And see, what was it? I was looking. I can run Switcher Stu my uh my my Adam uh, Mini Switcher into this thing too, and I can run my live feeds off of my cell phones or an iPad. Yeah. Demons, yeah, I've got the same thing that uh, the tickle fits got. I've got the uh, live view solo. I just, I didn't have, I didn't have good luck with it. So he showed me the new setup. He's got the four, the four modem set up this weekend. That's yeah. that's pretty neat. What's yeah. the four modem? What's that? It just pretty much looks like what he had, but it's double the size. It's just got four modems in it. So instead of him, like you know how we're working off, like I was working off of T-Mobile this weekend. Uh, it's fucking Dalton, his yeah. shit's going uh, like two. He's got two different T-Mobile servers. He's got an AT and T server. He's got a Verizon server, and it just constantly, if one starts going down, it goes to the better one. So he's never really losing signal. Uh, okay. Yeah. Which can't you do that on that Netgear box you got, Lampy? Pretty much just where it holds the the car, the multiple cards. Yeah, I want the. Well, it's I got not multiple. It's not multiple, but it's just one. Oh, okay. But I usually do if I if I got uh, is I'll put one inside the Yolo box, and then I'll use. Then you can do the the bonding or whatever. See, I, 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 I like the fact that with that CMO, I can just hook it up to my camera and I can actually like zoom in through my camera while I'm live because it'd be a lot of uh no time people that be screen start screen recording my stuff and I don't be having my logo on, on nothing, you know. Mm -hmm. so that's one reason why I got it. But then another reason it just makes my live feed look more clear. I feel like mm -hmm. I be cheating people when I just go live off my phone and people I've never called myself a live streamer. The people said that, like, I pull up to a race, go live, go live, go live. Then they'd be like, who live right now forever good? So I'm like, you know, I feel like I'm cheating people just by giving them cell phone content. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's the one thing that kind of sucks is, like, with the cell phone. Like, I, I'm the same way. I've always been, if I'm going to do it, I don't want it to look like you see the cars and then they're turned into ants by 60 foot and you don't see yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, that's how I am, man. And I'm like, I'm like, damn, I'm, I've been cheating people. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's people back home that rely on me to, you know what I'm saying? So I want to mm -hmm. give good content, man. You know, even though I'm still editing at the same time, like I'm posting the videos. But nowadays, bro, we live in this microwavable society. People want it like this. Yeah. They want it quick, man. So. You know, and that's but, and that's something I've noticed like for our live feeds, like they've been doing good. Like Friday's mom was doing good till till I had that issue and I had to take it down. Dude, I left that thing on charge all Friday night. Just like as soon as we got to the hotel, plug that thing, charge it in. Let's get it charged up. Took no battery charge. So I was like, dude, the battery. But even when I first got it, I tried just to run on battery. I didn't plug it to a charger when I was filming at Shady Side with it and doing the live down there. And I watched the battery life was dropping really, really quick. So I was like. Something don't seem right. Yeah, man. I don't know. You would have told me, dog, because I had a, I had a, a brand new one that I only used like twice. I would have. Oh, damn, Limpy. <laughs> damn. Yeah, I must. Uh, I'm gonna say that's false, dime breed, because I know people that's got a hundred thousand subs that barely get any monetization, ain't make any money, and then that's, that's false right there, man. I do this for a living, and I don't have a hundred thousand subs. Yeah, yeah. It's it's certain ways you can go about. It. It's, it's a lot of we're stuff. still curing it. We're still curing it, but I'm sampling it. I'm still sampling it, but we're curing it still. Damn, I'm gonna try the other ones. One. I swear. The you. other ones. Uh, like about ready. I'm I'm starting to flush the other ones now. So. It's, 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 I know that slang. If it don't if it don't work for me, 
I'll uh, uh, if you come to Shay's side, I'll bring it with me and shit. I, I'll, I'll get you. You can have a backup. I'll sell it. Yeah, yeah, I, I shall get it off you, man. Cause I was go buy a new one, but I was like, let me just hold off. You know what I'm saying? Let me hold off and let me. Oh, does it have a replay on it too? Mm-mm. So. Oh, okay. I don't think so. I know, I know, I know. Uh, ours had the replay on it, and man, I've always liked that replay function. So, so you can. So that, that's what I was using. So, you can just go back to your camera and play the recent, the, like any video, and it'll pop up on your stream. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I just tell people, yeah, I got the re- replay feature, y'all. Look what happened. You know, say somebody did a big yes. wheel, and I'd be like, oh, we. we <laughs> See, I tried doing that shit uh, at. No, no, uh, Logan. Off the this is my menu. second batch I'm fixing. And when I hit media on the side to pull up the media folder so I could select it and show them the replay of the what you call the big wheel stand that uh the four eye car did. Uh yeah. dude, it froze my whole shit up and I was like, Oh no, 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 come on. Hey, that that Aston Simo is it's legit about doing that stuff, man. It's it's legit, Limp. You gotta try it. Like, well, you, you ain't got an iPhone, but like cool, if you got an iPhone, bro, it's legit. It yeah, is- I'm gonna I'm gonna mess with it tomorrow because I'm, I'm gonna start getting some of my gear out and cleaned up and all that, and I'm gonna strap it on there and see what happens. Because if it works good, I mean, shit, we'll see yeah. what happens. And uh, and the thing about it, you only gotta pay that one time fee of 150, 60, how much it costs, and you just pay for. It. I'm on a budget though. I'm I ain't the richest man in the world, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I pay that fifty dollars a month for that uh, uh studio. Mm-hmm. It's it works like gravy, dog. It's, it's it. I do. What is it? How much is it on here? Fifty dollars a month for the high def. Yeah. Oh, for this, yeah, it's forty six, forty six dollars a month. Yeah, is what uh, is what I pay for the the main the biggest package of this. Yeah, we're gonna be doing a drone cam at Shady Side. Uh, just hadn't figured out the whole everything on it. We're gonna have a good little setup for that. So, so with the drone cam, can't you just type in uh, the stream key? So you, so on the drone, I bought the Pro controller. Mm-hmm. So with mine, I literally run an HDMI cord out of my controller into my live stream, into my Yolo box, mm-hmm. or my Switch. That's how I did it. That's how I was gonna do it. And while the drone is in the air, it'll still go live. Yeah, it's yeah. live. Oh, you just gotta hey, learn to take the uh, settings him. and stuff off the display. Show him the cash days uh, drone footage. Uh, <laughs> Corey. I might have to let Limpy pull that up because I'm scared to touch anything. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I probably could. Yeah, if you can pull it up. I mean, I, I forgot to take the settings stuff off because I didn't know how to at that point. Man, yeah, I gotta figure out how to do that because I want that drum I want in 4K. Man, I love to have that just over the starting line, dude. It's it's gonna be a game changer, like doing some shit. Like everybody keeps saying, we see flow upgrading this, this, and it's like I want to be on that level, even though my budget isn't their budget. I'm still trying to find certain ways to get to that level. But don't you have like sponsorships? Like I ain't got no. I got a couple. I got I got a couple uh, season sponsors. They help out, and I have some that come on for the bigger races. Yeah. Can they get merch from you somewhere? Uh, yeah, um, we got some on the website. Uh, Fablegrudge dot com. You got them four XLs yet? Uh, nah, but I'm. <laughs> it's it, I'm I'm working with it. <laughs> I'm working. Hey, with it. hey, what I tell you? Four XLs and two XL hats. And, and you said somebody said, man, you need some for the big people. They don't, they they go be your biggest um marketers. They, Oh, yeah, we're a fucking big board. We're, we are walking billboards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what somebody said. <laughs> yeah, I got some on the website right now, man. Not voices, but like, uh, I think I, I got mean, a hoodies on there. I know I got hats on there. Like, I, I got mean, a whole- th- think about like this. Think about how small that Forever Grudge is on like a Schmedium shirt, and then think yeah. about how big that Forever Grudge looks on that <laughs> 4X shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Kristen found the drone footage and all. See, I screwed up. I still had all that shit on it, but oh. I know how to take all that off of it now. Damn, I you, changed the coloring on it too. Your exposure high. It's just, uh, yeah, it changed the ISOs on that, huh? Damn, gonna have to. Holy shit! 
Or it's because I was flying it. I bet where I was flying it in picture mode. Damn, that's uh, awful bright. It did not look that bright on my screen at all. And that's live right now? That was live no. at Cash Days of Kentucky. But like, see, I was flying around there. Though, they don't, you, you got to recharge. They don't stay charged for long. Yeah, dude, I've got a DJI Mavic Pro 2, yeah. and uh, it would only stay. It's got a 30-minute battery on it. See, see, see that would be good for, like, just. You got the fly more kit or no? Yeah, fly more kit. Oh, third round shootout, you know, what I'm just for shootout, it wouldn't be good. Well, yeah, I guess it'd be good for grudge races too. And well, it's good for your money rounds, is what I call it. Like, I would take that and put it at the finish line and like 90 degree the camera to where it's looking dead over the finish line. So when they come across, you see the definite winner. Yeah, damn, now I'm looking now on my own. I'm about to pull it up on my own. I don't know if that's just where it's on there, if it's. Or I really did screw it up. And here's a great shot of of uh, Corey putting us directly in the sunlight and causing me to completely <laughs> turn my face off. <laughs> I am sorry that the, the 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 modem is on that side of the earth. Look, I'll, look, I'll, Chris I'll, is like, oh my god, I'm fucking blind here. I'm trying to hide behind this monitor. <laughs> look at my face. Look how red it is. <laughs> what was the like time red frame on that? Uh, that was two fifty. Bro, man, y'all got me really inspired to go get a drone tomorrow, bro. Oh, dude. God uh, dang, I wish I had your money. Shit. Damn. Okay. I got something called uh, uh, credit card. <laughs> oh, fuck that. I ain't got one of them. Fuck. So it's got to be something. I can't afford it. I don't need it. That's got to be something with you doing it on your your screen or something because I've got it pulled up and, dude, it ain't nowhere near as bad on mine. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's that must be what it is. Yeah. What do you got your setting, your monitor setting on? You had me freaking out over here, Chris. Like, what did I do wrong? Oh. Hey. <laughs> um, I was waiting for you to land it in the grass. Oh, you shut it off. That's all right. Uh, oh, there it is. And into the grass we go. Man, you got a dope setup, bro. That's a... That's a... You, can, you can thank that man that's above you right now. Because I asked him a million questions on this live feed stuff. You above me. No, I'm... Uh, Slimpy was there for a second. Now oh. to your uh, to your left. He's to my right. I got you. Yeah. One of them ways. Your other right. <laughs> <laughs> but nah. Uh, if you're gonna get one like DJI, the new minis actually have a pro controller with them, and it's only like what thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars for them with the fly more. Oh, kit. Cheaper than that, I think now. Yeah, and it's, it's got the great. controller that has the HDMI output and everything. You can do uh, get the pro if you want to go ahead and get the pro. Uh, Lamont, and it'll do it. It'll also do portrait mode, so you can do your reels and shit. I, and... Yeah, I seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was researching. Oh. And if you like, the new ones have like sixty minute batteries. The small yeah. ones, what? and if you don't want to go live through your phone, you can actually go live through the controller on its own to Facebook and YouTube. Yeah, and uh, it's got a microphone built into the controller, so you can talk to them and everything while you're flying it. Boy, man, I need that information. Cash out tomorrow. Well, well, I ain't gonna say tomorrow. If radio roundup don't happen, I think I get paid. When we get paid, oh, radio roundups canceled. Are they already announced it? Yeah, it's canceled. I've been editing. Hey, so hey, yeah, cool. If we get paid on the 20th, 20th, 21st. Man, I'm finna go get that like as soon as I get paid, dude. Really? Wait a minute. Yeah. What? Wait a minute, the 20th is on what? Oh, it's on a Saturday, so we won't get paid until Monday, the 22nd. Uh, Facebook is just, YouTube is like a, it's like I forget their business too. Like, and like you can just get paid like on a weekend. Yeah, so damn. But Monday, man, shoot. But no, that's, uh, dude, I've been, because I was actually going to sell the one I've got now for one of the small ones just because it's got the longer battery on it. Yeah, I need something like a long, long battery because i man i want the mini that i had i think it was only charged for like 20 the original minutes. Minis, yeah they're 20 30 minute batteries hey they suck you ever seen limpy fly drone before oh uh, man i want to see it i ain't never seen no it <laughs> i've seen him fly drone one time and he crashed into a canopy well i didn't i didn't get it uh calibrated i forgot to calibrate it <laughs> oh yeah Cause you know, once you get a drone and you're in a new area, you got to calibrate it. And I forgot to fuck calibrate it. I tell you, you you need to fly out and hang out with us at least and do some filming. Is that uh, come out to to the Christmas digger die? 
You talk about the end of the year? Yeah, December event. See, see I think it, it's always a race. It's cold as fuck. Don't do it, dude. I, 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 I want to come, but, man, I just... I be budgeting my money right now. So I ain't even been traveling like that this year, bro. I've been invested in merch and other stuff, man. So that's what I gotta get on to my merch game, bro. I, I can hook you up, hook you up, dude. Um, I can see you. No, nah, dragon. No, it's, it's um. You can. I couldn't get them don't things get to work. No printer. Get something called a therm a thermal printer. It's like <laughs> maybe like ninety dollars. Mm-hmm. Hold on, matter of fact. Hold up. Yeah, I can hook you up, bro. I got, I like, I got, now, uh, my boy, Big Hat Mafia, Barrett Green, did get me straight this weekend. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. I didn't even know he did that. So, yeah. So, for him. he's got some other hats that's got the mesh back that's kind of breathable. He's going to work on some of those for me. And I said, hell yeah, dude, because I'm want i going to wear one of those. And I'm going to see which one's best. I'm going to start getting some ordered. Mm-hmm. I have those, Corey. Work pre, and he's got. So he got, he had two and two XL in the mesh, and one was a flat bill, and one was a curved bill. Just like it's about a thermal a thermal printer. Okay, yeah, just and for your shipping labels. Shipping labels, get that, and then that's only I don't know why they a hundred dollars. I think mine was like eighty nine. Then get the shipping labels. The shipping labels ain't nothing. You can get 500 shipping labels for $15. Dude, Bucky's whooped my ass, John Monroe. <laughs> nah, we're going to get something go- rolling. And uh, see, see, I'm not. I Sometimes when I'm at a big event, I usually have my buddy helping me. But if I'm by myself, I just have my little wagon going with t shirts. I just get to selling, man. Go around, get that earth. And just go around the pits, interview people. After I get done interviewing them, hey man, we got shirts over here for sale. If y'all want to get one, you know, and just <laughs> I don't know, it's all type of. Seth, so I've got, dude, I've got the canopy downstairs. Everything, just tables, tablecloth, all that shit to look good. It's just having that extra people is what I need. Man, yeah, yeah. it sucks when you're a one man show. Hey, Corey, like that's what I be telling people. Like, my I'm already a two man show, but if I had somebody else consistently, mm. oh, like that's oh. like even if we did just a one angle like that, I want again like we did this weekend. I'd like that. Like, if Chris was there too, like I'm gonna set up one of my other cameras and have that just that because I like to get a little bit at least creative and try to get some lower angles, do some different zooms and shit when I'm doing coverage and where I was trying to feed the coverage. I was using the coverage cam to also be my live feed cam. I was like, man, these people are going to get on. They're going to hate me if I'm constantly zooming in, doing stupid shit, trying to see how something looks and record it to have a little extra. I was, I used to watch your, uh, your lights out coverage. Like I think it was lights out. I forgot which one it was. It was when Steve was there. Yeah. You used to be real low. You're real low with the cars. I used to like that angle. I used to like that angle. Dude, I'm getting ready to incorporate because a lot of people got mad and they would say, "Oh, we ain't watching the videos no more. You're you got too much just BS. We just want to see the, the the race and all this." And like, I cut down, but I don't give a damn though. I kind of want to get back to what it was like. I cut down and made it really simple, but I kind of want to get back to how it was. I like that. That's how I was. Um, uh, when when I first moved here, I didn't have time to like. Do a lot of the editing. It used to be real basic. So I'm like, man, let me spice it up a little bit because I noticed like when you get people and you spice it up, it'll be talked about on the internet. Like it'll mm-hmm. be talked about on the different groups and everything. Like, damn, so you said this on Forever Grudge page, what you want to lock in? You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm like, that's why I'm starting to get like people now, a lot of people now. And it's fun too. Like, yeah. oh, so I got hey, something. You're getting your own little cult. You're getting your own little cult there. Yeah. I got something called like fan prediction. I can actually have it pulled up on my um on the SEMO now. Where I say I, it'll be like fan prediction, and I ask who everybody ask everybody who they like, and um sometimes I be catching people in lies that say they like the right side, and then when the left side come on, they end up getting money. You know what I'm saying? So speaking of, it. all right, all right, Mike. Yes, sir. So Lamont cannot understand how you stepped on a loaded condom. Oh, you heard the story? They they told 
earlier. I went out. I, I told him that you know, and, and then you stepped on it, and then you were asleep, and you woke up, and it was on the end of your big toe, and you tra- trying to flick it off, <laughs> so it was flopping back and forth. The is story has definitely, true? definitely gotten out of hand, it, and it's evolved. It's evolved, <laughs> definitely evolved. And then you kept no. trying to flop it back and forth, and then it kind of did the reverse, and it flopped right all over you, and it painted your face, and you gave you a pearl necklace <laughs> and everything. Wow. That and po- has definitely and, and, evolved quite a bit from where it started. And oh, uh, what's him call it? Oh, uh, Maxwell just shook his head. Yeah, always. He's always disappointed. Oh, Lamont, you ever seen the video of uh when Mac when he got mad at Maxwell? Oh my God, I'm just getting bombarded. Maybe I should head back <laughs> out. Well, on. good seeing you guys. It's been a good. I don't know how far back that, I don't know how far back that is. Oh, I got good look. You good? You good? I got this. Oh my god! I keep a hard copy on my phone. He's got a little dog that he's got his buddy, his best buddy that goes everywhere with him. Mm-hmm. And his name is Maxwell, little Frenchie. He's my buddy. Yes, Dalton. I finally shaved, so Corey can stop calling me the wish version of fucking hey, hey, Murder hey. Nova. Hey, I feel you, man. Me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, it got hot out in Texas, man. I was kind of glad I had short hair and, and sure. just this little bit. <laughs> Be warm. Hell, if you ask me. Oh God! Here we go. Yeah, ready? ready? Oh, hold on one second. Can you uh, shut the fuck up? Fuck <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> what are you doing over there, bud? Let's let's, let's just cover Christ. the mic. And... Can you uh, shut the fuck up? <laughs> Can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> oh my hey, God! The mic love you couldn't hear him. Mm. Hey, hey, just just tip if you ever get a headset doing this does not mute the mic. <laughs> hey, have you ever heard or, or 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 taking the mic up and put it up to all yeah, the make way sure you always do this. Yeah, make sure a when you take a piss because <laughs> they had cracking on here one weekend and he was talking about the giveaway and this and that and the other and fucking Corey was fucking pissing and you just hear the fucking just the fucking just loud ass fucking piss. <laughs> And I'm like, some water me and Trevor, I'm thing. like, I'm like this. I'm like, is he fucking pissing? And fucking Trevor's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> and just fucking Steve just, just kept on going. How often, how, Corey, I forgot to ask you. We need to know, the, the fans want to know, uh, how did you know that you were, you could be heard? When you hear me, somebody say, is he fucking pissing? All right, so what, it, what? Like the bathroom that I go to when I'm on the show is literally right above where I'm at. So I've still got connection. I can hear yeah. everything everybody's saying. I was so deep into listening to what he was saying, it just never dawned on me to go. He's fucking just sitting there, fucking just straight fucking. It's not like it's fucking turned on the water faucet. <laughs> Hey, y'all, I'm about to get up out of here. All right, buddy. Appreciate you I coming appreciate on. Y'all for the invite. Hold, hold, hold on. Hold, right, on. Hold, hold on. You got any sponsors or anybody you want to give a shout out to? Uh, all my supporters out there, I ain't really got no legit sponsors. Uh, Kenny Hubbard, he always take care of me. Oh, shit. Uh, Mark, Mark McClaskey, uh, Tempo Racing. My godfather, I'm pretty sure he go watch this. He's he going to call me in a few minutes. I'm pretty sure he is. And, yeah, they're my sponsors. Everybody in Mississippi that hate me and love me, I know y'all still hate me and love me, and Texas, all my Texas people, Foes Olympic. All but, right. Um, Everybody in the comments, before he goes, either throw the, four, throw the foes up throw the foes or up. or type in we outside. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, Dying Bree, appreciate you, brother. Hey, hey, Corey and Limp, man, I appreciate y'all for having me on here, man. I appreciate this one. Hey, this ain't gonna be your only time on here. You'll be back on here. I'm gonna come back on here. I'm gonna, by by then, by by your, when your race start, I'm gonna have my podcast up and running, and I'm gonna, I'm we gonna talk about when I want. We're gonna have a reaction or something like that. We're gonna have some going on. Hopefully, he so, said he's saying about the next time he come on here, you gonna be the double foes. Oh yeah. <laughs> Somebody said fo fo fo. 
Po, po, po. <laughs> but I be telling everybody to throw the foes up. I don't even know if that's game related. I hope nobody don't do that. <laughs> Someone's going to get shot. You're going to tell me that one time at Yellow Belly, and I'm going to hear pow, pow. God dang, that's Lamar, what you getting me man. into? Fucking east side. What the fuck, you east side? What's up? <laughs> oh, I'm west side. What? <laughs> nah, man, I appreciate y'all, man. I'm going to go back in here. Uh, hey, it's been a smooth podcast too. I ain't gonna lie. Like we just we just kick it. We just kick it. Well, like I thought I was gonna get on here and just be in my little shell. You know what I'm saying? But no, nah, it's ran good, man. Shout out to y'all, man. The table. Shout out to all y'all, man. Y'all doing y'all thing. The man. Mm. Appreciate you coming on, buddy, and uh, be safe out there. And we'll see you soon. All right, man. How you how you get? Hey, the- hey, hey, hey! Get that email sent. I got to do that. Let me get on that, like, ASAP. Let me get on that. Yeah, hey, if go. I don't get it sent, if, I, if, it's, if it's booked up, I'm still I'm going to try to come anyways. I don't care. I'll pay, pay the money. Just let me do what I want. Uh, I just do that. No, you want the email because you, you didn't see what the media got today in the first round of invites, uh, first round of media that went out? Nah, what they get? A golden ticket. Like a big golden ticket? Yeah, you get a golden ticket with Forever Grudge on it, and that's your official media invite. Uh, let me get that down, you know, right? Now. <laughs> oh, but no, nah, look, look, look. Check this out, y'all. No, nah, look, look, look. I collect. How do you turn this camera around? Hold up, hold up. I don't think you can when you're on here. You can't. Look at all these. I got collected. I got the media badges collected. I, I oh. collect. I got a ton of those, dude. This is my, I think this is my favorite one. Yeah. I'm me. I'm from Shady Side. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so, Not yeah. see Alex posted his up today. See, you get official media, the golden ticket. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me see that. Let me see. Let me get that. Me... All right, how you get out of here? Bye. Right, see you, buddy. <laughs> Night. <laughs> Hold up. There you go. Okay. I was fixing to put him on, bro. Dude, where the yeah, fuck is the puppy? He is in bed. He's in bed. His yeah, vagina he, hurts from uh, he, being being having uh, fecal matter in it all weekend. Oh. No, that man literally came on my live feed. Not, he might have been a little drunk when he posted, but he said he should. A little weekend. Little. If he's, he's drinking still on much, vacation. No, nah, he flew back home today. They picked him nah, up he, today. He oh, he's, bed. he's just a, <laughs> he's just a rough day. Mm-hmm. Dude, he posted on my live feed that he had had twenty margaritas. And he was asking for water, but they kept giving him shots of tequila. Oh, yeah. Hey, you did you did miss YouTube on the the great YouTube shutdown of? Oh uh, yeah, we had to fucking Steve. we had a fucking debacle earlier. Trevor was talking about NASA and shit. And, <laughs> oh, and we got fuck. fucking shut the fuck down. <laughs> yeah, my, our talking? viewers our viewers went down to like like sixteen what? or something like that. Between everybody, between everybody. Oh, Trevor. Poor Trevor. Like, see, and the thing they messed up because they thought they were talking about, uh, like, he, I guess they thought he was talking about, like, the American NASA, but he meant the Canadian NASA, which is like yeah. a moose in a bottle rocket. Oh, yeah. that NASA. I yeah, got that kind of, they got dick. <laughs> yeah. Chris got a new I, microphone, too. Yeah. I see that. He looks very official. Hey, and I met some of your people this weekend too. My people? Yeah. Who's that? I don't know if I don't know where they're from, but the oh, those guys from down, Alberta. Is that where that's from? I think they were from Alberta. Is that is that which side is that on? That's uh <laughs> west. Is that up by you or the other side? No, west side. Oh, oh so they're out like about yeah, Oregon, like California. Seattle. Yeah, yeah, oh, Oregon the, way. West side. Oh shit. West side. They fucking really drove a fucking long ways in. I remember <laughs> seeing some stuff on Facebook. Yeah, someone from Alberta. Thursday we too. were. I was high as fuck, and they were fucking rolling in with a trailer behind them, driving that motherfucker in. I'm like, holy fuck. Oh yeah. And they popped a belt or something. I didn't know that was a banger car. Yeah, Canadians are fucking odd people. We do that's, a lot of weird shit. Dude, he runs that thing on sick week, drag week. And that's what I was saying. He came up to us and we literally we brought uh his transmission back. And it's at tick performance now, getting redone. So that man rides around with two two fifty two T fifty sixes that are built ready for battle. <laughs> ready to drop in at any time. Dude, they were cool oh, ass yeah. people for a little bit. I got to talk to them. 
I forgot. Chris got a new deal off his mic. Weed. It smells like it smells weed. Like, oh, that's fine. Who'd you buy it from? Uh, Some fucking random a marketplace. Oh shit! That mic's been through things. Just you know just, what? It was cheap. That's all. I, did that's you? I and he's already put his mouth all over it too. He probably didn't even wash it. Just see that oh, picture look. This weekend. Is that look? That's Index Jeff. The Index Jeff. The Index <laughs> Jeff. Oh shit. <laughs> Who made did that he meme? Invite, that did, was did good. He get, did he get an invite yet so I could change his name when he gets on here? I sent him an invite like a few minutes ago. Jeff. Index. Yeah. Oh, he ain't going to make it two seconds on here for it. It's Index oh, Jeff. No. <laughs> Fucking Julie this weekend. Woo. She get Dude. lit. Oh. She set a record this weekend on White Claws. Dude, one no. Was, yeah. I never saw her with an empty one. She was no, killing she, it. She was fucking. I can't go hit for hit with her. No, no, that 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 girl. She's got some skills. She's like my old lady. They've got some skills that I don't want to possess. So what happened this weekend at the gut? The tree fucked up multiple times. Tree I just kept up. seeing posts about that. Yeah. Uh, well, what it is, you know, it gets so crowded and shit, and people stand in the beams and it don't give a time to oh, reset. Yeah, it fucks and, it up. But you know, they, until they fix that. Then you know it is what it is. Oh boy! Holy, look at this guy! Oh, this type of crotch coming to you live. Look at Jeff. Get out of here! Upper yellow belly. Where we at? We're at yellow belly here. This is your first time here, right? Yep. Doesn't fail. That is a nice head of hair right right there. With the guy, they say that that he, he. he doesn't fail. He's got everything I'm telling you, out. I'm going to win an Emmy for this. For the He's a Jimmy Deller. Of this. And I'll show you exactly uh, where I'm going to win. He took a job from a guy that is loved in this community. <laughs> <laughs> I was high as fuck. Love, love, love. love, love. Watch this. Watch this. Uh, he, uh, the emotion he in that job. video. So we're going to get his take on this. What do you think about this tonight? And then I got everybody's looking at you like, well, who the fuck video? is this? Guy? Who's this guy talking to? This guy, he won't say nothing. He's gonna talk shit. He's gonna talk shit. And cut, cut, and cut. cut. Yeah. That's funny. So, did you end up flagging anything, or it was all tree? It was all tree. Oh fuck. It's mine only five bucks too. So I'm gonna get it from the next time. <laughs> we need we need the South Park episode. Mm-hmm. Oh no, no, he's got it. He's got the meme. You, you still oh, got I? it on your phone? I sent it to you the other day. On my phone? Yeah. So, well, I sent it to you while we were actually, actually at the track. Did you text message or uh, hold up, I'll I'll just text. resend it to you. It was through text. Or did you do Facebook message? No, it's text. Oh, text message? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll have up. to fucking I'll send it to my no, I got you. I got you. My email. I'll have to send it to my email. When I sent it to you, when I sent it to you, you were high. Oh, that <laughs> fucking <laughs> that... that could have been 8 a.m. this morning. Oh. Dude, I'm telling no, I you. I wasn't 8 a.m. this morning. That's for fucking sure. <laughs> I'm I'm telling you, if you oh. would have been at the gut about 60 foot out, there was a fog and it just stayed there, and that's where Limpy was sitting. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, Ed, Ed showed up from Colorado, and you know, I was like, I did have a happy moment. You know, I did, I was going to show him that uh, my, my mama didn't raise no bitch. So, I'm I'm like I'm we're we're waiting on Chuck to get there because Chuck's gonna be there that Thursday night. So we only brought like twelve pre rolls, twelve uh, one gram cones. So that'll hold us off until Chuck gets there. Well, Chuck broke down. Luckily uh-huh. the luckily the the good the good fans of Yellow Belly had had us covered. Uh, <laughs> so the next night uh, we made sure that we had plenty, and there was. I think from I don't know what time we started until we got finished. Uh I was high the entire time. 
And Jasper well, would have been he... proud of me. Jasper would have been proud of me. I was like, <laughs> well, I guess you didn't have to work. So, yeah. Well, they were like, well, and, I was, and every time that that flag or the, the tree messed up, I walked. I yeah. did. I got up and did the slow stroll. <laughs> oh shit! Did the way everybody. You guys are gonna miss me. Yeah. Yeah. Man, but yeah, I was live, and then they got they got to the point where. I was like, man, I ain't, I'm tired of fighting all these people to get the same shot that, you know, 40 other mofos are getting, you know, so yeah. I just turned it off. That, Sit back and watch. That was literally the most packed amount of people I've ever seen crammed in 60 to 100. Yeah, it looked busy. I think I still got the picture. I'll see him. What are you, in the shitter right now? Oh, no, now you're back. back here. Uh, make sure he has that fucking <laughs> mic was up, and sweating, and <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, it was me, Jasper, and Jagan. Uh, I mean, Jasper, uh, Ed. Uh, it was me, Ed, and and uh, uh, Dragon uh, smoking out, and I oh, dang, we just kept, it just kept going. Oh boy, <laughs> that's a finger washer. <laughs> but i mean i i've never seen so many people like in was that. it a good event though like was it oh racing was great yeah I, I caught it on and off but it's hard to stay stay with it the whole time that 15 and a half hour drive though whew. oh yeah those kill you that's we what could, i was we saying just i always get a hotel for the night after past. because i can't leave we're just happy uh, Corey made it south of Shadyside, finally. He left his bubble? Yeah, he got, he got out hey, of the cover know, zone. Hey, you realize Rocking Camp's further south than Shadyside? Oh, it is? Yeah. All right, well, he made it further south than, than Rocking hey, Camp. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You do realize I went to Brainerd with you earlier this year, and that's further south than Shadyside. All right, well, he went further south. He didn't go – he went – Southwest, the furthest southwest he's ever been in his life. Yeah, yeah you're good. Now there. we now we, now we got to get him down to Florida. Yeah, dude. After he's after that, that drive, trip. I was like, you know, the Florida drive probably ain't gonna be too bad. It's straight south. Let me see. Yeah. What was it? A Malaki or whatever it is? I can't ever pronounce <laughs> a it. Mockily? Bless you. Just put in. Just put in Fort Myers. Close enough. Bless. Bless you. <laughs> what else happened trevor came oh on dude it's a shorter drive it's a shorter drive than texas 13 yeah, hours and 30 minutes uh, that's what i'm saying now, florida drives a long ways from texas though yes that it is as well which is weird to me that'll never make sense to me on the well, map you gotta go all the far. way you gotta go all the way down and then you gotta go you got oh i mean all the way across and then you gotta go straight down yeah Mike, There's no straight have you, shot. Have you ever drove through Arkansas? Yes. Boring as fuck. There you go. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Arkansas or Louisiana? What do you prefer? The roads? Uh, ooh, that's a tough one. Because Louisiana has some bad roads, too. Very bu continuous bumps. So you're just like... I think they laid it in sections. For they the record, have. people, for the record, people, I didn't sleep the whole way down on either the going down. I was dead on the way back, and that was four sleep. Oh, trust me. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Dalton, I'm taking the wrap off the S10 once the S10 gets fucking a motor put back. This has been a nightmare. It doesn't look Oh, like yeah, I was going to ask, how's it, how's it going? Oh. <sighs> Every day I get a message from the engine builder with more pictures saying, well, you're going to need uh, some of these and we're going to need some of these. And he could just message and said, just, just start fresh. Yeah, that's what it's. We're getting there. We're almost there. So I don't know. It's going to take a while. And now the heads, I have a problem with the heads. So I'm dealing with the manufacturer on that to see if anything can be done. And the truck's still in Florida. All my shit's in Florida and I'm in Canada. So. I. It doesn't look like I'm going to be making it to Happy's race. I'm hoping. I don't know. I'm hoping to get it done as soon as I possibly can. I got bad FOMO now. Every time I watch 
Facebook on the weekends that kills me. You're making it the happiest race. It just might be a different car, and uh, you might be – it's your side back car. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's the king of Ohio right now. Who? Uh, what's going call it? Oh, Wajdi? Wajdi. Wajdi is the king of Columbus. Yeah. Uh, Canadian at that. I know, right? Uh, That's how did Billy and them, them do? I, I don't know how, the, how they do. Billy didn't do well, but Tommy, well, Tommy was in the final, and then something happened with that, too. I still have. What happened with his car? Does anyone actually know? Someone said injector. Someone said fuel system. Something happened. So, so Billy bumped through the beams in small tire. Oh, he did the yeah, more. I saw that. Uh, no, it just, it for some reason, they were testing it before they went to the track, and it bumped fine. It just like it's like it's it's like it bumped twice. It's it was really weird. Oh shit! Um, and then he made it to C mate to the second chance race. He went two rounds, um, and uh, he had dead hole. So he had push rod issues. Me. Um, Tommy, they pretty much maxed the fuel system out in that car, and the injector percentage was like 114 percent duty cycle, oh, shit. which is that's not that good. New motor, yeah, yeah no, so that's not good. So they heard a valve, um, but they're going to reassess everything to make sure they didn't hurt anything else. Uh, it was not worth. It wasn't worth running it in the finals after they already did a sixty forty split. So poor Terry. <laughs> Terry. Well, thank you for the update because I was wondering what happened with that. But that yeah. sucks. See, having multiple race cards is even worse than having one. All I hear and, is money going out the window there. And then they broke a throttle cable in the in the uh, fifty five. <laughs> oh fuck. All right, so let's talk how a back half car won King of Columbus. In back half, my ass. It's got oh, frame boy. rail. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Don't even get me started on this shit. I then, like getting me started. It's fun. <laughs> and then the if this didn't work worse, so the Tabers, so the Tabers, okay. So Who's got the they, UFO? Won, they won first round. I don't know what is that. I keep it's hearing it's gotta be you. You're the only one with new equipment. Ooh. I don't know. Anyway, Limp, are you moving something around on a table there? Oh, that's a weird sound. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. I don't know either. Um, so the Tabers fucking um lost a rocker. They actually lost two rockers, <laughs> and they uh got two rockers from uh Gwen, and they ended up taking a fucking grinder and grinded them down to fit the fucking motor on that car and still somehow it didn't work but it kept it together to where he grew around seven cylinders and then sprayed the shit out of it for the rest of the rest of the race fuck see people get away with this shit and i'm super light with my shit and it all goes to fucking crap that's why Some bullshit that's literally why Damn, somebody what does have some Is that UFO? I hear it. I hear it. Sounds like a UFO. Oh, yep. Me... Uh-oh. The aliens It are ain't coming. me, because I can definitely hear it. Maybe I need to turn the game. Down. It's gone now. No, it, no, it actually was going on before you got on. Mike. Oh, okay. So it's not me. Is it back? Yo, Is it back? Yeah, it's you. Who was it, Chris? No, I think it's Limpy. When he spoke, it came back in. Hello? Check, check, check. Mike, check. Now you're really loud. Mike is super you are on your end. That's because Mike's back. using the... Uh... I heard it. <laughs> no, it was real. No, I, that wasn't me. I was just doing it right there. But no, I've been hearing, I've been hearing it all night. So it's got to be... I'm on the same headset as normal. In you're new, Chris. You got new head. You got new stuff, and Limpy. Is... My shit's all the same. Limpy's yeah, high. but I shouldn't be hearing it though. What? What? I shouldn't be hearing it on my end though. Who <laughs> gets the government? The courts are going down. Oh, <laughs> whoever's, 
Whoever in the comments said I gotta buy good stuff, I bought the best stuff that's on the market. I can't buy any better than what I had. I'm gonna tell you so, right now, y'all do not realize the power of the five three. It can go really, really fast, just stock. I know it's true. Mike, Mike, Mike had good shit in his truck. I, had, I don't know what's better than what I had, honestly. Like, but that's truth. Like, I've seen people abuse the shit out of their motors and never have an issue. But if you take it easy and then you try to run it a little hard, for some odd reason, boom, every time. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. I bought everything the best of the best because I didn't want to deal with this. I wanted to be able to race all the time. So, which I have been. How many passes you got on it, though? Quite a few. That's the thing. So, yeah. I guess it's one of those I got, things. I've got the fix for this. And it's like I was telling you for that Jeep. A pro charge coyote motor. No, fuck the coyotes. <laughs> it's just another fucking bullshit hype. It's this year's <laughs> hype. Then next year there'll be another motor that everyone's actually, all about. Actually, no, put a pro charge big block in it. There you go. That's what I was thinking about, honestly. There was a time I'm like, why not just put a big block and run it so much? You've got to run it like barely hard at all. We squeeze these LS shits to fucking max effort all the time. When a big block, you just sprinkle a little on top, and it fucking rolls. And and that's and Limpy loves filming big block pro charge cars. I like flagging <laughs> them too. Yeah, yeah. When they blow his beard off. Yeah. I did see Rod Mitchell this weekend. He got about at least twelve hats this weekend. Oh yeah, at box. least. Yeah, at least. Who that's got a new more, record? Who got more, Rod Mitchell or Snot Rocket or the white car? Uh, Ryan Mitchell, for sure. I was standing up there, and all I seen was hats flying over from the start line all the way over to the to the spectator side. That's what I'm saying. His zoomies have got to be very upswept because I know on the white car and bank robber, they're down. They're down. Yeah, low. they're looking down, and they're coming at your face, whereas the other ones are straight up. What's going on, Robert? What's up, Robert? And it still blows my mind. Ryan's car is still a conventional big block Chevy. It's the same motor that he's always had. Like this, That's what I'm saying, though. I think we've gotten to the point here that we need more power than these LSs make, and everyone's just squeezing them. I mean, okay, don't get me wrong. You can do the 5.3 deal and change the motors every you know half a season and shit like that. I see guys do it all the time. But that's kind of what I wanted to avoid. Because I don't have time to do this shit all the time. Work smarter, not harder. You can't uh, outrun uh, uh, cubic dollars. No, it's true. Yep. And I think now that we are starting to figure suspension stuff out a lot better, I think big blocks aren't a bad option anymore. They used to be because they were so heavy in the front. But Hell, that, our, our big block is... Uh, well, how much was it, did he say? Oh, shit. It's like... It's like 200 pounds lighter than our small block Chevy was. Damn. Well, how far Probably can you move the aluminum. how far can you move the firewall and all back on that Jeep? On the Jeep, quite a bit, because I can move the seat back. On the S10, I can't do shit because yeah. I'm already against the back glass. I'm gonna tell you, I'll be moving that firewall back if you, it's gonna be a strict small tire car. I'd move that thing back as much as you can, get as much moved. I want to make it a strict radio car, front side. Whoa! Did you say radio? Yeah, like like sticky shit to run quarter mile times. <laughs> I'm not building another small tire car. Fuck that! I have one already. That's just silliness. What? And if you are gonna... True street car. I thought you had a true street car. What? Read that. That's some bullshit. Oh uh, yeah. What does that mean? Dude, they somebody some like, they haven't got sucker physically? punched three times. Yeah. By some dude? Dude, I hope that guy got his ass beat. Yeah. I know how y'all roll in New York. That's bullshit. Who was it? Who yeah, was it? Texas, Devin? Texas, that motherfucker be laying in a ditch. <laughs> Ain't that true? Probably some fucking nut swinger. 
I mean, oh, what was it there it for? The, what was it there for the longest time? I always heard people in New York when they greeted themselves, they punched each other in the face. But <laughs> <laughs> dude, I swear, first time Digger died, that's somebody told me that. I think it was Tucci, and I was like, "What? Really? <laughs> nah, nah. Damn it. Yeah, we need names on that." <laughs> <man>. <laughs> That's some shit right there. Yeah. Uh, what's the world coming to these days? I mean, damn. <laughs> you figure most people want the clout. <laughs> yep. That's what everyone's chasing nowadays. I had some guy on Instagram who's constantly fucking harassing me just to get clout. Dev, Devin, right. send it, send it in a PM, and that if he shows up to an event, will it'll be taken care of. Show how we us Texas boy roll. Would we how we back our our boys from the from the north. Dalton, you can have the crankshaft out of my other motor, no problem. I'll send it to you. Just send me the shipping. Ooh. You can put it on your wall for fun because that's about all it's good for. <laughs> I'm just glad we're they left us alone. We're back up to our normal 200-ish viewers. We're still waiting. We're waiting on Index Jeff to come in. It must be a new Index. He's waiting on the 11:30 Index or something. The 11:30 Index. <laughs> yeah, it's late night. Oh, boy. <laughs> Jeff's always late night. Oh boy. He's probably still. He probably tried to get caught up from being gone this weekend. <laughs> oh, that's what he, I, he he said that. I heard him say, "He's like, gosh." I gotta get, dude. It, it's like I said. He couldn't. I was over there getting uh, a quesadilla, and he's over there changing tires and doing everything. And I just looked. and I was like, "You just can't help but do something." It's like you can't not. He's I'm the same fucking... way. I'm the same way. Oh, me too. I can't just sit and watch. I need to be involved in something. I don't I care did. what it is. I, I had to have a lot of medication to do that this weekend. <laughs> yeah, I'm I don't you. think I've ever gone to a race to just watch. I'm I'm telling yeah. you, I I can't make this up. I walked through the fog by Limpy to go film. <laughs> and got and I stopped for two seconds, and I was like, I need tacos. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm telling you, we weren't playing it, it was literally it was literally a circle going. It was like Ed, Limpy, uh, Mike. Yeah. And there's like four other people, and it just kept going in rotation. And you could see the smoke cloud kind of like start to swirl like a tornado, and then it just built up into a fog. <laughs> and then you walk through the fog, and now you're hungry. <laughs> hey, we're helping people out, man, one day at a time. There was no glaucoma in that uh, circle. I can tell no, you right definitely now. not. Mike could donate that motor to me, then write off the price on his taxes to put that towards a big block. We don't it's over. My name's not happy. I mean, to, and honestly, which which Hemi are you looking to put in? If you're doing a Hemi, when I was uh, me the other night, like if you did a Hemi on it, like an actual like, like a newer style Hemi, yeah, yeah, we're doing a Gen three four eleven stroker motor. Uh, for big boost, God, what's uh, the right Rob Goss? He runs the Gen 3 Hemi stuff in his, yeah. uh, oh, yeah, yeah, his X and uh, LDR stuff. Those Hemi heads just on the stock Hellcat platform mm -hmm. are fantastic. You do a set of those ported with a nice single turbo and a Gen 3 Hemi built for boost. <laughs> it's but this is my opinion because now I've had both. I still think the Gen 3 Hemi is better than the LS shit. Even the built LS shit. That's my opinion. Not many people use them because of the price point. Like Hemis are about 30% more to build than an LS. I understand why everyone does LSs. That's why I did it too because it's cheap. Cheaper. It's not cheap. Okay, let me get that. Correct that. It's cheaper. But... I still am a firm. I mean, I work on these Hemis. I see what they go through all the time. And those Gen 3 Hemis take fucking abuse. Like, they're, it's very rare you'll hurt a block. Like, they'll eat up pistons and shit, but the blocks are strong. They work well. It's a good platform. How many cubic inches can you get out of uh, one of those? 426 normally. 
you could maybe squeeze a little bigger than that, but you're getting questionable on the wall thickness. Shit, that'd be good for a pro charge setup. Yeah, a lot of guys run uh, 426 setups <laughs> with a whole bunch of shit. But like I said, not too many people are into it because of the price point. They are more expensive and not there's not as much, um, I guess, aftermarket assistance yet in the platform. Like you can get quite a bit of shit, but like companies like uh, MMX in Virginia, where we got that Jeep, they're always doing innovation, like uh, new products and shit. They built some badass uh, or they've gotten acquired some badass internal kits. Damn, I got fireworks going off. Yeah. <laughs> How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> I don't know. Somebody said Nutty Bar's rule, and I had fireworks. Like, little Debbie to the front. Yeah. <laughs> what in the hell? What's that? I don't know. <laughs> Limpy done disappeared on us. Yeah. Hemis are expensive to build, but better in the long run because they make power easier. Yeah, I mean, and you know, the Hemi heads, the flow you can get out of a Hemi head is just insane. So that's what I mean. It is a great platform. Like I, at this point, I'm regretting going down the LS road. I'll be honest. I should have just put a Hemi in the S10, called it a day. But here we are. So. Now I have half a motor that's good, so it put me in a place where it's you just gotta fix it. Like I got no choice. That's the that's the shitty part of racing is it just sometimes happens. I mean, I I'm not gonna say you weren't pushing for max effort, but you were pushing it pretty hard, weren't you? Not really. That motor never saw like I never pushed it. These guys are running 45 pounds of boost and shit. That motor never saw over 30, ever. The most it saw was 32. Really? Yeah, I was I was late on that thing because I wasn't getting traction anyway. So what's the point of fucking slamming all that shit through it? Damn, I didn't know you were really that light on it. That's what I mean. Light timing. Like at, if I told you the timing at the boost level, you'd be like, yeah, it could take way more. Trevor gave me shit about this all the time. He's like, you know, you can put more timing in it. I'm like, yeah, but I want to, you know, I race a lot. Like uh, in mm -hmm. fairness, I race every weekend. If I'm not racing, we're testing every weekend. Like the truck is out every weekend. You want to live. I want it to live. So change the oil literally every two weeks. Like everything I did was for longevity. And then all of a sudden I take it to the engine shop just to get some bearings put in. And they're like, oh, this is fucked. That's fucked. Your heads are cracked. I'm like, what the fuck? And this is all like expensive, top of the line. Like I said, it's not like uh, just bolt on bullshit. Uh, it makes you wonder how long it's been that way. And, and now that you're getting stuff figured out, how much have you lost? Oh, yeah, for sure. There's been stuff that's been going on for a while with that <laughs> truck. Because even a lot of people when we were looking at it, they're like, well, how come it doesn't do this or do that like a normal setup should? And for the racing you're doing, you would never really, because like I said, if you're not taking advantage of the big power, you're not going <sighs> to notice it. <sighs> Well, that was the thing. We were just starting to turn it up. I was like finally getting the traction issue stored, uh, sorted, power management, working on some other shit, moving weight around. And I was like, fuck yeah, now we're, we're getting somewhere. Let's start turning this thing up. But before I do that, let's freshen it up for this season. And now it's turned into a fucking need a new crankshaft, need a fucking. The heads have issues. Both heads have like hairline cracks in the intake ports, which is so weird. Yeah, and they're spotless. Like, if you look at the head, it looked like it came right off the shelf because I run E85. Like, yeah. they're clean. They're not dirty. The I mean, valves look spotless. Pistons were spotless. Like, destroyed one main bearing in the front of the crankshaft. That sounds like a manufacturing defect or something. Like something That's what like I was that. saying. So I messaged them, and I said, there's something up with these heads. This doesn't make sense because the truck's never seen over 185 degrees water temp ever like i'm very good with that kind of shit transmissions not so much i fry a lot of transmissions because i push them hard and i hot lap but the engine always monitor the engine 
I don't want to say the brand of heads yet and stuff because I want to see what they're gonna do first. I don't want to just fucking. It's definitely people. It's definitely Limpy's mic because as soon as he came back on, it started. The UFO came back. Yeah. Like you tapped your mic or something when you just sat down, and it went. Ooh. What pizza did you get? Looks good. You're muted. There you go. No, I'm poopy sitting on my mic. My <laughs> poopy. Poopy. Come on now. He just wants some pizza. What he wants. Where'd you get pizza from? Uh, racetrack. She got yeah. racetrack. She likes racetrack pizza because it's cheap and easy. Where does Lopar, JD? I never lifted the heads on the motor. The heads were fine. Everything was fine. Like it's still at full compression in all cylinders because I just literally checked it before we pulled it out. I'll and the you. bearings they think was from the when the at digger die there when I fucking smoked the transmission. They think the converter or something hit the crankshaft and fucking rocked it and then it fucked it up from there. That's what I've been told at least. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> I I'm see that comment. That a, yeah, I'm just putting I it know. up because of the effort. <laughs> it's it's possible. It's possible. Dude, I, I mean, yeah, you're going to have stuff when you're pushing, but it's like I said, damn, that sounds like you're actually really conservative, honestly. I am conservative <laughs> because that's why we do backside stuff. I didn't want to have to fucking push 45 pounds of boost through it. To do front side stuff, so I wonder how hard it'd be to shove a big block down in the S10, especially if you've got the turbos in the rear. So it's easy, there's lots of room. It's just, I'm not, I don't know, <laughs> it gets to the point. Would you go Mopar? Like, would you do Mopar? Or would you do big block Chevy? Honestly, I think I might do a Hemi because only for the, the amount of parts I have here normally, I could build. Did you see the? The Cuda that was at the Small Tire Gangster this past weekend, it had a 440 in it, twin turbo. Oh, did it? Yeah. And how did it do? <clears throat> Not bad. Third round, I think. And, uh... Oh, trust me, Big Stank. Uh, back when I was front wheel drive racing, I got a billet input shaft that I paid a very good amount of money for because they said it was unbreakable. Three passes in, snap that bitch in half. You know what I think it is now? I think things, because of cost of everything, people are starting to just look for cheaper. You know mm. what I mean? Like cheaper manufacturing, cheaper. So I think the quality of everything, and I noticed this even in the motor, like the stuff I get for the Hemi stuff and everything, is just getting cheaper. It doesn't look as nice. It's not as finished as nice. And it looks like just more, I guess everyone's just outsourcing to China. Mass production. Yeah, because realistically, I don't want to throw this everyone under the bus. But if you look at Liberty Heads, they're basically what everyone else is selling. And you can get a set of Liberty Heads for fucking 800 bucks for two heads. Damn, that's and then, cheap. And then they port them. Yeah. And then these companies port them and they stamp their shit on them and this and that. It's not hard to tell. Like you put the castings beside each other, they're the same fucking thing. So it's it, it's just I think that's what's happening. So now all this shit that used to be like top of people are going off their reputation now, but giving you less of a product. <laughs> Not everyone, but um, there are certain companies that I'm sure are doing that now because they had a great reputation for years, and now they're just like, well, everyone buys our shit because of our name. So now we can you know, save a little money and maybe send these ones out to here or there where the quality is just not the same. I mean, inflation and all that, that's the name of the country right now. I remember back I was buying Junior Bacon Cheeseburgers and tacos at Taco Bell for like a dollar or less. And now a junior bacon cheeseburger is like three dollars and fifty cents. Oh, dude, I thought Florida was bad. When I got back home here to Canada, I almost fucking had a heart attack when I went for groceries. It is like insanity to the point that now at the shop here, I'm like, I gotta redo all my pricing because I can't work for what I worked for last year. Everything's just so fucking expensive that I'll be working backwards. Dime breed, that Vega was one of the coolest cars at the gut this weekend. Which one? Like, 
Uh, the twin turbo Vega. Oh, uh, uh hat, Michael. a wagon. Yes. Brick Tamron. Yeah, that's pretty car. Dude. And did you see where he was foot breaking it? And he said, yeah, I he was got figured out break. a foot break. Yeah. Yeah. He foot break turbo car. <laughs> and he bumped in. Dude, that's, that's some good moving. That's, that's some good foot action right there. Like, yeah. Thomas Gunner, don't make me feel old. Damn. But yeah, that's something I was like, what was it? We stopped and I got a big bacon classic combo. Didn't even upsize it or anything at the Wendy's. We stopped at and it was like $13. And I was like, holy shit. I remember when this was like five, six dollars for the combo max. Yeah, even we have Tim Hortons. I know that's a big Canadian thing. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, Canada, Tim Hortons. But they sell like wraps and shit. And that shit also used to be like six bucks for lunch. You'd go there, you get a wrap, some potato wedges, and a coffee. It was like seven bucks. Now it's almost 14 bucks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's like you get nothing. Like it's the same shit. It's not like anything got better. Even burritos now are fucking $14. I'm like, it's a fucking burrito. Mm -hmm. Like, really? <laughs> like, how how is this possible that you're charging this much for a fucking burrito? That's why, I like, Chris is selling this car, and that's why I said somebody out there needs to offer him, like, $2,500 in a case of bread. Did you sell your car yet, Chris? No. No buyers? No interest? Nope. Yeah. Not even, not even one message. Wow. I'll shoot you a message just to make you feel better. Thank you. <laughs> It'll be some lowball bullshit no. offer. <laughs> Give it two. two I, got of white bread Walmart. I got a month supply of Walmart bread. And a yeah. Kung Fu Grip, uh, GI Joe. <laughs> I got a case. I got a case of Mellow Yellow, two bags of Texas Toast, and a fifty dollar Texas Roadhouse gift certificate. Oh, <laughs> no buns. No buns. Hey, uh, Mike, fucking Corey made me lose my shit earlier. What is that? Oh God, what I do? He said that he goes, man. He goes, I was going good, and he goes. He goes, then I got the like Texas and then he goes, they still call it like Texas Roadhouse and Texas Toast. They just don't call it like, Roadhouse and or Toast. toast. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have Canadian bacon up here in Canada. That's a, see, that's a see. you guys thing. We don't call it Canadian bacon. It's just bacon. <laughs> I mean, or I was ham. just wait It's actually I, ham. I was just waiting to go by the sign for Texas Roadhouse and be in the same Roadhouse? neon light and just says Roadhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go to Whataburger? Whataburger? Oh God, dude! I, like I, I want to open a Whataburger franchise up where I live. Yeah, they're good. I remember that was a big thing when we went to Texas. Whataburger. Twenty so, minutes. Man. They're putting one twenty-ish minutes from Shady Side. Oh, there's... Dude, that's gonna be. You can leave and go down to Gaffney and get on 85, and you're either going to be 20-ish minutes from Whataburger if you go right, or if you go left, and I think they said it's due open in the middle, like next year, 20 minutes from they're putting a brand new Bucky's in. Don't know. <clears throat> Was the Bucky's better in Texas? Yes. Why? Yes. <sighs> It's just it, it, it was it was it was ninety nine it was ninety nine bucks and not a hundred and two. <laughs> I felt I felt when I walked in that Bucky's it was more freedom. Uh, oh, you felt the, the bald eagles. The cooler felt... was actually a couple dollars cheaper than the one in Crossville. Uh, was the brisket the was the brisket as good? I didn't do brisket on the trip. Oh, it's because you I went to the, the state brisket. where Bucky's was invented. Hmm. That's true. I remember that when we first went there in Texas, I was like, "What the fuck is this place?" We, I don't know uh, where it, it was. The the original Bucky's is down by. Uh, I used to haul fucking grain in there. I can't remember, but uh, it was the original one down there. Like, uh, but I mean, it's it, it's not a big one. It's like I think that store was, was there one of the original stores that they started, and then they went to that that extreme. I, I will say, if you go in Bucky's, get one of the Rice Krispie treats. As long as they got fucking THC in them, I'm getting them. Dude, they were good. And dude, they weren't really that expensive. I, I think I looked, it was like two bucks. Two bucks? God dang. Dude, but it's like the size of oh, yeah. four or five of them that you get in the box at the store. 
<laughs> it better have fucking 50 milligrams of THC in that motherfucker for $2. Man, it had 50 milligrams of FAT. Oh, yeah. That's it definitely has that. It definitely <laughs> has that. <laughs> Now, the, I got I got the white chocolate chip uh, macadamia nut cookies. No, no, nah, no. Nah. Oh, I like those they, normally. They were well done. They weren't medium rare. Oh, no. Yeah, they got to be soft. I wonder if Dragon's on here. I wonder if he hit that. Uh, if he hit. I know he hit the, the RSO pin the other night, Sunday night. But I wonder if he hit it again last night. I wonder if it. Ed brought me some. It looks like a fucking pin. It looks like a pin. And, you got uh, it. Yeah. It looks hey, like Paul. a pen, but I don't know what oh, you put, put it in your drink or something like that. Hey, Paul. Hmm. Isn't that past your bedtime? Clute, yeah. When you get white chocolate chip macadamia nut cookies, do you like them to be well done or like medium, medium rare? If they're like fresh, they need to be like medium because I feel like it adds the, the more flavor to it. If it's like store-bought shit that you're buying from like HEB or Walmart or somewhere like that, like you want them well done, of course. Like they're <laughs> they're cool. only good fresh. I got to figure halfway. out what this HEB is. I ain't, I ain't seen this HEB. Um, I don't even remember what it stands for. Uh, Howard Eugene Butts or something like that. Yeah, I used to say uh, Howard, Howard, Howard Edward Butts or something. No index Jeff. No. Yeah. Hey, you know we're calling Jeff Index Jeff now, right? Perfect. <laughs> I got testing. Hey, I'm gonna testing. No index Jeff tonight. <laughs> he probably ain't gonna get on now. You do. You up, oh dude. yeah, he's gonna be mad then. You know how I got him in my phone? Mm. Is uh, uh come oh. over, come up, 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 up just a little, a little bit. There you go. Throat Good smasher. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. I will right, say guys, I gotta get off here. All right, buddy. I gotta see do you, Chris. Shit. Early in the morning, so see you, buddy. Yep, I'll catch y'all later. 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 See you, man. See ya. So, how'd the weekend go, Poland? Make lots of money. We did. Uh, good. Pretty good weekend overall. I mean, you never. Nothing's gonna be perfect, but. Um, we started racing and never stopped. There was literally people asking, are y'all going to do an intermission? We have to pee. And I'm like, nope, pick your least favorite glass and go pee. I did. <laughs> <laughs> How many cars total did you end up having on the property, you figure? I still have to go through and look. I know Saturday we had 181 entries, and there was a couple Damn. that were double. We had They were double entered in a couple of them. But, oh, okay. Um, still, that's good. Yeah. there. I mean, we had a... Uh, Where's my phone at? I had 72 cars and little gangsters alone. That's why I said index putting, classes. putting 10 pounds of shit in a five pound bag. That's what that place is like. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, we figured, we figured you out. Finally get, you finally get what I mean by that, uh, Corey? Yes. Hey, we that did place figure isn't that out big. how you can uh, help us out so we know what class it is. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Check this out. Check this out. I come up with the, I come up with the, the bomb ass idea. <laughs> the okay. gold. This is this is legit. You know, you know, you have a ring girl. Now you have a ring girl that goes in between classes that lets you know it has a, the scorecard. Instead of doing the booty, the uh, yeah. the twerk contest. Yeah, yeah, that, that was not a bad. That's actually a good idea. No, yeah, that's that, a great idea. That yeah. was the consensus hardest part from the media that I got. We just had no clue what class we were in until you heard a pro charger start, and then you knew it was small tire. Yeah, and that, that's <laughs> the hardest part. I mean, yellow belly is very, very hard to communicate. There's no PA system. They have a PA system, but it's like – I don't even know what to call it. It's like a Nokia at best. Um, so I got to see the WhatsApp stuff where Houston was in on it. That's yep. great. I like that. I like that a lot. So I tried it uh, last year. We tried it. It was like a test run last year for a one day event, and it uh, it, it, it it's flawless. I mean, it literally everybody that's registered was asked, "Hey, are you in this app?" Nope. Okay, scan this code and get in here now. This is where all communications are happening. So it's um, everybody had the opportunity to be in there and know what was going on. And it's even cool for the spectators. Like spectators can mm -hmm. get in there as well. Because the only people that can type anything, it would be myself or Miss Shannon. Mm -hmm. um, it's only to communicate to the drivers. There's no back and forth correspondence and drivers saying this or that. You know, um, it's a group chat without the group. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I think I'm going to do like for the, especially for the 50K, like that. And well, the people that can get service at least down there and yeah. literally just take a picture of the run orders and anything, just put it in that like boom, boom. Yeah. Cause not everybody's on Facebook or they don't pay attention to it or th this, that, and you know, that is literally your direct line of communication. And then I like it too because it's documented. If you call the guy to the lane seven times and then you run without him and he comes back up there and he's like, well, I didn't know. And I didn't know. Were you asked in the driver's meeting about the WhatsApp? Yes. Are you in the WhatsApp? Yes. Okay. Go look at the WhatsApp because you were just called seven times. Like yeah. you have a, you have documentation stating like with timestamps, we yeah, called you seven times in a, in a 10 minute period or 15 minute period and you never showed up. So that's why you're DQ. Oh, and I was, I was, uh, somebody said, I can't remember who it said. Somebody in, in the chat said, uh, about the, the pairings got, uh, they look like they weren't paired right or something or, um, so like, it basically, like, 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 like somebody just picked the run order or whatever. Um, so basically when they were pulling the little gangsters into the, the staging lanes. I don't know if a lot of people don't know Yellow Belly, but it, you have three staging lanes, and yeah. it's about I don't even know how wide that is, maybe thirty foot across, if that. Like, um, maybe it's very yeah. Like, and so we told everybody in the left lane go to the first one. Everybody in the right lane go to the third. Leave the middle row open. Um, we had a couple instances where we were waiting on two or three cars for the first eight pairs or whatever. Well, we had the second 16 pairs already paired so we basically after the first round we told everybody there is no more yeah one two three four five if you're up here and your pairs together and we're waiting on two cars in front of you y'all are now become number one and, and that's how we kept the show rolling steady the whole entire time because i mean everybody knows after the first round it didn't matter if you went first <laughs> 15th or 11th There was no chicken few, wings, people. I, I didn't I did. run over. I ran over taco plates, but I didn't run over chicken wings. Yeah, I ran but. over a lot of taco plates. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I ran over a few chicken wings. I was over by the barbecue. I heard trailer. you ran over a few feet, too, is according to oh, what Lamont uh, said. Absolutely. I, I don't know how many toes I killed this weekend, but I killed a lot. So I, <laughs> I know, yeah. like, Hell one yeah. thing I, I meant to tell you, like, when you rolled over there and you're telling us we had to get back behind the 60, like you thought some of like me, I can speak for myself. Like the others, they might have been mad about it. Dude, I was happy as hell when you told me that. I was like, Yeah, let me get the hell back here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm stressing. Dude. Well, no, and a, and a lot of people don't hear the back line of that. They think I'm just being an asshole or this or that. Like I want everybody to have fun, and that is part of Yellow Belly. I tell everybody, but at some point you kind of gotta put a safety aspect into it. Oh, 100%. Um, but dude, the fire marshals were grabbing the fucking radios at the front gate and were literally screaming at me over the over the walkie-talkie and were like, "If y'all don't back these people up now, we will we'll, we'll shut this whole operation down." And then they actually called Friday or Saturday morning and they said, "If we see anybody past the 60 foot mark, we will shut your whole operation down." And that's why I put those barricades at the 60 foot to try to keep everybody I mean, in I front of them. I ain't gonna lie, I was at 61 and a half on that on that side, but it was just. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I seen you playing with it, and that's why I just kind of let you be. But I, that was you were my marker of if anybody goes past oh. Corey, we have an issue. And that was the thing because I kept seeing they kept scrounging and they would touch around there. I was like, dude, get back! You're right on the beam. Get back! You're right on the beam. They're like, well, you're right there. I'm like, I know, but I'm not on the beam. Get back! Cause that's right. we're staying that one boundary here. Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of like you had me and uh, what you call me and Lamont were the boundary on that side. Yeah. <laughs> for sure for sure but it's difficult i mean i know the media people i know it's difficult because you only have so much room like i mean some of those passes you look at the videos and you'll see people literally hanging out mm -hmm. onto the track with their camera like it i mean uh, we talked about some stuff to try to implement to putting some concrete barricades down the side with like a block off so like if you're in this box you're good if you're outside of this box you're good sure. Well, it's like uh, when you said that, that I'm not going to name names, but there was one certain media company like they hung over real hard with their cell phone. And I said nicely twice. And on the third time, I didn't say it nicely and they got back. So, yeah, just saying like and, the, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I know a lot of those probably don't shoot the bigger events and there's like certain etiquette to media and how like if you ever know, if you you probably weren't paying attention, but like 
I knew everybody was behind me. I wasn't going to be the guy that just turned and then screwed up everybody's shot to where they had to do that. I pivoted in to where it was like, all right, it still leaves it open. Y'all can get your right. shot. Yeah, I like homeboy in, there, homeboy in the red jacket that I had to get on. <sighs> they, I don't know how many shots. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Limpy, uh, Snoop. That rides the bikes and everything. Uh, oh, uh, uh, yeah. God dang. I know him um, as Snoop. I cannot think of his name right now. God dang. But anyway, he was literally just hanging out, having a good time, smoking and shit. He kept literally turning his back right into Corey's camera, and I pulled him to the side. I'm like, because he's Snoop's a homeboy. I told him, I'm like, hey, bro, you you really messing up the shots? Get out the way. And it's like, I try not, it ain't my track. It ain't nothing like that. I try not to be she towards people. I'll just be like, eh, I'll just figure a way out. But sometimes you're like, God almighty. <laughs> so but, final oh. car count. Let's see. Little Gangsters had 72. Small Tire had 26. Sheep Street was 35. Quick Street was 34. And Foot Break was 14. That was Saturday. So I have to go back and see. I don't, I have all the paperwork and stuff. I just haven't counted exactly how many cars were on there. Oh. What were we, 44 on small on Friday? 40, yeah, 44 or 47. I couldn't, I can't remember. That's but I think a lot of that, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I was going to say, I think a lot of that was the uh, little gangsters guys buy, mm-hmm. paying the $200 buy in to try to get a lick at, you know, at Yellow Belly. Oh, and see that's how, what we did. See how far they were to the 530 deal. I, I ain't, I'm not going to lie to you, dude. After we watched the field and small tire and who was there, like Houston had contemplated around both classes, I said, dog, focus on the little gangsters. <laughs> That's for you, man. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, do you think it's because it's fast at Yellow Belly? A lot of people like that index stuff. Is that part of the reason? Um, so I actually had a very, me and Tom, I spent a lot of, the, most of the day today with Tom uh, working on finalizing everything and counting, you know, money and doing all that stuff. And uh, we had about an hour and a half conversation with Ryan Mitchell. And um, we were talking about kind of what he would do better, do's and don'ts, you know, all this different stuff. And I asked his opinion. I was like, what do you think? Why do you think Little Gangsters was so big? And he said, well, what, why Why did you create it? And I was like, I kind of ran him through the whole deal. And he said, uh, 80% of the cars on that property, 80 to 85% of the cars on that property can run a 530 either turning their stuff up or turning it down. They can run a 530. There's only about 10, maybe, and I'm going to say like really pushing it, 15% of the cars on that property can run a 480, 470, or anything fast, really anything faster than a 480, 490 type deal. Um, and I think that's why the little gangster stuff, uh, there's a bunch of people that have reached out over the last few days asking if we could use the name, what the rules were, all of that stuff. I think it really will be a, a big class because it makes it competitive to everybody. You're not just going to have the, some of these cars come in and just run over the top of everybody. I mean, it, it I mean, it just literally, which my, my poor boy, Houston, man, he's not a bracket racer. He didn't understand when the other guy dropped it beside him, he needed to stay in and get back up on the fender and then fender game him. He dropped with him. I'm like, dog, oh, you don't drop with him when he's already yeah, right. out on right. you. Right. But, and uh, I think it will be a lot to lot for people to learn, but I think it, I think it will, it will come around. I mean, that's to have, I didn't, I expected maybe 40 to 50 cars in there to have 72. It's a dude, lot of freaking cars. Tw- pretty much $22,000 purse. I mean, it was 22 K. I think I, we oh, put a hundred on top of it. So we just, it was, it was 21 nine was the purse and we threw a hundred on top of it to make it 22. But is, are we, are we not getting away from what this was supposed to be? We've already been past that. We've already yeah. kind of been past that, Mike. Everybody's been arguing over chassis cars and this and that for the last eight months. And you've watched, you've literally watched car counts do this number right here. Like it's, I don't want to say it's the solution to the problem. Um, so you think that's it, where we'll be a couple of years from now is just no prep bracket racing in essence. I so that's what you're saying. Like that's what I, it is. I, I think it's headed that way because everybody has a chance unless somebody comes up with you're you got a double edged sword here. People fucking hate index, people hate index and they hate rules. But something one of the two's gotta be done. You gotta come up with some small. See, I don't tires. mind rules. I just don't like index because it takes away from everything like there already is bracket <laughs> racing. There's tons of bracket racing and big money bracket racing. If you want to get into bracket racing, like you can 
Some of those bracket races they do down in Florida are like 50, 60, 70 yeah. grand. Like, I mean, look, you've got the I million. Get it. I get it, but it's kind of taken away from like... The biggest know. thing the index does is it takes away, in a sense, the cubic dollars. Yeah. But it kind of doesn't because if you're if you still have a car that runs four sixties and you can out sixty if you're running a one teen sixty foot, ah, that didn't you can still get so guys. far out on somebody on a five thirty index and then just cut the throttle at the six at the three thirty and just fucking let go of the fucking Dude, thing. There were there were some guys that tried that and they got they got caught off their pants down. Yeah, and there's I know, but once you figure it out, I mean it's bracket shit. Like it's it's bracket racing. What's it is what it is. But I right? think that's what I makes think, bracket racing what it is. I think keeping the end the uh, the I don't want to say technology out of it because I, I mean I know the Holly and stuff. You basically can go true to a dial if you will. Um, but there's no time slips. There's no anything like that. So nobody knows actually what they're running. We all know a draggy can either be a little fast or a little slow. Um, it adds a little bit of element to it. It it's not. I don't want to say it's not index racing because it is, but it uh, it's it's a different form that gives everybody a chance to win. All right. No, I'm just asking because I I want to like see what people are. And that's what doing. I'm trying to avoid. You know, Tom, we had a we had a meeting today with everybody that was there um, from our group. You know, our everybody yeah. that helped and was an employee for our event. We did like an appreciation dinner, and everybody kind of was. Me and Tom have been going back and forth. I don't want to give Tom slips. He wants to print out you know, a list after every round and hang it up at the chip draw table or at the tower. And I think that drives you more into just strictly index racing, bracket racing, stuff like that. I think the element of if you're running for 20 K on a no prep index, no time slips, like it is make it as difficult as possibly human possible to get the money. And it's good in some areas and not, not in other areas. I mean, it is, it is, location you know location location all that stuff i'm i'm really curious to see how low gangsters does at a shady side i know take a drink somebody <laughs> well if you got uh, a bunch of people there then then it should be good i mean but we, you know if you're a, just got to have a 550 to 530 community but i think i think that i think at a shady side it'll be massive i think it'll be big like it was this last this weekend because you have 64 of the baddest small tire cars in the country racing and a lot of guys are not going to have that opportunity they're not you know they can't run with them or they can't uh, they didn't get an invitation whatever the case may be um and th that's where they'll be because at the end of the day i don't care who you're who you say 530 is fast five yeah, years no, it ago is fast, six, 100%. Like five years ago six years ago people were throwing tens of thousands of dollars to try to go that fast and today people kind of look at it like eh Really not, like, but you still, Corey, we talked about it at the race. Yeah. You still get the small tire atmosphere from the little gangsters class. You still have people riding wheelies. You still have people all over the track. You got yeah. people dumping at the finish line. Like there's, oh. it still brings that element of fast cars, but it brings the little level of the competitive. Everybody is competitive in that class. You can, I mean, there is not an upset that I, I will say, uh, if I had a car that could run the number and run it very consistently, I would outsource to one of these badass bracket racers and put them in that bitch and be like, do your thing. Right. Yeah, that's what that, I mean. There are some guys who working that fucking... tree and shit's going to be. Oh, yeah. I and mean, see, hell. like the, that Stroud dude said, I've seen this thing. He said the same guys that are bitching about index racing are the same guys that are bitching about the big money, big money guys coming in and cleaning house on some of these races. Like it's, it's a double-edged sword, like I said. I, I don't agree with it, but well, there's two. I agree with like you said, there's there's two ways you can do it. You either do these indexes like you're doing, or you make rules that make it a little bit tighter. And people right. either hate the rules, like you said, or people don't like index racing. I lean more towards okay. rules because I don't. I'm not a fan of index myself. That's just my personal. Right. And that's like I asked Ryan today. I'm like, you know, if we you go small tire rules, what what do you implement? to make it competitive for everybody. And he's like, well, I mean, damn, you have to go back to almost stock four plan, stock firewall. Um, yeah, that's what you do. You know, like just almost bring it all the way back. Like, let's just pull the, pull the reins on this as hard as we can and see what happened. And I mean, 
that's that guy said, look at the cream always rises to the top. It, it was really big for me this weekend for John Sears to walk up to me and Jimmy Dale and say, y'all really need to stay focused on the little gangsters <laughs> deal because this has the hype of like an X-275 class. Yeah. Dude, I mean, to see the people that got in it, that's what caught me. Like, I would have never expected to see the Kraken in that class or Randy Westmoreland or any of them. And I mean, it was just money attracted them to that race because who's going to turn down twenty two thousand dollars? That's what I mean. It's like Kraken. Kraken doesn't index race. He doesn't bracket race. We all know that Kraken runs backside street, front side, whatever. He runs. <laughs> he he actually runs in small tire even when he doesn't stand his chance. Um, <laughs> but that was the most evened out race there was because there was no advantage. You either ran the time or you didn't. And so last year, like the one day event when we first did the little gangsters class, Kraken went all the way to the finals and ended up splitting and getting some pretty decent money out of that one. And then this one, he went to the semis and I think they split back that 20,000 was split back. I think to six cars or so we let Michael Hollis kind of say what he wanted to do on the split. Cause we had it originally 20,000 to the winner, a thousand to the runner up and the semifinalists got 500 a piece. So the winner got 20 K. And then uh, Hollis, when he won, said, nah, we're going to – we'll pay this back six ways. I think – I don't remember what exactly he took, uh, but it, it was paid back some. So now, Hollis is an OG bracket. He's, he's got some bracket racing in him too before. Yeah. He's a good dude. He, he, he understands. He knows. Yep. yep. That's already I'm like out. one of my – if he makes a trip to Shadyside, that's going to be probably one of the – somebody tells me, who do I need to look out for? Him. If that guy shows up to any 530 rate or any actually any index race, you should be worried. It doesn't matter if it's 650, 530. Jeff said he's fixing to be on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Index. So I got a question. Do you like instant green or do you want it back on Pro Tree style for this little gangsters? I like the Pro Tree in my honest. And all, and everybody I've talked to racer wise, I'm not I called 25 or 30 different racers that I knew big, like bigger name racers. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I said, if you could pick between a flashlight, a 400 pro tree and an instant green, what would you pick? And I have to, I have the, I have a list somewhere, maybe right here. I'll find it. I'll bring it on next week. But it was like, I I think I called 28 people and 21 of them said, 21 of them said 400 pro tree. Okay. I'm going to, well, uh, King of the South, it'll be on Pro Tree. Now my uh, Cash Days race in August, it's going to be on Instant. So yeah. have some data and see which and, that's going to replace my True Street class. So, <laughs> you know, uh, some people think, love it. Some people love it. Some people hate it. But there's also, you know, Instant Green can be ran multiple different ways. Yeah. Uh, depends on how it's wired up, taking the ambers out. There's There's different ways you can do it. So... Talking index, you know index. Jeff got to come on. <laughs> we'll Dude, when he, he's when, gonna come on, fired up. So when they come on, when they came up and did the burnout for that car, and the doors just wide open, and they had him a little bit over to the right, I walked back the whole way because I was pushing the door to keep it even from bumping into people or getting taken off by anything. I was yeah. like, and I looked in there, I was like, "Holy shit, that's Jeff! He's index racing." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And man, I've seen everybody's comments about the deal with Limpy. Like, I love Limpy to death. They, we called him first and foremost before we said anything and told him kind of what the game plays was. We want, we still want you there. We want you to be a part of this. You've been a part of it since the beginning. And Limpy, did you have a good time this weekend just hanging out and chilling? Yeah, like, I had to be medicated, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I, I, you're you're not a very good spectator, but uh, we appreciate the shit out of you and everything that you've done. I know that when that tree messed up every time, y'all see what. Hey, every time I'm literally in the middle of an argument, not really an argument. I'm listening to this driver complain, plead his case to why he he's pissed off. And I can just see Limpy standing behind him. Just waving <laughs> at me. And I'm like, I'm trying not to laugh. So, uh, I mean, they're not everything was. That's what I mean by everything was not perfect. There was a couple hiccups on the tree and stuff like that, but it, dude, it's, if you've been to Yellow Bell, you'd understand it. There's the beams are very accessible. People are walking through them. There's I don't know how many people are on that starting line, but that's what um, I said. Every time they somebody walks through it, it re, has to reset. It then. resets it, and then I think the biggest issue that we took away from this was I'm going to move everybody that middle island 
I'm going to bring it back about six foot. Um, that way you can see your opponent's car because yeah. not being able to see your opponent's car. And then you see, uh, you know, you see your, the bulb light up and you're like, Oh shit, he's in. And you go ahead and go up on the two step. Well, that was just homeboy, his crew man's foot trying to find the beam to where to put him in. Mm-hmm. And then that, you know, there, a lot of it can be eliminated with just being able to, uh, being able to see your opponent either way that you're looking. I, I know it sounds crazy because it's packed, but like where the beams are on each side of it, if you could put like five foot of no man land to where nobody's around that, eliminate any spectator from even being near it, just anything, I think yeah. will help a ton. Yeah. So we're, we've already started working. I mean, we're a couple of days after and we've already started getting <laughs> some stuff in, in, in effect to make the right, uh, decision calls, whatever you want to say. <laughs> I think we're going to see how long a five minutes uh, is in uh, Indiana. Uh, or how, do, how, how do you say in uh, some people from Indiana? No, I do have I one. Know. I got one question now. The run between who was it? So, the Kraken and maybe it was the purple Mustang single turbo car where the tree never dropped, but they both were staged. But it wasn't set up. The, the tree didn't activate. Yeah. So from what I from what I got from it, I mm. wasn't actually up there. Um, Roscoe was up there. I asked him what happened, and uh, so they both went on the chip. Uh, the guy in the tower says he was hitting the button to fire the tree, mm. and nothing was happening. They, my guys, started waving their hands to shut it down, to shut everything down. Well, Kraken let go of his button and came. You know, he never moved. He was still yeah. bold. Both the, the other guy just let go of the fucking button and tore ass. Yeah. Um, kind of had a conversation with my guys about that. Uh, even Miss Shannon said homeboy should have melted his fucking transmission down to the ground before he ever let go of the trans brake. Yeah. Once he let go of that trans brake, it would, he, he red lit and it was over. Yep. It was, there, was, yep. there was nothing we were going to do. About that's, it. that's what I was going to ask you. But, um, my crew guy, uh, said made the decision that it would be re-ran and that's what happened so well i mean if he makes that call he was the one that was put in place to make those calls mm-hmm. if that's the call that he made that's the call i'm yeah. gonna stick by that's so i was wondering what where y'all fell on that because i knew you did the rerun stuff but i was kind of curious because i know if they did that in mine i'm be like y'all y'all were in the beams and you left four tree was activated right so and it's i mean it's part of it. We all learn from it. I think Roscoe learned, you know, that's what he said. Uh, you know, the second that car left that start line and I had videos and everything of, you know, my guys were waving their hands telling them. Yeah. Yeah. If they were waving before that, before he left, then get yeah, races shut off yeah. at that point. Yeah. But exactly. they wouldn't wave that. And he went like, that's coming back from the grudge atmosphere. Like I'm used to, and you're used to, you left for the tree drop, buddy. You're, uh, yeah. you're out. Yeah. And that's what Miss Shannon said. She said, I don't care if homeboys what you got? came to pieces and it just everything melted out on the middle of the track. The oh. light never, the night lever came on. So oh, you, if you left, you were, de- you were red lit. Hmm. Spicy. Yep. Is that the spicy ketchup? Miss oh, Vickers? Yeah. Dude, this Damn, one's, one's out there. Damn, I still ain't got none. And a pineapple truly for the throwback to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> What does Julie drink? Is that, or did they make different Trulies or or what does she drink? White Claws. White Claws. Yeah. Do they make like different flavors and stuff? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, do they? Okay, I didn't. Bro, know every time I would like, I'd come by her and be like, "How many are you in now?" And she'd be like, 13. And oh, I'd be gone shit. for like 15 minutes, and I'd come back by. How many are you in now? 23. And I'm like, no, no. Oh, you drink 10 in 15 minutes. That's a lot. Like, Probably. like I don't, I don't know if it happens to you when you go to other events, but even when I'm at other events, I'm still in promoter mode in a sense, and I'm like everything that's going on, I'm like paying attention to and questioning for like oh, if this happens at my race, how would I approach it and right. things like that. Yep. Like when yep. they, uh, when uh, the crash happened, and I was hollering at you, and I was saying they're both out of the car. I know, but I gotta get these people off the line, dude. I'm just telling you, they're both out of the car. That's <laughs> yeah, all yeah, I want yeah. you to know. Yeah. <laughs> No, I was just I trying to keep all the, dude, That's the <laughs> worst part about Yellow Belly is, is if an accident happens, people come from under that pavilion, this pavilion, yeah. they're all, they all packed down there. And then before you know it, you got 900,000 people down there uh, standing around these cars that are wrecked. And um, that's basically what I told security moving forward. Like if I gave <laughs> a driver band and two crew bands, if they don't have, 
uh, there should, if two guys get into each other and they both wreck their cars, there should be maximum of six people down there, which I told them, I said, give or take, you're going to have a few stragglers. So like yeah. 10 or 15 people is okay. But anything over, over that, get them the hell out of there because these cars are going to get sucked up on a rollback and they're gone. And then we have to wait 20 minutes for all these fat yeah. assholes to walk back down the track. Uh, and very, very, very props to uh, your EMS crew. They were on top of that shit quick. Yeah. I pulled them to the side, of course, under the circumstances of the Nate situation and everything. I pulled them to the side Thursday when I got there. <laughs> I, had a, I had a meeting with the uh, Dallas EMS and kind of told them the situation and said, I just need y'all to be on your P's and Q's. This is very, very important that nothing, this gets off without anything like that happening. Yeah. Poland yelled at me at the end of Saturday night for being on the track with my car. Learned my lesson from Tremond. Uh, This man's in the staging lanes for the finals. And he says, uh, if I win this motherfucker, Poland, I'm driving, turn around, I'm driving back down the racetrack. Uh, Is that the one that won foot break? Yeah, I said bullshit. Okay, okay. I literally looked at. I said, "You won't." That man fucking won and turned his shit around down at the end of the track and drove back to shut my whole entire race down and let everybody know that he's the best motherfucker on the property. <laughs> he pulled, Lyle Barnett does that shit too, man. He'll turn right back around, come up, shoot wide open. He did yeah. that shit at Wilkesboro, and I'm standing there filming him coming back, and I realized I was like, "Man, that shoot's getting close," and I'm on the damn on the actual other lane. Dude, I had to bail out the way. Shoot gets caught on the little guardrail thing that's in between. Shit, you were there, Limpy. Hell, you remember. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. All right. <laughs> yeah. We were talking about that at dinner, too. The dude that was walking down the track holding the race up. And, I mean, everybody was yelling at this dude. And he's like, there's all up there. There's all up there. There was literally – we had already been down there and checked it twice. There was It was just the way the light – was shining off the pavilion it looked like it was glossy right there yeah and uh yeah he he didn't fare too well he got he got his ass chewed and told multiple times he's gonna get beat up and and that's the other thing that hit me like i would see the drops of water and stuff and i'm always like oh water right that's that promoter instinct kicking in just being well and that's uh you know i had several guys out there with just mops and i told them after every pass go out there and just double check just make sure that it's okay Dude, first round Friday, a small tire, the first five pairs. That's what I was like. This solidifies me putting this diaper on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Winter's shout different. out Marcus. Marcus won Cheap Street this weekend, too. Good job, buddy. Shoot, everybody in Texas wins. Y'all got Whataburger. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> How many times did you eat Whataburger while you were here? Twice. That was breakfast Friday morning. And I had lunch for breakfast, and it was again on Saturday. Yeah. And I could have uh, had that shit four more times. I would have been yeah. just as happy. Some said, by some yeah, yeah. You, you, have, you have regular ketchup, and you'll be, like, disappointed from here on out. Oh, I was. I had, regular, I had regular ketchup earlier, and I was like, man, it just ain't the same. Yeah. Some guy said, what do y'all guys mop with? Methanol. A little uh, hand sprayer with methanol in it, and uh, mop. Does wonders. Oh, oh. And let me tell y'all, if they got to light it on fire, look out. <laughs> <laughs> let me see them eyebrows, Paul. Holy shit, y'all. They lit that motherfucker on fire. I was like, whoa, that pole is on fire. He probably didn't hey, know it. I didn't even realize. Y'all probably can't see it because I got my lights off and shit. I was getting ready to go to bed. But I'm the whole right side of my leg looks like I went and got a fucking wax. <laughs> I got home. Dude, I got in the camper that night and I started looking around. I said, Where's all these fucking burnt hairs coming from? And I looked down and my whole right side of my leg was just singed. Dude, we can't make this shit up, Mike. You literally look over and they light this up and the flames taller than Poland. <laughs> Mike, they pushed you in the fire? Hey, it's a fucking puddle like this big, right? And I'm like, hey, it's just fuel. I'll just light it. We're good. I will light it on fire. Oh, no. Hey, I hit that motherfucker and it went woof. Over the top of my head. I mean, I'm talking about like, <laughs> it was Dude. very uncomfortable. Dude, and I don't know who it was, but they didn't miss a beat. As soon as it happened, back up, Terry. <laughs> Dude, I, he hit that motherfucker and I was like, he probably don't even know he's on fire. But how do you fucking stop dropping row if you're in wheelchair? I, I don't know, but I didn't want to. I was trying not to find out. Like. I'm, I don't know. That killed me, though, because I literally was trying to get away from my leg being caught on fire, and all I heard was, put it in reverse, Terry. Like, I thought it was were, limpy. 
if you would have screamed my legs my legs i'd been laughing and i'd be like i didn't look like the ass <laughs> <laughs> that's the type of humor i have with my friends yeah. people <laughs> yeah <laughs> Somebody right after that walked up to me and they said, damn, you and Jimmy Dale got something in common now. I'm like, fuck you. Burn victims. Burn victims. <laughs> oh, there you go, man. Up, you ever do a podcast called The Burn Unit. The Burn yeah, there Unit. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Can shit. Lyle Barnett be our first guest? Oh, wow. Damn. Oh. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh. wow. Them Indiana five. That's still a little, that's, 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 the corner. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, he. Hey, let's see when I text him, dude. I'm he's telling there. you, I texted him at on ten fifty nine. He responded, I, beyond in five, at ten fifty nine. Hey, you, hey, you missed it earlier, Poland. Uh, we had Lamont on here. He he about got to shut down. Like YouTube went crazy and everything. Yeah, they well, started talking about NASA and. Well, show them, just, hey, show them the picture. Show them the picture, the, the one we were discussing of why we almost got shut down. Oh, okay. Yeah. We got talking about the uh, moon landings and stuff. Uh -oh. And uh, this was the picture that came in the question. And, like, we went from 280-some viewers to, like, 30. Like, it shut us down for, like, 10 minutes. <laughs> uh... Could have been Trevor too. You know, yeah, Trevor oh, was on here. Did you send it? Did you send it to? Oh yeah, you sent it to me. Yeah, I was about to say I'll resend if need to. No, no, I was I was looking in the group chat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And then fucking your best buddy fucking uh, F2K came on and started talking about conspiracies and that's and shit. And then like the we whole went to the, we on. went on to the dark side. <laughs> like everybody on YouTube, obviously for like what was it, about thirty minutes, they lost all their subscriptions. You couldn't see shit, and we went from literally we had what twenty thirty people max. It was showing us, but we had comments still going. Like everybody could see, watch the show. Like, yeah. Trey, I got, I've got 180 on uh, YouTube right now. I don't know, I ain't got shit on fucking Facebook. Now, I we we learned tonight, Lamont does not also does not put uh, mayonnaise on his grilled cheese. Yeah. What was it? And he didn't. Story? He went uh, somewhere in Memphis, and there was blood stains on his bed sheets. Oh, that's horrible too. I, I I was asking it it could be the same coincidence with the blood stains and the rubber that you had. They could have been back to back. Could have been the same room. <laughs> could have been. Yeah, yeah. It could have been the same sheets. You never know. It yeah, could, you never know. It could have. It all could have happened yeah. together. Oh, and, and then and I the, told him. I said. I said that he had. You had that rubber stuck on the end of your foot, and you were. You woke up and you were trying to flip it off with your, and you're flopping it back and forth trying to get it off. And then you flopped the wrong way, and it fucking gave you a golden shower. Or a pearl necklace, excuse me. Loopy's <laughs> taking this story way further. I'm telling you, man. Before you know it, it's going to be fucking... It's going to be <laughs> the fucking murder scene. <laughs> it started out simply as Mike stepping on a condom. It's and now it's fully loaded. It up in the air. Yeah. Fully, fully loaded, the, Colin. Fully it's, loaded. The tele, it's the telephone game. It just keeps getting better and better and better. It's a fishing story. It's a fishing story. I'm going to tell everybody he ate it. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 have, you ever, have you ever seen uh, uh, oh, Van Wilder? Oh, oh ever, God, don't have even. Have you ever seen Van Wilder? No, no, yes. no, no. When they get the dog and they, they yes, see, and they them things the could raise the Titanic. Yeah. That's <laughs> nasty. He makes rolls and he's all like pouring in his mouth. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> he's Here like, I've, I've tasted this. But, oh. <laughs> oh, shit. You're going to put Daddy El Jefe on, on notice, huh? Damn. Big Traymon said he ain't playing no more. Damn. Hey, I, I did see he made a post earlier said I'm still feeling good and called out like half a DFW. It's awesome. I, I'm I'm gonna tell you after looking at that DFW street, y'all ain't gotta wait for the track, man. Y'all got race y'all got racetracks for roads. That's 
that's like the I mean that one's good but it's sketchy because it's bumpy at the end um Limpy, they should have went to Eagle. They could have probably went faster on Eagle than 28th. Huh? Oh, they could. They could have fucking let the ball. They could let the fucking whatever. On that if run. that if that's bad to y'all, I would hate to know what you would think if you got on one of the asphalt runs. <laughs> <up here. laughs> yeah, dude, you'd look at us and be like, "You race on a goat path, <laughs> bro." I've had like eight people tag me in this post. What the fuck is this? Hold on. Oh God. It's getting better. <laughs> it gets better every day. I knew if anyone would carry. Oh yeah, Land, that, that's what it is. What's this? Oh, about oh shit. Well, we oh, need a more. We're, I'm. I don't. I don't. Here, hold on. So, I, so everybody's. I'm get, keep getting tagged in this, and they're like, "This." Somebody just said, "That's how you roll." I don't even. So I love how a guy that wrecked a car on a buy run in a five car cash day thinks someone gives a fuck what he thinks about racing front side with a tree. The world we live in. What? Wait, what? I'm confused. I don't know. I, mean, I think everyone's confused. Uh, Need more context. Yeah, I'm reading. I'm reading comments because uh, I don't. I, I don't. don't know. I don't need a. Who I, don't to, I don't know. I don't. I don't get on Facebook and have to stir drama and talk shit. I ain't. You know. I, I'm. I'm a better man than that. I. I, I ain't gonna lie, Trey. I hate the whole racing on gravel shit, dude. I'd rather race on the baddest road you can find that you can go as fast as possible on. Well, that that also, but then you got me. Then you got people that want to have the advantage too. They want they they can't they they build their car for different stuff. Like I want to go in the middle of that street we tested on and film, and I want to see people on the damn bumper. Like that's cool shit. All right, you <clears throat> did uh, Texas two K. That's where uh, oh. Uh, Oh shit! Uh, Boogeyman, uh, cheese from Cali stood on the bumper out there. Oh, uh, let me ask that road we were on. That same road. If you yeah. go watch thirteen, if you go watch thirteen twenties newest video that they just put out, that road they raced on, mm -hmm. and that video is the same road y'all were on. Well, what I was going to ask was that one of the old roads that y'all used to use in like the original thirteen twenty cash yeah. days, the DVDs. Yeah, yeah. I, I, well, I mean, he didn't. He didn't come around until like I've already four or five in. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, we used to use them roads, and then the, they built them new warehouses to the north. Uh, I guess to the or whatever further. You know, yeah. you could see the new warehouses. So we went over there, and then the, you know, twenty four hour stuff started rolling in there. So we went back to that side. Yeah, like, then it got a little too rough. Like I like I know that ain't nothing yet, but dude, that was like. That was as crazy as anything, just getting to be, because that shit I watched, and that's what kind of got me into this long, long, long time ago, and actually be like, man, this is some badass shit. Yeah. Like, just sitting there and think about the history on that. That same road, if you go down to the other end, it used to be the city titties used to straddle them little city titties. We call them city titties. I don't know what y'all call them, but uh, the little little deal like that, but yeah. you used to run down that way, and you'd run towards where y'all run now where you start now but uh i mean that was 2005 2004 2006 you know that era Dude, that's why i was like we had talked because we went in uh we had eight and then went walmart and it was like we came out and it was 11 something i was like you know we can still make it to the gut if you want to make a hit and stuff and then we had talked to boost and he sent a spot he's like nah i'm going to do this i was like yeah let's go do that we're gonna be at the gut all weekend this is like a once in a lifetime chance might as well <laughs> I'm glad that y'all got to experience that though. You know what I mean? Coming down here to to race for small tire gangsters is awesome. We appreciate that. But uh, for y'all, they like knocked some bucket, couple bucket list deals off while you were here. You know what I mean? That's that's cool. Oh, dude, he was. That's why I was laughing. Houston was sold after that, and then we go in and he gets to see one of his favorite OG Dallas Cowboys players in a freaking Whataburger. I was like. Like, yeah, I seen man, your, I seen your message at like four o'clock in the morning or something. Yeah. And I was like, that's wild. Like this dude, it's crazy. Cause I go in there and I use the bathroom and there's this dude just changing in the bathroom. I'm like, shit, I can't get in there and piss or nothing. I'm like, man, some man's really just changing here. And like, there's this badass G wagon outside. And that dude just walks out of the bathroom. And we're like, Holy shit, that's my chlorophyll. <laughs> God dang. Yeah. Let's see. Uh -oh. uh -oh. Let's see. Bill Goldberg. Bill Goldberg has, what time Bill is it Goldberg now? Has joined the chat. Five minutes. Uh, yeah. 
twenty five minutes. It's five minutes in Indiana. What What are you talking about? We're gonna see how long it took. Uh, uh, how long it took for uh, if if it was a Kentucky five minutes or a Indiana five minutes. Oh. We're seeing how long it is. I just got done working, and then when I tr- I tried to get on like ten or fifteen minutes ago, it made me it made me get the app. I had to open the app up on my phone to get in the into the thing. I usually just go into whatever you call it, fucking Google oh, yeah. or the internet. Yeah, we had some we had some fucking it's sci-fi shit long. earlier. Yeah. Oh lord. We were talking about NASA and shit like that, and we fucking got almost got shut down, like instantly. Really. Oh my nest being stewed, huh? I'm already on it. What? Just look at the name. I already did it. No, I trained yeah. you on it. Like, you did? <laughs> yeah. I, I did it like I did it like a couple minutes. I did it like as soon as he came on. What is it? Damn. Look at checking your name out. I can't read it. It's too small. I don't have my glasses on. It says index Jeff. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> 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 Stop it. <laughs> All I know is on your index pass, when that bitch let go of the tire, I was like, damn, he's trying to spray the shit out of it. <laughs> I wish it don't have no buttons in it. Oh, oh nothing. Everything's on, sw- on uh, uh, switches. A timer. It's on a timer. <laughs> but I mean, Jeff, had you won $20,000, you would have wore that index Jeff name with pride, huh? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can tell you this: the chances of me winning that twenty thousand dollars were zero percent <laughs> at best. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. So, uh, what do you think of the gut? Uh, it's awesome, the man. I mean, it's it. I mean, I wanted to go there for a couple. I've been wanting to go and wanting to go, and and I mean, still, my I didn't have a car ready, unfortunately. Uh, which really sucks right now, man, because, I mean, I got three cars that are, two cars that are 80% ready and one car that's 60% ready, and the only thing holding everything up is parts, really, you know, and, and then once the parts get here, there's X amount of time, but, none, I mean, it was still awesome to go down there and hang out and get to make a couple passes down the track. I mean, it's a it's a neat place for sure, you know. I mean, everybody will agree on this. One thing that's cool about no prep racing is, you know, sometimes it gets old going to your standard drag strip. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, I mean, and then on the other hand, you know, sometimes like, I'll give you an example. When I go to dig or die, it's kind of nice to have all that room for a change. And you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's not my favorite race or anything of the year. I, it's all right. It's okay. And everything, I'm not dogging it, but I'm just saying, you know, it's kind of cool there that you got asphalt parking and, you know, there's plenty of room for everybody. And then, uh, but I'd still rather be at a shithole track every weekend or, or a street. You know what I mean? Like, and that's what's cool about the gut. I mean, when it's hard to turn from the tur- uh, staging lanes onto the track, you know you're at the right place, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. You got to go through a damn whoop section to get yeah. in onto the track. Like, yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's cool. A, yeah. I like the table and- between the burnout box for gambling for dice and shit. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the whole vibe down there is awesome. I mean, I'd never get old racing down there for sure, you know. Yeah, and you got to meet uh, Super Tuner Steph this weekend. Yeah, yeah got to meet man. Steph on. Cool dude, man. I mean, I talked to him on the phone a ton. And, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, I finally got to put a face to the or a, a face to the name or the boy. Voice. He's ugly, isn't he, Jeff? Yeah, <laughs> dude, I loved it when they had that. Uh, uh, Fisher had that big old fucking sign of his head. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll send you. I'll send you a picture. I seen somebody posted one. Trey, I know you got that picture. Hey, send it you, to Limpy. You just saying that, Limpy? That was like one of the best experiences of the weekend. I put a lot of uh, fa- names to faces this weekend. Finally, hey, the, the cars that the Stefan tunes are impressive. Yes. For what they are, they're extremely impressive. Yeah, I don't mean that in a negative way. I'm yeah. saying like, you know, little pump gas nitrous motors passing turbo cars on the big end. You know, that tells you everything you need to know. He, they got their shit together over there. Hey, Stefan's a bad mofo. Like, the, he's one of the lone nitrous guys that still stand around in like the Texas area, and he he shows out. Oh yeah, for sure. 
Yeah, it's cool to get to meet some people for sure. Yeah, yeah that's that was awesome. so. Yeah, that was great. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they take that sign with them everywhere. It's awesome. Like even when Stefan's not there, you'll see them holding the sign up. And they're like, "Our tuner's always here. <laughs> <laughs> He's always with us." Yeah, yeah. So. Know, since we got y'all both on, let me pull hey, this. Up. Stefan's a big customer, though, man. We do a we do a lot of struts and shocks for Stefan. He sends a lot of stuff down here. I mean, probably, I think uh, probably a lot of the cars that were there, we had our suspension on them, which is awesome. Yeah. Here y'all go. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Don't oh, mind. This is awesome. See Jeff's face right here. <laughs> 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 here. I didn't realize my shirt's all fucked up like that. I mean, a patched shirt's all fucked up like that. Hold up, let me pull the other. This is the best part of him when he does this. What do you think about this? Hold up, where is it? Oh, this guy. Say nothing. He ain't gonna talk shit. He ain't gonna talk shit. And cut, cut. <laughs> hey, I have Corey. I have the whole video saved on my phone, and it's awesome because at the very beginning he says action. And oh, I got that too. I got that too. I got it all. <laughs> yeah. That's where we watch it. They just stop and cut. <laughs> <laughs> Just know when the sign oh. comes out, we 100% have it wicked up and feel like we have you covered. Yeah. That's in future reference, if for some odd reason they pull up against anybody, no, I see that sign. Dog, hit the scramble. Hit the scramble. Yeah. <laughs> Bet on this side. Bet 20 on this side. <laughs> that tie kills yeah, old, old Street of Mundo kind of caught me off guard there for a hot second. Hey, I love it that Jeff's like, who the fuck is this guy? And then when he realizes it's Limpy, he's like... Oh shit! Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. That no, was a good go. time, man. I'm glad we came. And I'll tell you what, though, I'm getting too old for that shit. I mean, I didn't go to bed on Thursday night. I mean, our flight left at 5 a.m. and we had to drive to 10 Seoul. We were two, you know, had a two-hour drive to the airport. Well, we went and picked Jason up. You know, we wrote that was the plan. Anyway, so we got there. Friday morning at seven in the morning, got a little nap for like an hour in, in Raska's trailer. And that was, that was about it, you know? And then we didn't get back to the hotel room until what? Four 30 Saturday morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Four 30 Saturday back morning. I got, I got, I got some sleep then, but then Saturday Hey, I heard night, you, hold on. I heard you got pulled over leaving the was, gut. That was, uh, was that Friday night or sat? No, that was, that was Saturday night. Saturday that was after night. it was over, yeah. Yeah, after it was over. And here you go. You guys are going to love this. Oh, so shit. I get pulled <laughs> over at whatever it was, th- 4 o'clock in the morning, probably 3 in the morning. And uh, I didn't know that Julie had a case of White Claw in the back seat on the floorboard. And it had broke. And there was White Claw cans all over the floorboard. And, of course, she was drinking one when the cop pulled us over. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys think she did with the white claw out the window yeah. nope stuck it up between her boobs while no. it was <laughs> luckily was, I that, was that the 16 one night or was that the 17 yeah. uh no 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 that was not the 16 night that was friday night oh, okay yeah because she was she was a rip what they what they pull you over for 10 miles an hour over the speed limit and changing lanes without signaling. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Welcome to Texas, buddy. Probably glad you didn't have tent. They got you for that motherfucker, too. They got you for tent and everything else they could have. Yeah. No, he was actually real cool. I bet I wasn't even pulled over for five minutes. He ran my license, said, I'm going to give you a verbal warning and let you all go. And I was like, cool. Thank you, sir. Yep, yeah. thank you. Yep. <laughs> That, yeah, that cop was like, oh, shit. 
Part two index, index Jeff. Jeff. You're index Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> you're in oh my god dude you make one horrible uh, index pass and you never live it down for the rest of your life not on this show you don't you know what i think i'm gonna do this year i'm gonna order the i'm gonna enter the million dollar bracket race oh shit. <laughs> dude. Oh, i'm just man. saying there, there might be we'll have to put it in there might be index jeff uh Apparel at War in the Woods this year. Oh my god! Oh my god. god. <laughs> I'd rather y'all um, show pictures of my legs on the internet every day. I'm a, I'm gonna get me a shirt. No more. War in the Woods that Play says no I heart index Jeff. <laughs> I heart index Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> Should have told him you were with Pat McCrotch. Oh boy, that's gonna be the. We're having the index Jeff class at War in the Woods this year. What's the entry fee? Fifteen dollars. <laughs> oh boy! Oh motherfucker! Damn. Damn it! Yeah. Now, I, I, where Spooled Media posted the videos from this weekend? Uh, Trey, they're on my YouTube page. Just look up Spooled Media. You already posted all of them Fridays and Saturdays. I've got uh, both twenty eight, and I put little gangsters up tonight, and. When everything kind of went to hell Friday night, I didn't get as much of the classes after the other classes after first, second round. So, yeah, I didn't get as much as I wanted to this weekend. I could have got more. I feel like Trey's looking. Ass. Trey's looking for his probably foot break. I think I didn't get that. Oh. Uh, that'll be Lamont Forever Grudge got that one. Was you that pissing? He, that, yeah, I had to take a lot of pisses this weekend. So. <laughs> I didn't, take, I didn't take the camera or the mic in, so y'all are good. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Index or nothing. Then I have Jeff sign it. Oh God, <laughs> this is getting way out of control. Thanks to you five motherfuckers. <laughs> hey, I just came on and they said, "Hey, you know what his new name is?" And oh, I'm, they got you primed up. They I got me the primed. Too is limpy. <laughs> yeah. What? What happened? Yeah. What? I don't know what happened. Dude, know. Oh, you don't know what happened? <laughs> hey, hey but what did I miss on the show tonight so far? Uh, Lamont came on. Uh, Lamont about got in trouble. Uh, actually, he did get in trouble. He got her whole feet shut down for like five minutes. <laughs> it could have been a mix of him and Trevor. But... Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, that's, that's a good, that's a good uh, thing. Can we get what did Trevor? Jeff trend? Did you ever send those videos to uh Trevor? Yeah, I said, dude, I sent it to him as soon as we as soon as I sent it to as what soon did as he say did back? I can't remember. Uh, I'd have to go back in the group and look. I was talking shit to Trevor, but yeah, I'll uh, send it to Limpy. You can put it up on here I will too. say that we all we talked about it all for shit for two weeks that somebody was gonna go 450 at the gut. Not even fucking close. Damn. Not even really. Close. I'll tell you one thing, buddy. Uh, if you if if unless you'd have to be blind to not realize how dominant Ryan is right now. That's oh. facts. That's facts. I mean, that's a, I mean, I mean, even like Corey. I was talking to Corey at the race, you know, and I said it even myself. You know what I mean? Like, man, Cantu looks fast right there, and then, or you, you know, or or. Uh, uh, I mean, bank they, robber, Varney, yeah, any of I those mean, guys. They, 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 they know it. I guarantee if you talk to Rob right now, he'd say, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I think the only time that Ryan ran it out to the finish line was in the semifinals and the finals. So Rob, he, we, we asked Ryan today, we said, what was your closest race of the weekend? And he said, bank robber, bank robber was, I oh, think yeah, he said, by he, was, far. Yeah. he said he was at his, at his quarter, at his quarter panel or at his fender. He hadn't watched the video yet, but he said that was the closest race that he had yeah. all weekend. That was also the loudest race. <laughs> yeah. That was a good race. Uh, yeah. But you know, he, he, uh, he definitely got her dialed in. That's for sure. Yeah. Dude, that I, thing I'm, is a lying. I mean, is there ever a time you pictured there would be pro-charged Hemis and big blocks of that caliber going down the gut? 
You know what, though? That After being there, that really doesn't surprise me, and I'll tell you why, and I'll bet Ryan would tell you this, too. I'm not saying it's easy, because it's not. But when the first couple hundred feet of the track is as good as that, and you have that much momentum, you see what I'm saying? It makes you be able to go through the bad stuff that much easier, you know? So the guys that, you know, and that and point blank, uh, if you notice up there, ain't nobody out 60-footed Ryan. No. Not yeah, I, was like, I don't even think, like I said, I don't even think I seen him make one full pass all weekend and I that because he had to, but everybody else. Well, and that's, I, we asked him what a 60 foot was today, and it's, you would think he was 60 foot and way harder than that, and he wasn't. He really wasn't. I mean, oh, I bet he went, I'm going to guess and say he went 117, 116 in that area. Really? Not even that fast? Yeah. Said the fastest one all weekend was a 21. Damn. I mean, that's kind of surprising because, I mean, <clears throat> you know, that track, that, that, the, it was good up there at, in the evening when the sun Dude, was down. I mean, it was yes. insanely good. Oh, you, that first 200 foot, throw whatever you want at it. Yeah. It was sticking. But you I know it kind of had that Waggler vibe too, you know, how it's yeah. like Waggler set up like that too. Exact same thing. Yeah. I thought the same thing. But, you know, I noticed too, like, if you, if you walk down track there, like I walked the track. It's obviously not been scraped in forever, right? So you got a ton of rubber down there, and it's got craters everywhere. So you you know you get in the, you get in the situation where you got a ten inch tire that's got five inches of it touching the track. And I noticed, you know, guys were running some ballast too. I mean, and, and which is what you do too. You know what I'm saying? So the, the then you run into the problem of, you know, you they they can only get after it in the sixty foot so much because of the per, weight percentage on the car. You know what I mean? But they yep. need the weight down track to keep the mm -hmm. car stuck, you know? So um, th it, there's obviously a, on a place like that, like a lot of other tracks, it, it has a lot to do with how the car's set up to, you know, to get in down there and run in the four seventies and, and, yep. you know, cause that's like Friday night when we did the, uh, the uh, home run derby deal, it got down to Barney, Ryan and can too. And they all three decided they were going to split and just save everything for Saturday. It was late. We're going to go home, yada, 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 which we were pissed about it. We let them know that we were very pissed about it because. I couldn't believe they did that. Yeah. Um, and. I heard um, that I heard the uh, ambulance uh, left. Is there any truth to that? There was no uh, there. They had said their con their contract with the, our contract with them was till 3 a.m. We called and paid for a whole nother hour to be able to, because we were running up on three o'clock and yeah, yeah. Shan, we, we had told Shannon that. And, uh, I don't know if it would, it was relayed to a, a racer or what, but it spread like wildfire through the pits and everybody was like, well, fuck, we're done at three o'clock, blah, 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 blah. We had already went and forked over their pay, actually double their hourly rate just so they would stay another hour. Yeah. Cause we could have finished. I mean, if you, if I could have ran them right then they were in the semis, we, they were fixing the draw to see who got the bottom of the finals and then who was running each other. Could have ran them right then 20, 30 minutes of cool down and then finish the finals. We'd have, I mean, we'd have been done. Everything else was wrapped up. So we had a thousand dollars on, uh, who had the fastest pass of the night. And, uh, <laughs> we started looking at draggies and it would, they were all, so close together uh ryan was like let's just get an official call from the tower so we went to the tower and looked through all everything and Cantu ended up getting a thousand dollars in the chain for that day for that one. Oh, that's yeah because he was making he was making passes i know ryan didn't yeah, look like he, he he didn't make hey make whatever it. whatever ryan figured out from friday night to saturday night Props to that dude because I, I think Cast Cantu had the faster vehicle Friday night. Oh, I really yeah, do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know, when I seen Saturday, not not the knock Steve or anything, but fucking Ryan made a, a hit and then totally got off of it like five hundred foot and then didn't have to get and he was racing Steve. Yeah. And you know, I don't know if Steve lost a tire or anything, but I mean that's just how fast he's rolling. Tom, we well, you, you know, hey. If that makes you really go like this, that, that makes this statement right here, right? Like bank robber was pretty close, you know, gave him a good run, right? But makes you wonder what you build for a combo when, you know, it's hard to outrun a big block, uh, you know, uh, to run a, an, a a stock block LS against that or, a, you, you know what I mean? Even the blower billet LS, you know what I mean? Like, 
like they say, there's there's no replacement for displacement. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. uh, why they put cube? You know that's why in class racing there's all them rules, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, so you know, and like Cantu, Cantu actually has a bigger cubic inch motor than Ryan does. Um, but dude, I right now, unless somebody convinces me different, Pro Charger is just. I think mm-hmm. I don't know if it's the tuning capabilities or what, but it's the Pro Charger is dominant on every aspect right now. Well, they're so easy to tune. That's the big difference between a turbo car and the blower car. The negative side to the Pro Charger is it's extraordinarily hard on parts. Yeah. yeah. Big time, you know, so. Um, I was telling somebody this past weekend, and I, I can't remember who I was talking to, but I remember when turbos first came out and they couldn't 60 for shit, but they was fucking get you on the big end. Now they're, they're 60 in and they're getting down, but now you're seeing nitrous cars out mile per hour turbo cars and it's just the way technology's evolving yeah everything's got its own place it was nitrous then it was turbo and now it's pro charger you know but i mean look at look how long it took the pro charge guys i mean they're figuring it out now but a lot of these pro charge guys couldn't 60 foot their front half was absolutely garbage and if they mm-hmm. could if they got lucky and had enough mile per hour out the back they could run some of these guys down that's not the case anymore. These dudes are the, they figured out the front half and they put the whole combination together and it, it's just, it's hard to beat. Yeah, Jeff. You, oh yeah. You need to, uh, I, I was thinking about this too. Uh, uh, have, uh, between rounds, you know how they have cage girls that does round one. You do, mm-hmm. you do round girls on the track. That's a with good signs, idea. That's with signs, signs. Big with O titties classes. and a big block. Yeah, with it, this know, is a uh, song or whatever, you know, small whatever, tire, whatever. Tire, uh, little gangsters yeah. is a little gangsters, yeah. small tire, whatever the class is. And then you have the girls walking around with the sign. So the yeah, whole yeah. Crowd you know, do it, do a yeah. lap or whatever. You got yeah. a right lane and a left lane and they got to walk the whole eighth mile and back. So you take a little. Oh, no, that's God, no. God, no, have them, hey, have them just walk to like 200 foot and back. So everybody gets a nice view of both sides. 60 foot. 60 foot out. There you go. Do the little twirl. It's like it's like it's a runway. Big high heels yeah. too, right? And and oh, every yeah, time for sure. Yeah, every yeah time. I want to see them fucking fall over. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, and when the and when they get past the tree, Limpy just walks out and goes and cut. <laughs> <laughs> no, so not Limpy. Pat. Pat. So not Limpy. And yeah. action. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 yeah I you know, uh, there's something in between the rounds so you know what's going on. I know you got Jamie on the mic uh, doing that, but, you know. Oh, no, you do don't. it just like a fight. And, and and our beautiful round girls entering the track now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Jamie, Jamie can do this, no problem. Hey, yeah. talk, about getting, talk about getting a monster energy or some type of light. Like, that's sponsoring this no prep race, and that's a great way to do it. They sponsor all them. They, they, wear the, they wear, like, the Red Bull outfit or something. Yep. There yeah. you go. I do have an idea. Uh, you know, something I was talking about, like for y'all's Friday, if you were wanting to get like really gangster with the small tire, y'all think y'all could get 16 small tire guys to put in 500 each and pay 10,000 to the winner? No split, no nothing. Just so originally, when gangster, we, gangster. Originally, when this first started, it was supposed to be 16 cars with a thousand dollar buy in, 20K mm. to win. That's and badass, too. I only had seven. Literally, the, that that was posted for like a month and a half, two months, and only seven guys paid. Well, didn't pay, but confirmed that they would be there and and would race. And it just got to a point where I had so many questions about these like other small tire guys. Um, they wanted to run, but they're like, dude, I'm not getting a thousand dollar buy in. But yeah. so we came up with the home run derby idea. Like it's okay. it's pretty much a. a just a shootout, just a small yeah. tire shootout, two hundred fifty dollars buy-in, winner take all. But then we put the thousand on top for uh, fastest um, ET of the night. Yeah. I think Julie's down like this. Word Woods, Woods, Woods needs white, white claw girls. <laughs> oh shit, Julie be all over that, dude. And I so I actually got an email uh, Friday morning, and I've been waiting on it for a while. Modelo had came on as the beer sponsor for small tire gangsters, but they didn't realize that it, they thought it was next weekend, not this weekend. Ah, shit. 
Yeah. So then the dude told me, he's like, dude, we apologize. We read the dates wrong, blah, 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 this, blah, blah. So actually Modelo said that guaranteed they would be on for the next small tire gangsters and have a whole beer truck there and give out free beer and all that shit. So. Oh, that's all. Awesome. That's cool. Hey, uh, uh, be prepared when you guys see the purse for small tire at, at war in the woods. Sponsors are still coming in right now. We got we took seven we got seventy five hundred in sponsorship today. Wow! Oh sponsors. yeah. So, yeah, it's crazy. Oh yeah. Over thirty. Oh yeah. So it should be uh, staggering. I think is a good word for it. You know. Well, if they think that's big, wait until they see the Thursday night table show. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. They might they, they they might not want to see that. They might take it back after they see that. <laughs> Tell them just no refund. Cancel. Like Pat McCrotch Cancel. fucking gets on Cancel. there. Cancel. Oh, oh yeah. Lord. <laughs> hey, we got I got you a present, Limpy, but it's a, it's top secret till I decide oh. the right time to unveil it. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> That's and scary. Cut. And cut. You're going like cut. <laughs> you guys, the, 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 everybody else is going to think it's hilarious. Oh, shit. I'm going to tell you, if you got him like one of those big like, <laughs> Halloween costumes that's the blow up that you get inside, but it's a racing Christmas tree <laughs> to stand there and play. I can see Jeff doing that by the people wearing big pussies, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Hey. Remember, hey, just so that everybody knows too, help help me out here is for the purge. I, I always say this every week. Remember, it's a hundred percent payback, five grand guaranteed on top of that, plus all sponsor money. And there's damn good sponsor money for that event too. So it's gonna, you know, we get 30, 40 small tire cars there, it's gonna be a real good payout. Is that in two weeks? Not this coming weekend, but the following week. Oh, they canceled pretty much every. They take the canceled Texas Radio Roundup and all of that stuff. We've got ninety eight percent chance of rain for like the next eight days or nine days. Oh really? Wow. Yeah. It's hot, yeah, well, Indy boy. It was eighty five today. Well, it was hot here too, but yeah, uh, today, but uh, still not hot up here. <laughs> Is it still cold up there? Yeah. Still hey Mike, I got a bunch yes, of I got a bunch of Canadian firefighters staying in my Airbnb. I just moved in today. Oh, it's going to be rowdy in there. The firefighters convention is in downtown Indianapolis this week. Oh boy, yeah. Better send a cleanup crew after that. I told them. Be I. I talked to them. I go. You guys behave yourself in there. Dude, Better talking about a- talking about Canada. How about Richard Guido driving his car from Canada all the way to Texas? Shout out on the, this morning, or uh, yeah, like the dude Canadian. drove all the way from Canada down here and then actually went rounds in a couple of those classes at the gut. Like seeing that car dude, go he down drove, the gut was. He drove from Alberta too. That's not close. That's a far right. drive. Yeah, twenty-two uh, like, hours is that right? Or no, it was it had to be more than that. Had to be more than that. I, I don't know how much you pay attention to Facebook, but. Like he had made friends with Houston and Chris and all them that came with us. Well, he didn't realize we all live close to Tick Performance, so we ended up bringing his extra tr- uh, transmission back because he was going to have to have it shipped from. Uh, I think he said he was going to ship it from Texas to Tick since he was already down there. Like, nah, we'll take that right up there for you. Yeah, hey, super nice guy, man. Yeah, that super car's cool. Really badass too. Super humble, super cool, and it like, dude, for him to drive that car all the way there. Go to Summit, get all the stuff he needed, make the changes, and then go rounds at the at Yellow Belly. Like that, dude, that was gangster, dude. Yeah, I'm that's... telling you, those drag and drive guys are a different breed for sure. Oh, There's I no fucking way I would have done the that. car over to get it to drive home. He changed <laughs> all four wheels, hooked his trailer up, and, and serviced the whole car before he took off to go. Oh. Pretty cool. Yeah. I didn't I didn't realize it was a banger car until I seen him make it. A... Made his first pass. I was like, it's a fucking banger car. Pontiac turbo stick car. Pontiac motor in it. Yep. Dude, and watching the people on the starting line when he got up on the chip was amazing. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was, it was like, you see people ducking. Well, you're at the gut too. So, I mean, you hear, <laughs> you hear loud shit. You thinking, <coughs> it's, think it's, either somebody on the, it's either somebody on the chip or somebody going postal. 
Hey, I'll tell you one thing. I'm not, I usually don't have time to be gambling a lot, but since I wasn't really racing, uh, one of my customers, buddy, Cody Wagoneer, that blue, the blue SN95 or whatever, that car is pretty fast. New Edge, New and Edge. When, and, yeah, New Edge, sorry. And when he, uh, when he raced Barney, I went up there and I got $300 bets on the line. I knew, I knew he was going to smoke him. And, uh, dude, one of the guys tried to run off and not pay his bet. Oh, boy. So then uh, Ray no. told me, he goes, man, you got to be careful. You got to keep an eye on the guys you're betting with up there because they'll take off on you. Yep. Does this yep. guy not know what you'll do for $15? That was a hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. been a massacre on the starting line. They probably went through him from the staging lanes out to the highway. <laughs> <laughs> did he end up paying you or did you just? Yeah. No? Oh, okay. Well, you know what's funny? Listen to this. You know, you make the bet, and then after the race was over, I turned around and looked, and I was like, I think that dude right there owes me a hundred bucks. And I looked at him, he didn't say nothing, and then I then then I remembered, and then I uh, then he came and he gave me the hundred bucks. Yeah, you're like, yeah. huh? What? Yeah. Like it's it's that one moment you want to be like, dude, that's Goldberg's brother. Don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goldberg. <laughs> yeah, me and Jason Terrell both said for the next little gangsters, we'll be there and we'll have our shit together, ready to yeah. go. You know what I mean? I'm not saying we're going to go down there and win. I'm just saying I I'm going to be prepared to roll in there and race, you know? Now, the question is what what side of the car are you putting your dial in board on? Uh, I'm old school. <laughs> I just use shoe polish. <laughs> just use, yeah. <laughs> You're going to have the digital board lit up? No. No, I'm going to figure out a way to remove this index Jeff stigma from myself. <laughs> <laughs> that's, let, that's priority number one right now. <laughs> let, me, let, let me put it this way. Your chip for the 50 grand race, it will say, well, it's already got index Jeff on it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Not I mean, the, it's kind of fitting. The name kind of fits, so. Yeah, it's not the nickname I was looking for, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're still close after my phone, so. That yeah. Makes, uh... Yeah, that, that would have kind of put, put the cherry on top of the night. I mean, having to pull Jeff off of some dude. Would... For a hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, for a hundred bucks. <laughs> Yeah. As you see, everybody with the camera, don't do it, Paul, and let him finish. <laughs> yeah, let him finish. Like, bro, this man's going to kill this guy. Like, we're, just, we're going to have a murder at the damn gut. Hold on. Yeah. Wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, I was going to say, probably not the first time. <laughs> hey, I heard yeah. that story. Is that true? That's the reason it's called the gut, right? Which one? Which story? Which... There's a lot of them. Fudge well, Fudge told me that the reason they oh. call it the gut is because of the stabbings and the in the, the stabbings and the shootings down there over the years. Is that true? Yeah. That's why they, they, it, they call it the gutter and the gut is short for the gutter. Cause that's, I mean, there's, there's been multiple stabbings and shootings and all kinds of stuff there. And coincidentally, it's usually over unpaid bets and s stuff like that. Yeah. Now I don't know. I'm sure you heard Poland. Uh, somebody on Friday referred to it as the Mexican war in the woods. I did hear that. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, uh, uh, <laughs> yes. That's the hood version of War in the Woods. <laughs> <laughs> I thought everybody thought that was pretty entertaining. But yes. you know what? You uh, know, there wasn't really. You guys had no incidents, did you? I mean, everyone, everyone uh, was pretty cool, wasn't it? I had to call security a couple times. There was some stuff happening on, like in the parking lots and stuff like that. Some fights uh, and stuff going on. Uh, but other than that, nothing, nothing crazy. Yeah. Uh, I had one altercation in a pit. One of the racers, um, I don't know if he got a hold of the guy actually or not, but dude parked his car literally in his fucking pit spot. It just got out and started walking, and they were pulling the car back up right after the round, and there was some words exchanged, told the dude to move the car, and he basically said, told him, fuck off, blah, 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 blah. And there, it got pretty heated. We had to get security involved, and then uh, – the dude still didn't want to move. Security ended up escorting him out, and his car got removed from the facility on the rollback. Damn. Hey, what, uh, do, you, do you mind uh, telling how many spectators did you all have? What was your count? 
total for both days was 34.18. Shit, that ain't bad at all. Yep. So, oh, that's good. <clears throat> hell yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. We had a guy pull over in his truck and he, he came over. He's like, do you like we had the truck and trailer separated and he was like do you mind if i just pull in right here i'm with the car that's like three down and then we just can't get parked there and i said yeah that's fine just if we gotta move we're gonna come tell you to move it if yeah. we need to load up so he's like oh no no problem no problem I, we don't want no trouble like i just gotta go down here and help my buddy like yeah go go ahead might have been the one buddy that parked in the wrong fucking spot <laughs> yeah no shit <laughs> <laughs> Sure but, like said, did you park in Jeff's spot? You know, big guy, Goldberg, lots of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, I mean, it, it was it was a good event. I mean, didn't have, we had one accident. We got it cleaned up pretty. That was honestly best case scenario when the two cars got into each other. Um, I hate, I hate any wreck, but that, that was best case scenario. And then, um, and what sucked with Caleb is he just got that car like together that, that morning, like both. So Caleb had just got the car ready that morning. The orange car, that was his first pass on that brand new build. That's Lightfoot's car. Yeah. That's, uh, brand yeah. New, I know Josh. Car. Um, and everybody had told him to go test it and do some other things before taking it to yellow belly. And man, when I got down there on the end, he apologized to me probably dude 70 times. And I'm like, Josh, it's, it's cool, bro. Like shit happens. That's I understand right. it. Yep. I, I get it. It's no big deal. We got it cleaned up. You're safe. He's safe. Cars can be replaced. You know, luckily, I think most both cars were just mostly body damage. Um, yeah. Probably a few. I'm sure they'll probably be getting a hold of Jeff if they run Jeff's stuff. I think there was a, a shock yeah. that was bent or strut that was bent. Um, yeah. Watching my video, it, the car wasn't really bad. It's just something just got it just either lost the tire just a little bit or a, bu a hit bump and it just made it. He unloaded. said, he said, he said it lost the tire. He said that he, it, it lost the tire and he said he did. He felt the ass in just literally come out from underneath him. Um, the bad thing he, is the white car got the brunt of it. The white car no. took the whole tube front end and turbo kit and stuff out. The orange. Yeah, he, he, he's definitely going to, he's definitely going to need a, a turbo and some other stuff. Yeah. But, yeah I mean, that's like the I guy said, that just got it, got it going like at one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Uh, but like when I went down there, there was a uh, dude, the way the cars, thank God it had rain and it was muddy down there. Cause both cars had actually the mud, when they went off the side, the mud scrubbed off so much it's mile an hour down. for both cars. Hey, it's same thing happened down. to Ryan Mitchell when he, when he spun it out at war in the woods on big tires. Remember that limpy mm -hmm. that, that the, the muddy, the mud over there stopped him from going into the woods. Yeah. I mean, because he would have went way in the woods. Yeah. Somebody said, Jeff, as a racer, promoter, track owner, what did you think about the 530 index? Man, you know what? Here's the thing. I think the it's great for the racers. I think they like it. I think they like it. You know what I mean? Without a doubt. I'm not, like, negative. Just for me personally, I don't want to do it. And the, and the reason for that is, uh, like Limpy kind of told me, you know, like – I think the spectator, you know, just like we were saying last week, spectators show up to NHRA to watch top fuel cars and funny cars. They don't give two shits about pro stock or pro stock bikes. They don't care about none of that. You know what I mean? They come to war in the woods to watch badass small tire cars race. You know what I mean? And, and uh, I mean, I have other classes. I'm not a hypocrite, but I, index, I don't want anything that's off a, a tree or a score or I don't want a scoreboard lighting up at all. <laughs> Lippy yeah. made a good point the other night. One thing that's kind of awesome, and I never really thought about that, was, and it happens at War in the Woods all the time. I mean, Lippy, what do you reckon at a regular War in the Woods each night? How many times do we have at least a five-minute pause to review a finish line? Four or five times each night? Uh, maybe, maybe we're getting Four better times. with that, but yeah, you know. And when that happens. That keeps the crowd on their edge of their feet, wondering who won. You know what I mean? Whereas when you have a scoreboard, there's instant gratification. There's no suspense to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, and I could be wrong, but I'm, that's just my. You know, everybody is entitled to their opinion. My opinion is that's that's kind of the for the spectators. I think not having index racing is better for the racers. I think it serves a purpose, right? Yeah. See, and I, and I 
I agree and disagree because there was multiple spectators this weekend as I'm rolling through the, whether it be the vendor row or whatever it was, you know, checking on everybody. Hey man, is this small tire? Hey, is this small tire? Hey, is this small tire? I had, I, there, I probably had 30 different people ask me that because we were talking about it earlier before you came on. 530 is fast. You know what I mean? Like, like you still get that. At, oh like yeah that. i agree with that i agree with you, that you but still get that atmosphere and vibe, but i understand what you're saying with the scoreboards and all of that it definitely when you have a call like that a close call people are on the edge of their seats like holy fuck what's gonna happen you know what i mean it's almost a cliffhanger yeah. if you will and i think you're you're you know like every other business your demographic of your spectators changes like yep. limpy said you could be running honda civics down that track and then people will come out there to watch and bet and party at the gut right happens every thursday and every sunday yeah you know what I, you get what i'm saying so like maybe uh, uh up here in this area you know you probably wouldn't get 50 people to come in and watch that you know just like right. for example go to any bracket index race across the country and you'll see zero spectators you right. know uh but no i think it i mean i think i mean it was uh, it was and it's pretty obvious what's going on there you're you're filling the void of small tire guys that don't think they can compete and you're given the option to go into something where they definitely have a chance if they can bracket race. Right. You, I mean, you know, I mean, that, there's no other way. Well, to and no, and, and, and I, we were talking about it before you came on me and Jimmy Dale had a hour and a half conversation with Ryan Mitchell today and we were asking him kind of his thoughts and opinions on it. And it's like 85% of those cars on that property could go a 530, whether they had to turn it up or turn it down, they could run yeah. that number. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's 10, 10 pushing. Like, and when I say pushing, I mean, heavy pushing 15% of those cars can go a 490 or a 480 on that surface. You know what I mean? And he said, that's why your, I think your class was so big is because all those guys had a chance when there oh, was yeah. only the, all the cars fit the class without. A right. Chance. And you had, then when you only, you know, you have five, six, seven guys, maybe that, can run a 480, mm-hmm. a 470 that were there, like, uh, why? I don't want to say why would you, but it's when you when you know what's fixing to happen, why do you donate $300? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, that was our, like I said, that was our same feelings when, like, don't, don't, don't waste it. We got a good shot at 530, run that. Yeah. Well, and it's, it's, too, so I, there's, think, you know, I think on front sides, that's going to be a big seller for sure. Well, it's also, too, I mean, like Jeff. Jeff said it multiple. He's waiting. He's got two cars right now that are pretty much complete. He's just waiting on parts. The 530 shit, it's fast, and you're not having to put your shit on the ragged edge every mm. single time. Like I, So I think that it appeals to the spectators because you still get that small tire vibe. It's still fast. Um, but it also appeals to racers, too, because it's like, damn, mm. if, I can, if I can go win $20,000 and I only have to push my shit at half the effort, why would I? Why wouldn't I do that? You know what uh, I mean. You know, like, you know another thing. You'd be blown away at how many. Like if you say the spectators that wore in the woods, right? You, I bet you we'd all be floored at the percentage of spectators standing in there that could not give you an accurate uh, description of how index racing even works. Right. You get what I'm saying? The no, and it's not even. Gonna, it's not which, just spectators, Jeff. We had racers coming up to us, and they're like, "I ran a five thirty-seven, and he went a." He went a forty-one. How how did he beat me? And yeah. It's like okay, well one you're going off one you're going off draggy times. And did that man tree the ever living fuck out of you? Well, you, here's the well, here's yeah, one he thing. He treated me pretty good. Here's the thing that that worked out really good for you guys is they they didn't need to know whether it was bracket racing or not because you were turning a wind line on. Yeah. Right. So it, it, to an outsider looking in, it looked like a heads up race. Yeah. Right, Limpy? And, and, yeah. and see, that's the same yeah. thing. I adapt with my races at Shady Side, the indexes. There's no times, no nothing like that shown. All you see is the green on the tree and a wind light. Yeah. And that's yeah, the so aspect. We had, a, we had a whole argument, uh, not really a whole argument, but me and, me and Jim Dale have been arguing since the other night. He was wanting to put the times, the index, you know, after the index class, print out a whole sheet and put them at the, the uh, chip draw table. And I'm like, no, like if we're paying $20,000 on a no prep for index, we're going to make it as difficult as possible. Like, yeah. I don't want any. No, I do think that I thought that was interesting. And I, I kind of agree with you on that. But it's kind of weird if, if you were to tell that to an index racer or a bracket racer that they couldn't see their time slip. 
I would I would assume that a big percentage of them wouldn't even want to run it. Right. I mean, that's the that's the data they use to win the next round. Right. And a, and a weather station. You get you get yeah. what I'm saying. So um, that does drastically change the game. So and, and let me tell you, when when you're racing for twenty thousand dollars with seventy cars, a draggy ain't going to cut it. Right. Yeah. It's not. Yeah, and it, I mean, I had one guy that he came up there and he, I mean, he showed his drag and he went a five thirty with a one, and he's like, "There's no way I lost." He was pissed, and he literally would like he he was adamant that I mean, and I, we told everybody that they'll look at the list, confirm there was no hiccups, anything like that. He wanted to see the list. Dude won a five twenty nine with a two on the timing system and went a five thirty with a wagon here, wasn't it? I think so. Like, yeah. uh, <laughs> you know, it, it's. It, it brings a different environment to it. But I told Tom, you know, next year what we'll do, uh, because we had several people that wanted to see the sheet and they were, you know, they wanted, they just wanted the validation and the confirmation that they didn't get fucked. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so next year what we'll do is it'll be the same thing. No time slips, no anything. If you think, really think that you won, you can come through after the, the last car goes down, there'll be a 10 minute window and I'll have a dedicated person there with the index sheet. Anybody that would like to come look at it can come look at it, but you're going to pay a hundred dollars to do so. Yeah. If you're going to waste that time and do that. And here's the deal that I said, if you, if we were wrong, if something on the timing system was wrong, I will give you your hundred dollars back plus a hundred dollars out of my pocket. Yeah. Well, if see that, the thing, the thing about that is that's silly to protest that because the timing system is the timing system. That's just like when people, start complaining that they didn't red light and they say they deep staged. I mean, that is, that's ridiculous, period. Right, you know what I'm right. saying? And what so that and that's, is you bumped in too far and then you rolled back out of the beams. That's what happened. You know what I mean? Like, like the timing system don't lie. Now right. I'm not saying somebody couldn't print off a different sheet, da, 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 but the, the timing system is the timing system, you know? I got another so, uh, question. Why not just show times? It's indexed anyway. Who cares if they're yellow belly? Don't even have a scoreboard in existence, buddy. Oh, okay. For your place, I'm just saying in general. <laughs> um, I don't. Uh, to me, I think it, it does it. It adds more element to it. Like if you do times and all of this stuff, then it's just another index or a bracket race. You yeah, I, I mean, think, I, I think the way they ran it down there is the best way you could run it because, like I just said, I think the majority of people probably spectators you know they just want to know who won yeah they don't they don't understand the the that end of it you know what i mean so like, we'll do so like we said we'll do a hundred dollars to protest if we're wrong i'll give you your hundred back plus a hundred out of my pocket if you just protested because you're crying you're you're bitching because you lost that hundred dollars will go on top of the pot so there's potential we could have another five hundred thousand dollars or five hundred or a thousand dollars on top before the end of the freaking first round like or second casino round. right now huh uh-huh. It said you're like the casino now. You're betting against a system that's never wrong. So every time yeah. they come up with that hundred, you're just making bank. Exactly, and it, and that's what we said. It'll just go to the pot. If you're gonna wait, if you're gonna use the time effort, and you really think that you the timing system is wrong, absolutely, you can look at the how slip. You, you're gonna. How do you argue the timing system though? The light's gonna go on, or it's not because it's Mike. You know how the time say. Hey, I had at least 10 or 15 out of those 72 cars that came up after a round and when they lost and there was no fucking way they lost. They went this number and their opponent went this number and every one of them. Did you get treed? Yeah. OK, well, that's where you lost that then, buddy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, all the power to you. It's a good way to make money. I'm just saying. Yeah. It's like playing so, slots. They ain't going to fucking win well, that one, boy. <laughs> the, I mean, and the money won't go to us. I mean, we'll just add that to the pot, you know, like it just – there could Man. we could have went from twenty two to twenty five thousand this weekend with all the people that were bitching. It's the crybaby fund. But it's always when you lose, you know what I mean. It's never somebody that's going to question it. That's why I said in the drivers' meeting, I said questions, comments, and concerns. Speak now, or forever hold your peace. Oh, Nobody no, said a word. Happens. Yeah, and then they lose, and somebody didn't, you know, somebody got eight cars put on them, and it's oh, they didn't have a door panel, or they didn't have this, or they're just, missing their fuel door. Right, just something. <laughs> Damn true street people and their million rules. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've heard of the race. Yeah, 
We used to take our protest money if somebody protested it, and I just put it back on top of the pot. So if the winner was getting ten thousand, well yeah. then they get. Somebody 10, said no, no time to a spectator makes it seem faster than it really is. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh for sure. yeah. That is That's, true. Yeah. Jeff, when did you see the uh, the the dude in where's that uh, Lumberton, North Carolina, get carjacked and then get fucking ran off? Oh shit! No. That's bad. Oh, sure. oh, sure. Yeah. Dude, that shit was real bad. What happened? He got carjacked? So the dude got carjacked. He starts shooting a gun at the dude. This dude. And I don't know. Him. This dude, I've, I'm, I've got Doff playing right now in my head. How, how the fuck he missed a whole hundred shots? Playing. You ain't lying. Yeah, he, yeah. Hey, he, he unloaded a whole clip on this truck. You'll, you'll see here in a second. The truck all the way up and then hauls ass forward and fucking watch. Just. You may yeah. have to big screen it, Limpy. Yeah, I can't see that. Watch the dude in the yellow vest right here. It'll pan back over to him. Two, three, four. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. And he never hit him? Yeah, but it gets better. It gets better. Oh, just wait. But wait, it gets better. More. But wait. Yeah. Motherfuckers, they're all yelling, get out there. Ooh. Oh, my yeah. God. Hey, Jeff, mind you, that oh dude is underneath that truck and watch. He just keeps going. Holy shit. Let's try to stop it again. Oh, oh. my God. Yeah, the, the dude in the white with the gray shirt. You'll see him in a second. Let's see if we can stop it. So the guy in the yellow shirt was trying to steal the work truck? No, no. The, the, he was the worker. Somebody carjacked his truck. So the dude that's in the truck is the guy that stole his truck. Oh, the dude in the God. gray shirt there. So he, he was shooting at that guy, and then that guy backed up and full steam ahead. Let's go. Watch this. See, so he takes him and the next one. Oh, shit. Oh, he my can't see. God. You see the dude underneath it. You see the dude underneath it. Oh, my God. You see it right there. Oh, you can't see him. He's, he's still underneath the truck. There's a guy underneath the truck. Did they catch him? I have no idea. I haven't seen any uh, updates on that. Whole that just happened? Like two uh, days ago, uh, yesterday or the day before? Yeah. Gee, that where was that at? Uh, North Carolina, uh, up there by Shady Side. No, it's not it's on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised the guy gave a fuck. That's like a free day off for him. He's like, here, no take shit. your fucking truck. Fuck hey, somebody shit. give that dude a raise because he takes his job serious. Yeah, for real. Yeah, guys who work for me would have handed him the key. And said, see ya. <laughs> We're going to have burgers and fucking chill out for the afternoon now. Yeah, we don't. We tell boss man we don't know what yeah. happened. We got Jack. Sorry, bro, your truck's gone. That's wild. Bro. I never understood videos like that. How the fuck do you miss a guy four feet in front of you with a gun? Yeah. Like that's virtually How impossible. How the fuck you miss a whole hundred shots? <laughs> You see these guys in shootouts and gas stations and shit too, and they're like eight feet apart. Oh, they're, they're like, both they're like shooting. Okay. yeah, they're both shooting they're at each like other, this. and they they probably see, and I can, cap I can off understand. fifty shots and don't hit a fucking thing. I can understand the ones where they're like running around the cars and they're shooting over the top of cars <laughs> and hoods and shit. Like I can understand how you can miss somebody like that, but that I mean, the dude was standing at the window and was still missing. He missed. Yeah, I don't get it. Jeff, did you get to meet Funky Town? I don't know. Who's that? Oh, man. No, he didn't miss. No, no, you Damn didn't it. Funky, you didn't miss. You know Funky Town. It's, just, uh, it's, a, it's a setup. It's a setup. It's, it's a setup. It's a setup. Play that video forever, Grudge. Yes. Yeah. He's, uh, this older, he's this older black guy that comes to all the racing events around DFW, and they call him Funky Town. 
and he's it's gambling worth. on anything and everything. And he, I mean, he's always boom. He booms people. That's where the boom came from. Was Funky oh, Town? Right. Like, yeah. He walks around and he's. I can't do it, obviously, because I can't. But he's fucking walking around with a limp. And he's like, they got the asshole blowed out. They got the asshole blowed out. They going home like this, and he's walking around with a limp. Oh my god. Oh, Thomas man. said that he was shot, or he was shoot, or he was shot. You can survive, you can survive gunshots, gunshots I mean, if you didn't. Yeah, but if somebody's shooting at, shooting at you point blank range, it's usually not good. I'm aiming at the dome. One shot, one kill. I'm still. Yeah, we I go to the I range. Ain't, I, ain't, I ain't taking no. Uh, I ain't doing no warning shots. Warning we shots go to the range twisting. all the time in Florida and do one hand shooting with handguns, and it's pretty fucking easy to shoot ahead yeah. from far. <laughs> Maybe he was just too fucking close. going racing this weekend anywhere? Elk Creek in Virginia. Local two seventy five twenty eight deal slick tire race. I'm in the Where same you prison. Hmm? You what? I'm in Mike? the same prison as you, Jeff. I'm in Park Prison. Wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Limpy, you in Arkansas? Yeah. Uh, if the weather holds out, I'll do it. That's the bad. The whole whole bottom side of the United States is looking at rain for the next few days. So, unfortunately. And then Poland, you you guys probably taking the weekend off and getting ready to for go on the road, huh? Uh, we were supposed to be going to Radio Roundup, but they canceled that. And then we'll be at uh, James Futch's race the following weekend for the Mister Whipple's deal. And then uh, yeah, we're going on that month and a half swing to see all of y'all. Yeah. Sure. Shoot, Shoot that's. May is about to be a busy, busy, busy month. Oh, yeah, May I, is. Uh, May and I think May and June are both going to be stupid. I think they're stupid from here on out, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. Except, yeah, for, no, August, no, except, for, August, except for August. August sitting down what do here. You have a, what do you have for July, Limpy? Because I, I have really cash days. Uh, yeah. Uh, July 12th, uh, 13th. Cream of the crop at the end of uh, July. That's the front side back. Somebody said uh, No Prep Kings was going to be at XRP the first weekend of July. I didn't know they raced at XRP. July July fourth weekend. Yeah, the July fourth weekend. They said they, they said No Prep Kings is going to be at, uh, at XRP. They're not at Ennis no more. So. Hmm. Didn't. Why wouldn't didn't it be that. at? Why wouldn't it be at? Are they eighth mile racing? Yeah. Have they always done eighth mile or they've done yeah. quarter? Yeah, they've always done eighth mile, but it's always been at Motorplex because it's, you know, that's Texas. Yeah. Yeah, you got more, yeah, you got more shutdown too, but I don't know. Uh, from know. what I heard, they're bringing in, they're bringing in like a whole bunch more stands for XRP, like down to the finish line. And, uh, they're, yeah, no prep kings will run small tire and their invitational deal at XRP. So, damn. Do they, uh, do, uh, do, do they do that good on uh, spectators? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't watch I'm the show. A, I've never really seen anything. Yeah, I, have, I have no idea. I just, I thought it was weird that, you know, usually they, I, I did notice the no prep scene schedule went to like a bunch of the smaller tracks. They got away from all the NHRA sanctioned stuff. Hmm, I don't know. I sure. You know, they, the no prep Kings, I think is at beach Bend down in Kentucky. Beach mm-hmm. Bend Raceway, that's a really, really cool track. If mm-hmm. I think you guys have never been there before, but uh, uh, I was gonna look at the schedule and see what that was like. I wouldn't mind going down to that, not because of I just like that track and we don't ever get a race there, you know. It's a cool place, yeah. Where is it? Um, yeah, that's it's not actually Dana White, but. There's there's gonna be some stuff that comes out over the next couple of weeks. It's actually TKO. TKO purchased WWE, UFC, and now they're buying up several racing. Uh, they bought Nitro Circus. What's now TKO? They've bought, it's a big company out of Dubai. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, they're basically, I don't want to say monopolizing the sports entertainment world, uh, 
but that's I mean they bought the UFC and the WWE, then they bought Nitro Circus. Now they brought No Prep Kings. Supposedly they bought some other motocross stuff. Uh, God, which one is it? It's the one that's running at Z Max. Uh, yeah, it's like the well, World they, Supercross League or some shit like that. They bought well, that, and then I heard that they made them offer yeah. on a uh, Monster Jam. Yeah. yeah, the table could be sell people for uh, a cool, you know, ten million. Like, like I'm telling you right now, if if they want to come in and buy Carolina Cash Days, I would say, Seth, here's your part. Here's my part. I'm out. <laughs> I'm going well, on the road. And, and a lot well, of people are wondering like dirty underwear if the price is right. Yeah, uh, you can bottle your parts. Wondered, a lot of people wonder why the season that they already filmed hasn't aired. From what I understand, Discovery was purchased. It was they dropped uh, Deadliest Catch, No Prep Kings, and several other TV shows, and yeah, now they have a deal for that season to air on National Geographic, uh, season six or whatever. And then this next season coming up will be a hundred percent pay per view. It'll be live. You'll pay fifteen dollars or night. I've heard. Four different prices now, all the way up to twenty nine ninety nine. But you'll buy, uh, just like Flow Racing, you'll basically buy an event or a season pass and get to watch every single event live. I, ain't that some shit? Like you're tuned into the National Geographic tonight. After watching two G, uh, two giraffes humping, you can watch Street <laughs> Outlaws. No prep game. <laughs> I, I just want to be on fucking naked and afraid. Hey, is, did somebody see something as uh, yeah you do? Is uh <laughs> is Big Chief coming back into it? No. I thought I saw that was probably some kind of fake thing on Facebook. No, um the only changes they made was so this year there's no weight rules. There's no it's it's literally run what you've run. Um from what I understand. Are they doing seven. are they still big tire or they do they do small tire? They have small tire. They have a small tire class now that you can okay. enter. I think it's five thousand to win or something. But from everybody that I've talked to, uh, I don't want to name any names. I don't want to get them in trouble. But they've been to. They started it last year and they went to eight of the fifteen events and they didn't finish a single race. They just basically act small tire out because they didn't have time. Split the money between who was left. Sweet. So yeah, that's shit. That's kind of like the, another promoters that that uh they pay for people to show up and then they have a big tire class and then they got you know triple the field and small tire show up but they don't add no money on small tire but they put money on big tire so, i don't thomas, understand it thomas said someone on the show also said they're selling rights to netflix and other streaming services so i know in 2025 or 2026 wwe is going exclusive netflix only yep so I wonder if there's probably some truth to that. If yeah. they're all going to be under the same TKO banner. Well, and then yep. from what I understand, everybody's going to start moving to a live stuff, like the the live broadcast stuff. Um, Dude, that's why I'm trying to get ahead of the game. Yep. TKO yeah. comes in and uh, offers money for spooled media. I love you guys, but I'm going to sit on a beach for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, it's like Rob just said, cable TV is dead. Did any of y'all still own a cable network? I do. Fuck no. no. I got cable TV say, still. Bro, I got, I, and I have it. Like, I get home and I literally you, click YouTube. I click YouTube internet. and I, yeah, I'm on YouTube yeah, all the time. I'm watching 1320 or Spooled Media or Limpy Stuff or Old Man or Street Racing Channel or Jimmy Dale. Like, there's so many different. I mean, people watch that like your scheduled programmings every week now. Yeah. It's uh, mm -hmm. nobody gets, I mean, Dish and, and uh, Direct I used TV. to have Direct TV and all that stuff, but not no more. Now I just have yep. apps and, and YouTube. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Everybody went to the, you know, Netflix and this stuff and that stuff. But this is what I try to explain to people. Uh, YouTube is 100% free. That's why people are making good money on YouTube is because it doesn't matter what phone you buy nowadays. It doesn't matter if you go buy the $120 32 inch TV, cheapest thing you can possibly buy at Walmart. It's got Roku. It, com it yeah. comes, it comes with that shit pre-built into it. You don't have to pay a single dollar for it. Like I can literally sign in with my email mm -hmm. on a brand new cheap TV and have access to thousands of hours of content on YouTube. Like it's. It um, sucks that they had to put so many commercials on everything now though. I get but that's, it. I, I mean, know it's, why, but it's advertised. You know what I mean? The, they're yeah. looking at, the advertisers are looking at it and saying, well, shit, why would we spend our money? Why would we give 
you know, Fox. Yeah, they made stupid dollars to have of money. TV commercials now because so many more people watch YouTube and all these streaming and things. And look at you're seeing the infomercials start to roll into the YouTube stuff too. Like the when you wake up at two o'clock in the morning, they're trying to sell you vacuum cleaners and shit back in the day. Finger Started, washers. Yeah, these finger washers. You know that the shit like that's starting to pop up. That's on a YouTube. monopoly now. I noticed on because I go back and rewatch my videos too. Just to double check, like on the anything on 28's videos, they're putting in like 40 and 50 second ads now on my stuff. Oh, I'm like, yeah. Damn, oh. shit's getting wow. And you can't skip them somebody anymore. Just, somebody just asked when VIP tickets go on sale. They don't, they usually go on sale about two weeks before the event. So they'll probably go on sale the middle of, uh, middle of May. There you go, Stank. Man, I wonder if TKO would want to buy the rights to War in the Woods. Jeff, let's let's set them up a package deal on our two races. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell y'all they're already heavily involved. Uh, I can't give out too informa- too much information, but somebody very big in the racing world uh, was supposed to be at Small Tire Gangsters. It was a sponsor that was there. Uh, well, they sponsored the event, but then they weren't able to show up because they had a meeting with Dana Y and. Uh, Dwayne Johnson and several big. People I bet I know from, who it is. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, from the TKO group, they met them in Vegas this weekend uh, to have a meeting and stuff about moving forward. So, just in case y'all need to know. Oh, you're an asshole. <laughs> I should have whatever that jank uh, gas station was. We stopped in uh, on the way back in Arkansas. I should have put on the on there. Looking for a good time? Contact Poland at Nitrous Express for all your nitrous needs. <laughs> You're wrong for that. I should have did it. I didn't. Hey, I haven't even been to work since we were on this show last week. I'm sure my email is full of just bullshit. Them Jimmy you Dale put- orders. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy Dale. Mini wings. Dude. We did get a bunch of his orders out today, so hopefully that resolves a bu- a, most of the issues. I do, I need to get one of those mini wings just for simple fact. I want to see if it work, will work on my RC car. Yeah, we totally should put one of those on the RC car. Uh, that's the next thing to add to, during the daytime before everything gets started, some RC drag gambling. So there you go. I can't fit all that shit on an airplane though. And that's, I think that's a good way to involve the, the kids without doing the power wheel shit that everybody hates. You could do yeah. RC races and put a little bit of money on top that, that not only involves kids, but adults as well. It's kind of, both. Hey, they I don't, don't know if you... they don't hate power wheels in Florida. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Hey, Lempy, so where are you at the week down. before uh, war in the woods? War in the woods. Uh, let me look. That's my race weekend. So I just see, I just literally just seen Chuck's logo. I got nothing Limpy. on the on my schedule. Did Chuck oh. never make it, Limpy? Yeah. Oh, he was there. Huh. I've never seen him. When when are you thinking you're going to roll into town for War in the Woods, Limp? I don't know. I can roll up whenever. Right on. How far is it from where you're doing your race, Corey? Shady side, <coughs> you've only said it 400 times tonight. <laughs> uh, you said it I, every time you say, every time Corey says shady side, you gotta either take a hit or take a drink. <laughs> That's the new drinking game of the table. Hey, Jeff, smoke on this, if we if we go to Corey's race and yeah. wanted to leave a toter and a stacker up there with both the cars we're gonna race for War in the Woods, do you have mm-hmm. somewhere we could put them? Yep, okay, yeah, it's a gated, locked place. Because like I think fire. that's going to be, I think that's going to be our plan is to run Corey's race, load everything up, leave that night or that morning, uh, get as close as we can, and then fly home. Because eight hours, Limpy. Up to Jeff's. Yeah, seven hours and forty eight minutes. So by the time you count in traffic, pit stops, food, eight, so eight, eight, and eight and a half hours. Eight and a half, nine hours. No, yeah. I don't. I, I'm not like y'all, man. I ain't got to fucking run and go in and shop and do that shit. I'm fucking. On the road, I'm getting there. Fuck that bullshit. 
fucking <laughs> look around and and all. looking at looking at tampons and shit. Fuck that. I'm <laughs> out, man. I'm fucking getting something to drink and I'm fucking on the road. Burning daylight. Did, you know, uh, like driving in the dark. I uh went and made a dumb purchase today. Well yesterday actually, but I bought a uh, Pontiac G eight with a six the aluminum six two built by Texas Speed in it. And it's fucking amazing. It's so much fun. Ah, cool. Well, I seen you had it this past weekend. Or it was yeah. there. It was there. I had it delivered down there, but I didn't actually get it purchased and deal done until yesterday because all the shit that was going on. But yeah, the pedals I, fit. Uh, everything fits. All right. Just so making sure. Yeah. Have, what I, do you uh, do? Uh, what do you do? If, has your fucking hand control ever like come off while you're driving? Yeah, oh. it's uh, oh shit. You dive into the floorboard and. You thank God I have long arms because I can still look over the steering wheel and touch the brake with my fan. Oh shit! I bet that's so, fucking. So that's why I quit using the uh, my first two cars. Had I had to fucking went and spent eighteen hundred dollars or two thousand dollars having them professionally put in under the steering column, like it's all ran through the steering column. You can't see any of it except for a handle that comes out, and you pull up on the handle for the gas and you press down for the brake. Um, they've got set screws inside of them. Well, all the vibration driving down the road and shit after so long, <laughs> they fall out. And I had one fall out, wasn't a big deal. No big issue. The second one that fell out, I almost got like, it literally almost killed me. Almost. I ran through an intersection and an 18 wheeler missed me by, I mean, literally inches. Uh, Damn. and from that point I said, fuck that. I'll never do that again. I, I, I have hand controls that I buy on Amazon. If you go to Amazon and type in hand controls for disabled people, um <coughs> yeah, TKO 21 billion dollar merger with WWE and UFC. That's that was that was massive. Um, but they have these sticks you can buy on Amazon, they're like $275. Literally wing nut them to the gas pedal and the brake pedal. Now you got I guess you gotta do every once in a while you gotta do a nut and boat check. Yep. <laughs> yep. So now they they put Loctite. Loctite on them. That's the thing, they put Loctite on them, but after I mean, both of them were about a year in and you got to I mean, you have there. It's a moving mechanism back and forth, back and forth. And then the vibration of the, the highway, like uh, never you, good. Got, you got pink eye, Jeff, or no, dude, I got something wrong with me, man. Every as soon as I sit down <laughs> after working, usually one of my two eyes will start itching and watering and it just drives me. That's probably that. Yeah. That's probably all that index racing you did this weekend. Yeah, because I squint at, at that tree so hard because you got to cut such a good light. <laughs> oh, shit. He's looking at a spot down track really hard, figuring out where he's going to drop it at. Holy yeah. shit, this dude. That dude said, I've been paralyzed for 15 years. I drive with two golf clubs, duct tape to the gas and the brake. There you go. Hey, I've drove with the Louisville Slugger multiple times in my life, but I don't know about two golf fucking clubs. Don't hey, take you know what you need to make uh, mandatory for uh, uh, what what was it called? Little gangsters? What was it called? Small tire gangsters. Yeah, little, little gangsters. Small tire gangsters. Oh. You got to wear open face helmets. That way you can look out your side window and see your guy so you know when to drop it like it's hot. <laughs> hey, Jeff, could you imagine looking over and seeing some of with an open face helmet on and a Marvel 100 hanging out of his mouth? Fucking... You'd be laughing. There, there's no way you couldn't. Dude, I've heard... Every time somebody... I see that, I think of that, that old Chinese guy that, that bangs it's like shifting. Yeah. Like, yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've heard There's some a dude. These bracket guys got cameras on the sides of their shit so they can monitor it, just Jesus judge it. Christ. Yeah. Oh, there's a guy in here in Wichita. His name's Daryl Reed. That dude, I've seen that dude fucking in a uh, 50s model Corvette. It's just a little small block stuff he index races. Uh, but that man will pull up with an open face helmet with a fucking cigarette. And I'm talking about sometimes that ash will be that long on that fucking <laughs> cigarette. And hey, that motherfucker will leave the tree. And the ash will still be there. And I'm like, how did it not fall? And he'll come back, still have fucking half the cigarette will be ash. Dude, I was laughing like five years ago. I was at US 60. This is no bullshit. I don't know who the dude was. There was a small tire race down there. And uh, I was up on the starting line. And this dude comes through the burnout box 
with a lit cigarette and no helmet on at all. <laughs> and he was backing up and and they, they fucking shut him off. And he's like, oh shit, I'm sorry. He reached over and grabbed his helmet. I mean, this fucker's fixing to go down the track with no helmet smoking cigarettes. Well, that's why Joe Prime used to do it. He'd do a burnout. He had a cigarette hanging out of his mouth on the street. And then he would do a burnout and he'd back up. And then and then after he would get set up, they'd line him up. And fucking throw a cigarette out and fucking put his helmet on and then fucking <laughs> get ready. And then then he'd go, I mean, fucking Joe, he I bet you that motherfucker smoked five packs of cigarettes a day. <laughs> Jesus. It's like Dakota. That's what Dakota does at the gut. That man will do his burnout, all of his shit, and then bang it through the motor, do all the shit he's gonna do, and then right before he takes the tree, he puts his helmet on. Mm-hmm. Huh. I do I do like that aspect of Texas. I know there's a lot of people like to bang it through the motor multiple times and by multiple Stephen, you're all times. like wow, 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 wow. And I'm like, keep that shit up. <laughs> yeah. That's that's what that that's the cool little shit that a lot of people don't realize it still helps the entertainment aspect of the show. It, it, that is an entertainment player. seller for sure. You know what I mean? That's it's an entertainment factor for sure. That's I remember what was it? We were going to stop letting them burn out across the line at our no preps. And I was like, wait a minute, I can't. And they're like, why? I said, people just love seeing that damn long ass smoky burnout. Dude, and when people when people say John, John like when you, a John Force burnout, yeah. like that came yeah. from that man doing fucking <laughs> eight mile burnouts, and people loved it. Like people loved the shit out of that. I'm never gonna encourage anybody to not put on a show. Like, That's if bad. you want to, if you want to scrub your tires in and do a fucking burnout past the finish line, by all means, go ahead. I'll tell the homeboy shut your car off and wait until he gets all the way back. I don't know what what we have to do, but it gets about. To the 200 foot marker. All right, light your shit up. Oh, yep. Dude, the, the 80s and 70s of racing days, if you ever go back and watch videos, especially drag racing, the old school days, Jungle Gym, all them, the OGs shit, dude, it's <sighs> that's a world of drag racing I would love to have been lived through at least once and seen. Yep. For sure. Mike, what's all right, amigos. Not much fucking cold shit. Not racing here. <laughs> Depressed. He said he got back. He got back home and he said, "Fucking hey, I'm gonna have to reconfigure my fucking prices. They fucking fucking oh, yeah. raise prices everything on everything up, up here. Fucking thirty percent here. We got fucking some kind of environmental tax now or something. What are we doing? Carbon credits or some bullshit? Oh my god." It's an absolute hey, Mike, fucking. Come down and Mike, do you live in Canada? States and just yeah. down here. Mike, I'm trying to move to Florida. That's my plan here. I'm working on it actually with the immigration guy. I thought I'm trying to do it the legal way. Well, I lived there half the year, so technically, oh, okay. but I am Canadian by passport. Gotcha. So, so you got a dual citizenship basically right now. No, I don't. I'm just Canadian. That's why he I have want, to leave he, he every time. To, he <laughs> wants to have a dual citizenship. Hey, Would let you, me ask you this, Mike. If you just stayed, yeah. they catch you literally. It's not they catch you. If you try to go back, then it they won't let you come back into the U.S. So if I try to cross oh, back into Canada, gotcha. I can I can always come back to Canada because I'm a fucking citizen that's been paying taxes out his ass since he was born. Yeah. So I got here. You. I can come back, but they won't let me back into the U.S. Then. But literally, literally, let me ask you this: you you couldn't even just do it. Can you do an arranged marriage and literally be a U.S. citizen immediately? <laughs> I think you used to be able to, but now they crack down on that. I don't think that's. Oh, now anymore. you got, they go through a thing. Like how long have you been together? Well, yeah, you have to have residence and you have to like, so you're it's actually me. easier. What I'm trying to do to be hundred percent honest is buy a business in Florida. And then if you buy a business in Florida, you can get a certain visa that lets you come to the U S and work there. And then after so many years, you apply for your green card, basically. Gotcha. Gotcha. I mean, the easier way would be fly to Texas, call limpy and ask him to pick me up after I jump the border and fucking with my little Mexican hat. <laughs> on. When I, you get wet behind the ears in the Rio yeah. Grande. Yeah. <laughs> go for a, hey, just go for a quick Jim, swim and fuck Hold him. on. Where's my hat? It's not yeah. like it was ten years ago, where you know some the the Mexicans paid you ten grand to marry old girl, and yeah, you, exactly. You and you instantly had a you know, she instantly had a visa, and you instantly had ten grand. 
No, I asked about that, but they've cracked down on that. Like, you can't just go over and, like, meet or get married or whatever. That, you're not going to just shack up with the 70-year-old woman from the trailer park in Florida? No. No. I'm waiting for her old man to pass. <laughs> oh, we done lost Limpy. Oh, right? Limpy left left. What, oh, there what we go. The What's fuck? the business in Florida, Mike? <laughs> Sorry? What's the business in Florida? Uh, it's just a little performance, Hemi. Same thing I do here. Oh, home. God. What did, so what I'm did, working out a deal just to because, yeah, if what, you buy into a U.S. business that has employees <laughs> that are blah, blah, blah. There's a whole bunch of stipulations, but that's probably mm -hmm. the easiest way. Is this El Limpador or what? This is El Gringo. <laughs> <laughs> that gives me nightmares. No shit. You said you're talking about gringo, picking you up. I, I'm going to pick you up. I'm going to pick you up from the border like this. <laughs> Bring me so one too, then. So they yeah, can't no see shit. who I am. We're gonna say am. this is this is the new fucking <laughs> WWE we're, tag team. Coming I mean, out. we're just wrestlers. I mean, hell, yeah. this could be Pat McCrotcher and he's here. You just don't know. Hey, I'm uh, from Ontario, north of Toronto, for the Track Channel. Oh shit, That's we lost Poland. Oh, wrong I don't one. know That's what's bad. going on. I literally That's touched me. nothing, and my screen disappeared. That's and me. Came back. That's me. Oh. That's That's Limpy Mysterio Jr. Mysterio. <laughs> Mysterio Jr. What happened? What? What happened? I said, I said, <laughs> <you're>... <laughs> Wardrobe change. His alter ego. Yeah, it's fucked up up here. It's, I don't know, it's definitely, it's not going in a good direction. I'll put it that way. Yeah. How cold is it up there? It's not that cold, but I guess I'm spoiled with Florida. I'm used to 80s, and now here it's like 50. Yeah. Oh, god dang. 50s, man. That's fucking... I like 50s. I can feel the cold chill right now. I will, I will say this weekend was fucking hot, as y'all can tell yeah. by my burnt-ass skin. Mm -hmm. I was fucking toasted. And that's I'm surprised Lippy's not lit up again. I guess now you got the base in. I got the good Florida base coat, man, beginning you of the did. year, so we're good. That's we're for good. sure. Dude, if I didn't have my Bucky's uh, straw hat, I've been screwed. That thing was a 10-degree difference. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got to see Peepaw Fresh this weekend and mm -hmm. his boy. What, what is P it? To the, P to the Paul Freshy Fresh. Oh, P to the Paul Freshy Fresh. And his boy, uh, uh, fucking heathen. I don't know. B-Rad. B-Rad with the new hairdo. Yeah. I said, man, I said, what'd you do? Go to your barber and ask, I want to be, I want to be a dickhead. <laughs> a circumcised dickhead. That's what hey, I want to be. That's a fucking, <laughs> yeah. He got the Jufro going on. Said, hey, he, he's the head of my security at War in the Woods. And I told him, you got to get, you got to figure out how to get meaner between now and War in the Woods because. <laughs> If you want to be head of security, you're gonna to have to you gonna to have to toughen up, son. Oh if, if he says security, I'm gonna slip him a twenty and have him throw in all the other media off the starting line. I was gonna tell him <laughs> I better bear, I better see the bottom of fucking people's fucking feet. You yeah, no them. shit. <laughs> you're gonna have that scaffolding again there set up? Yeah. Nope. Nope. That's sketchy nope. Don't ass even, shit. Don't even say I, I ain't getting shit. on it. Come on, get up there and do the let the band play, man. Jeff, can I can I have somebody piggyback me on the scaffolding and then I'll just get a fishing pole? So if, when I make bits, hey, if I lose, we'll I can do, we'll yeah. find some kind of a, 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 a pulley, pulley system, system. Yeah. to get you up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just need a yeah. bucket or something on a pulley. So yeah, I was gonna bit, say just put, put them in a bucket. In, well, that was to say when they win <laughs> their money, they can put their money in a bucket and I'll run it up there to me. If I lose, I'll run it down to them. You so, just use one of those be things I use for the beer tubs and just tie a rope to it and pull and, yep. and somebody Wait. somebody can just pull pulling up there. All right, all right. Any other human? I would say like talking about the race or something. But you're talking about Index Jeff here. He's going to have the full like you pull up to the bank and put it in, hit the button, and it whoo, the the air sucks the money up <laughs> to the top the and you vacuum. get your money. <laughs> <laughs> No, this man either. spares no expense now. No, no yeah, it'd be yeah, like yeah. on the hangover, he's got the little monkey that comes down. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. So I, I got one of Mike Tyson's pigeons that's going to fly that shit around. <laughs> 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 Speaking of 
Speaking of Mike Tyson, man, I just really I didn't not even see it last week. I was so busy. Man, the juice is not loose no more. What do you mean? Oh, what happened? Oh, we lost OJ. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. If it if it doesn't fit, you must have quit. Yeah. Tell them. Tell them. Yeah. He should have put the glove on right before he died, just to fuck with everybody. I would, I would, <laughs> after, after, after seeing that happen, the first thing that came to mind was, I'd really, really, really like a uh, uh, white coyote swapped uh, Ford Bronco. Bronco. <laughs> be pretty rowdy. That'd be pretty cool. Man. What? 46 in Switzerland. Good Lord. We got Switzerland Ooh. in the house. I've been to Switzerland, cool place. Yeah, we were talking, uh, uh, Jasper and I was last night, that we were, uh, I don't know if your ears are burning last night, but we were like, man, y'all just don't understand how fucking famous uh, fucking Jeff Thomas is. Wow. Hey, hey yeah, Jeff. I mean, I mean, he used to fucking travel the world doing what he fucking loved and got, got paid to fucking do it. I mean, he was fucking worldly known. So... Um. Hey, you should totally do this. Whoever's doing registration for War in the Woods, ask all the racers what state they're from. Shannon Shannon Morgan did that this weekend. We had racers from twenty seven or twenty eight different states. Yeah. Oh, we do we do that. That that's you. We yeah. we make them fill out a whole card that with all their driver information and sponsors and all that kind of crap. Yeah. Oh yeah, Jeff, I forgot you. you Jasper said we're gonna have to have to add something else on the 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 card. What's that? Uh, the drivers. Uh, theme song that they want to be, you know, when they're rolling oh, up, yeah, yeah, rolling. Yeah. like how yours last oh, year's was a uh, yeah. lottery, lottery, yep. yeah, like uh, yeah, like baseball walk-up songs, yeah, yeah. Yep. If you do it for media, I want the final countdown as mine. <laughs> <laughs> Just play "Rolling" by Limp Biscuit for me. Yeah, Just anything. <laughs> yeah, off. You can't go wrong with that one. Nah. Yeah. Hey, Limp Biscuit's going to be in concert in Indy in June sometime. And I don't really go to concerts. I don't. I never have been into concerts at all. But I'm like, I want to go to that. Hey, yeah. Those let me send me the send me the now. date for that because I'm gonna be we'll be up there for like a whole month. That that would be something to do. Like that would yeah. be. I wanted to go to that. Fred Durst is a cool motherfucker, isn't he? Yep. I was about for to say, sure. if you say you're getting Limp Biscuit for War in the Woods, I give up. Jeff wins. <laughs> Jeff <laughs> wins. Yeah. <murder. laughs> That'd be badass, right there. Yeah. Like during the table, like do it like the Tonight Show and them used to. We have the whole table interview, and tonight our musical guest, Limp Biscuit. Yeah, yeah, they're over there playing. They're, they're like, duh, 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 duh. no, no, no. I know us better. You'd have to do something. You'd have to get the ghost of Dolph there, like no. the hologram Dolph there. I'm saying no. Imagine, imagine the fucking. You hear music start playing. And it's like Limp Biscuit shit, and then Jeff comes riding around on this fucking corner on the Harley, like the Undertaker used to come out with American Badass shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what'd be cool though? Imagine that the national anthem gets done. The girl gets done singing the national anthem at War in the Woods, and it goes straight to Limp Biscuit live. Yeah. Oh hell yeah! Limp Biscuit's break stuff starts playing. And everybody. Yeah. Turns da, and runs away from da, Jeff. Da, <laughs> da, yeah. Jeff, you gotta get some fireworks going. I've already no, done it. We can't do it over track. Why? Yeah, no, I gotta do them different places. <laughs> you know the other thing I've been trying to get, and I think I've I've been wanting to do this for a while. I'd like to get two old like A fuel dragsters. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Like that, like nitro, like you know, uh, what do you call them? Front engine, so the driver sat on top of the rear end, like that's what they call like the old funny cars. Yeah, yeah, but they're dragsters, and have yeah. them do have them as soon as the national anthem gets done getting played, have them do an eighth mile burnout. How cool would that be with fireworks? Yeah, <laughs> Mike likes fireworks. I think I'm yeah. gonna fire off. I'll bring my own door. I'll be yeah. on the top of the hill there. Fire! 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 fire. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah. either that or line the first. <laughs> <laughs> or go down the end of the track about for a hundred foot and you know back in the wwe days when kane would walk out and raise his arms and boom you have the big fireball yeah. out. as they go through the finish line instead of having uh as oh, soon as yeah. they announce the winner the fire shoots up from the winning side yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we're talking we're talking a spectacle here we're gonna oh, oh yeah, i can say we're gonna have Joel. fucking re we're gonna have fucking lane girls 
for each Firework. class. And really got firework. We got man. God dang. The, the That's next level page, shit, man. The this front next level page shit. of the Nashville newspaper. The woods at Brown County Dragway catch on fire after one pass. <laughs> hey, you, you remember in my movie the when we were riding in West Virginia and we caught the fucking whole forest on fire? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally. Uh, <laughs> I mean, look, look, dude, dude, I'm on a what? What is that road? Seventy? Is it? Yeah, seventy. Like you know, when you go across seventy, going to West Virginia. When when I get out to I seventy, I can see the fucking smoke from where the fucking mountain is on fire. Literally. Oh shit! I got a, a statute of limitations on that, right? Yeah, that's that was a long time ago. Okay, right. it's all we need. They're gonna come on the show. They're busting Trevor for being a conspiracy theorist. Happy for the IRS comment. Oh, now they our, figured out who uh, set that forest fire. In West oh shit! Our our content just. <laughs> Our views just went down again. What the hell happened? I'm kidding. It's gonna be a lot of people. <laughs> I was watching. I was like, really? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so shit, boys. I'm getting oh, tired, and I need to get some sleep. Yeah, yeah and I'm cut. A- and cut. <laughs> <laughs> but well, thank uh, all y'all guys for coming and supporting. Mike, we missed you this weekend. Hopefully, you get to make. Yeah, the next buddy, year. I got to make it down to one of those for sure. It's on my list. Well, April 11th and 12th next year, we've already got it booked. It's all done. Working on getting everything. <clears throat> I'm in. thinking. I'm thinking maybe doing a hard tire race at the gut, just hard tire only. Like hard tire only. Like come up with sponsors and like Jasper. We and Jasper were talking about. Uh, he's talking about doing one up there. I'm thinking about doing one made at the gut. Just great hard tire. You know, straight yep. shootout. And uh, I and we talked about adding hard right. tire to it, but. Like five ten grand, just you know, that's onto yeah. the pot. You know, that bring out the killers. Plus, y'all is, saw, you know, y'all saw how bad that rubber was peeling up just with the cars that were there. Now imagine hard tires dripping all that shit up, and the in between and I, the rounds. <clears throat> and talking with Truly last night, I thought he ran on like a two twenty tire. He said he liked running on like a four forty tire. Damn. Yeah, and I'm like, damn, I didn't realize that. That's I didn't get a catch that wheel. last night, Limpy. How was how was he? It's pretty that? good. It's pretty good. It's pretty yeah. good. I'll have to yeah. go back and watch it. He, All uh, right, y'all. He like running I'm out of here. A real, real hard tire. Right Paul. behind you. See you, buddy. See you, Paul. He said that that two forty, that two twenty tire. He said it gets too soft and it or it gets too soft and it picks up everything. Uh, oh, picks up all the rocks and <laughs> shit. He said he goes. One dude said he goes. Uh, Jasper asked him, "How's how long is this?" T- uh, he changed out tires because Jasper was thinking about, you know, pretty quick. He goes, "Oh, I you can go." He goes, "I think I've I'm still on the same tires that I was a couple years ago." Yeah, I'm like, God dang. Well, you got to think they're running on rubber too. They're not running on backside fucking tracks and yeah. shit. Hey Jeff, how busy are you these days? Really busy, probably. Yeah, it's crazy. All right. Why? What's up? I gotta send you my shocks. I think the driver's side one's fucked up for some reason. This yeah, it's getting thrown out. No, it's in a minute. I'll get them knocked out, buddy. All right. Well, I mean, yeah, you I don't need them like right away, do you? <laughs> of course, everyone does. <laughs> yeah, everybody does. Isn't that how it works? Yeah. I need it like yesterday, even though I got a motor yeah. put in it, but you know, I still want it right now. Well, no, that's right. why I was thinking. I asked my buddy. I said, "Can you take the fucking shocks out of the truck now that it's down? Now's the time to do it." Oh, is the truck still in Florida? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you all my shit's it. down there. My truck, trailer, everything. I got nothing. Uh, it's all parked at my buddy's <laughs> house. I was going to fly. The plan originally was just to put bearings in the motor. That's where I thought we were at. But it changed dramatically oh, when we took, took it a... apart. Oh, how bad was it? I need a crank. The heads have cracks in the intake ports, which I've never seen before. Very random. Yeah. Um, the heads were fine. Like they've not, the motor didn't come apart or anything, but it ate up the main bearing, the first main bearing on the crank. So kind of fucked the crank. So I need a new crank. Uh, and then the metal went through it. So, you know, roll, uh, what's it called? Those fucking things. I can't even think it's late. I need a bunch of shit, but I'm waiting on the crank is the problem right now. So, oh, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, and fixing the heads. I don't know what we're going to do with the heads. That's a new problem that came up yesterday. Yeah, that's oh. that's a, it's down in the intake ports. 
Yeah, there's like hairline cracks in them. Mm. Damn it. But but the motors never sustain damage, which is super weird. The heads look brand new. Mm. So Yeah, that's that don't sound good. No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what they do about it. I don't know. Yeah. Are they aftermarket so heads? Uh yeah, aftermarket heads. Yeah. Huh. Well, uh, I hear you, man. It sucks not being able to have your shit together. No, it's depressing as fuck watching everyone race every weekend and you're stuck. Oh, I, I hated not having a car at the gut. I hated it. Oh, yeah. I couldn't even do it. No, I hated that. I mean, I've been racing for a long time, man. And I don't go, I don't generally go to races unless I'm racing. Me neither. <laughs> I don't go to any of them. Yeah. So it is what it is. We'll get out of parts prison soon and get back to racing. Yeah. I mean, honestly, right now, I don't even think I'll be, I I more than likely will not even be able to race at the purge, but so I'm just hoping by war in the woods, at least I've got something that's running and maybe even has a couple test hits on it. Yeah, me too. I guess better late than never. If you can't be on time, be there when you can. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. at least you're gonna be there sometime soon huh? that's right uh, absolutely all right, all right boys. Fellas, everybody have a good night guys. appreciate y'all y'all have a good one thanks everybody for tuning see in see and we'll see y'all next night. tuesday later later